they tried to set us free. What is up, GOAT world? It is me, your boy, JDZ, and I'm back at you again with another GOAT format dueling stream. That's right, we are back. PWCQ number 50, 50, 57 is going down right now. It is starting today. You have about five minutes left to still join this tournament if you wish to play. The winner will receive an invitation to the GOAT format world championship as well as the world qualifier play mat, as well as the title of PWCQ winner. These things are getting super hard as the season is getting long in tooth. Okay, okay, so let's pull the bracket up. This this event is a little bit smaller. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit smaller. I know, man, there's a little bit of burnout. I think people might not be feeling it like they used to, but still, but still, but still. We're gonna be out here, and we're gonna be dueling, and we're gonna be having a good time. Okay, okay, so let's see if I can, um, let's see if I can pull this bracket up without doxing my whole life right now. Well, let's see if I could do this. If, do I have do I have the willpower? What is going on? Oh my goodness, bro. I quit. I mean, every time, every time. Okay, Discord, here we go. Boom, here we go, here we go, here we go. And then let's see if I can, uh, let's see what I can do here. Give me just one, one, one sec. Here we go, we're cooking. I'm cooking over here. You guys don't even know. You guys already know. You guys already know when I'm over here, on this on this monitor, we're absolutely frying. So Google Chrome is opening up now, and then I can go ahead and pull some stuff up, and we could jam, we could chill, we can vibe, we can talk, and we can get this thing underway. Okay, cool. I see the chats coming in right on time. What's up, duelists? I see the homies out there rolling in right on time, coming in early. Get your seats early, okay? Get the good seats up in front early, okay? Because when you show up all late, hour number seven, hour number eight, and you don't have a seat and you're standing room only in the back, you're going to feel like an idiot. So let's go ahead and get in early and uh, we don't have to worry about it. All right. So let's go ahead and also get back to, the, to this here. Let's see if I can get a, get a quick bracket. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what we got going on here as PWCQ number 50, 57. We got 42 people out here. So it's a little bit smaller. It's a little, it's a, a little bit smaller. But these smaller events are also some of the best events. That's when you kind of that's when you kind of see the heat. The spice comes out. And as you guys know, I'm a certified spice addict. I'm addicted to it. I am in Dune the Squeakle, dude. I'm out here Dune part one, part two, and part three, dude, because I'm just so into the spice. Dude, when people are playing cool stuff and cool decks, I'm all for it. So these smaller events kind of kind of leaned a little bit spicier to me. So I kind of like those a little bit more. But 42 is not is not bad for a Sunday uh, starting here at 11. We should be starting here in about three minutes. Shout out to the duelist via the the Lenore. The Lenore, a new duelist comes out and says they want to take their hand at judging. So, of course, I'm going to tap them in and we're going to try it out. If the, the Lenore, if you're listening, if you're bad you're done. Okay. But if you're good, you're in. So this is a trial period. This is a test run, if you will, the Lenore. So let's go through some of the names we have here. We got Planchy coming out of a little brief retirement, a little brief hiatus. Planchy is back on the circuit. Love to see it. We might have to start with Planchy. Not going to lie. And Gula is out here. We have Alvarado again, trying to get another invitation, trying to keep the, trying to keep the tournament integrity alive as well and i do appreciate that a lot of people don't appreciate alvarado's efforts and his greatness you know what i'm saying coming out and just really gate guarding these events because he truly believes like if you want to be in the world championship you have to be able to beat him consistently and if you can't do that then you don't deserve to be in and i fully respect that ideology oh uh, we got shogun back in the building jj stokes milk it is back and marvin milk it and marvin okay end users in here and fresh and the world champion dingo sig la bounty has agreed to come in and say, I got to set this damn game right. You guys let this game get out of hand. It's all out of whack. It's all out of sorts. I got to come in here and show you guys how this shit is done. So I'm back. LeBounty's back. Pam is back. Pui's back. Grumple's back. All these names. Heavy hitters. Ghost Rider is back. Dueling High is back. And we got another world champ. It, and Delinquent is back. So it's going to be, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. It's going to be a good tournament. It's going to be a good tournament. It's going to be a good turnout. It's going to be a good showing. It's going to be a good showcase of dueling prowess, man. Old names you come to know and love. A lot of fame. A lot of fame is in this thing. And these PWCQs are about to go down. So here we go. Here we go. Grumple says ban and already. Can't do it. Grump nasty. We can't do it. We can't do it, big dog. We need. I need that. I need. I need. I need a watcher on the wall. I need a gate. I need someone on the gates. Keeping it. Keeping it up. You know what I'm saying? Keeping it up. I, I, we need that. Those people are very, very important to this to this whole thing, because say if Ant stops playing or stops guarding the wall, if you will, and then people get in, 
it's not uh it's not it's not going to be fair to everyone who qualified before if the tournaments get easier as it goes along. So Ant's going for rarefied air. He's challenging himself. Someone's got to take him down. And LeBounty's in here. LeBounty has vowed to be able to do that. So we're going to see. As the event should be starting in approximately one minute. We're not going one second beyond the start time. We're not waiting on anybody. But I will I will make one further announcement before we start. I posted the new... Uh, the new rulings regarding replay. So I'm going to make another announcement one more time right now in the, in the, for all the tournament participants. Okay. Because this is very important and I want everyone to pay attention because if you're not submitting your replays accurately today, you will receive a game loss. I'm not playing around. We're not hunting people down. We're not ch chasing anybody. We're going to look if your ass does not have your replay in correctly you will just receive a game loss, and we're going to just take take your tears right to the bank. Take them to someone else who's going to cash them in, because I'm I'm not going to hear. Them. Okay, okay. So do not start. Do not start. Please, please turn around, please. Um, All right, please ensure, please, I am begging you. I am begging you. I am begging you. Please ensure that you know how to submit the replays. We are about to begin. All right, we're starting. We are starting. And the PWCQs, as always, they're going to be seated they're gonna be they're gonna be random let's do it let's do it let's duel let's get out here and play huh let's have a good day let's all just let our hairs down let's all relax let's have some good goat format Yu-Gi-Oh. i am ready for it i hope you guys are locked in if you're joining us from ycs raleigh out there shout out to everyone who's participating in ycs raleigh in the main event and all of the side events if you're there send me some pics man i'm all about the the ycs situation um i like watching the current i was just actually just tuning into that stream right before i started this stream so it's it's really cool to see and if you're out there you know what i'm saying showing love come on in and show love here and there whatever you want to do maybe during side decking i could pull that stream up on this and we can kind of discuss some of the things that are happening there as well but it's going to be cool it's going to be cool and we are about to get this bad boy underway so i just hit the, i just hit the i just hit the button excuse me got the, the old stutter bug is coming back i just hit the button and we are about to get started where's planchy at does planchy did planchy luck into the buy I want to start with Planchy. I want to see what Planchy is on these days. I've not seen Planchy on this stream in a long time. So we're going to see what that duelist is cooking if they're in this first round. If not, we're going to have to find someone else. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Planchy is playing. So we're going to go with Planchy and Habanero. Habanero. Let's do it. Is that is that wrong? Can I do that? Can I let that rock already to start this stream off? I already, already got canceled. We just, we just started. And I'm already... I'm already back against the wall, getting mega canceled. But I want to see, I want to see homie. I want to see the homie Planchy out here dueling. Sorry, I see a name. I want to see him, and let's play. All right, all right, all right. But as you're coming into the stream, make sure you immediately go ahead and find that like button. I can't see the chat right now. The chat is down. It's going to come back here in just a moment. Let's get the duel up. Let's find, let's find Planchy out here. Let's see what. Let's see if they're cooking. Maybe they're already in. Maybe they're already in and they're already dueling, huh? Maybe they're already out here playing. If we can find Planchy, Planchy, can't find them. I think they're hiding from the cams. Is that is that facts or cap, dude? Did I get a did I get another refresh? Let's refresh this thing again. Are they hiding? Are they hiding from the the cams? Are they ducking and dodging? I can't believe it. Cowardice, cowardice out here, hiding from the cams. So if they're going to hide from the cams, I'm going to try one more time and see if they uh, if they're in here because sometimes people oversleep and they might not they might not get it going in round number one. But I tried it. They're hiding and we got to get some goat format dueling action to start the stream off. So let's see where we want to go. Oh, man, some good games. We got Pui and Mr. Big Noodle. We got who else we got? Who else we got? Who else we got? Let's see who we got over here. Dingo and Rumple might be very good. We got Ice Phoenix and Flashy. 
I think Flashy was out here playing library. We might have to all just ban Flashy up out of here. No lie. Um, let's see what uh, you know. What let's let's see what let's see what Fresh and Go Trinity are doing. I'm I'm gonna hop over there. I'm gonna hop over there just because I, I see the name and I want to hop over and see what they're what they're cooking. I haven't seen Goat Trinity play in a long time either. And the game is just starting. So cool. Now I got the, the sounds off. Get that up out of there. What the hell is that? Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Cool. Let me let us know who you guys think think are, is going to win as well. Get those, get those things in. Okay. Rampage says, I bet Ant is on Warriors today. S at you calling it? You're calling it LeBounty? You're calling it? We need some sort of new invite structure. If Ant keeps gatekeeping like this, maybe, uh, maybe point base for top cut performance or something. I, I just grunt. We could talk about that too. I mean, you are on on the staff now, and I will listen to what you have to say because you're putting your effort behind the work. And if that's something that we we can discuss, however, comma, I I have a I have a different sensibility about it. If we have the goat format world championship, and it's only five people that make it because only five people were able to meet that standard and only five people got 700 invites. I am totally okay with that. I am fine with a nice, small, intimate goat format world championship for a multitude of reasons. One, it proves that these duelists have met the re prerequisite requirements to get in Two, it's going to save, save the format a ton of money on shipping costs. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey, yo, where the gun at? I got to shoot off of that. One. We got to pop one off. It's going to, it's going to save a ridiculous amount of money in shipping costs. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I got, oh, I got it. Oh, my bad. Wrong, wrong window. Thanks, Dueling. Thanks, Dueling High. Wrong window. Wrong window. My bad. This is my first day on the job, dude. This is, my, this is some day one shit, dude. My bad. My bad. I'm sorry. We got it fixed. How are we looking now? How are we looking now? Should be looking good now. My bad. Day one. This is some day, day one activity. But yeah, I, I, I truly feel that if you are if 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 that's what it is we say hey you need to do this this and this to get in and these people make that this this and this then that's it that's how it is that's how it is there are plenty of opportunities to get out here and play there are some opportunities you have to pay there's some opportunities IRL there's some opportunities that are free there are some opportunities that are multi day which we're going to probably have more multi day events there are plenty of opportunities to do it. And, and, and if you can make it, then you deserve to be there. And if you can't, then you don't. And that's just the nature of the beast. It's a, I'm not saying it's a skill issue, but Anthony, Anthony Alvarado is a great player and he's going to be at the GOAT format world championship. So if you can't beat him here, you're not going to beat him there. And that's just the facts. So you need to figure out a way to, to, to beat him here and, and over and take him out. You need to figure out a way to beat Ivan here and Insidious and don't copy. You got to beat him here because you're not going to beat him there if you can't beat him here. That's, that's just how I feel about it, man. I can't beat them. They're, they're better, they're much better than me. But you can because you're better than me as well. So get out there and get out there and uh get out there and get out there. My stutter is killing me today, dude. Where's my water at? I got to sip. Get out there and get your, uh, get your game on, man. You got it. You guys got it. As we got Don staring down the double man, you're so fresh in the ritual bag as well. So the rituals are up. And I do the tier list every year, right before Worlds, we get a new updated tier list. And the rituals were kind of low. On the previous tier list, rituals weren't even on there. The rituals weren't even there at all. And then in uh, the most recent one, I think rituals are there, but I had them rare. I think rituals are going to have to be much, much higher because this deck is going insane this year. Rituals have been doing very, performing very well, putting a lot of people into the world championship. People have been winning a lot with it. I think the rituals are good. As we got Doriado is going to be in hand for fresh, kind of taking some of that, that Pui momentum. She had some Doriado tech in the GFC. Fresh saw it, and now he's, I'm sure he can build upon that. As Goat Trinity is on these Warriors, and he's got that damn BLS out there, and that boy's on the field ready to stroke. Looks like we're going to negate that. And then just set another monster in defense position. Master Reactor says they are doing better than Warriors. That is a fact. That is a fact. That is a fact, dude. Gunshot at the Warrior strategy, dude. But the but the rituals are performing better. And that's crazy. To, that's crazy. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. That's crazy to me. Oh, my kids are pissed because I'm up here yelling and it's eight and they're sleeping in on a Sunday. Get wrecked, noob. I'm out here. Wake up. <laughs> you sleep. Look at how you're sleeping, dude. Wake up. Can you close that door? Can you close that door for me, please? Please. Thank you. Thank you. You're asleep, dude. Wake up. <laughs> I'm like an idiot, dude. 
<laughs> oh man. Oh yeah. Moxie's was clocking. Moxie's is probably gonna take a break, man. He had a I mean, he's 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 had some tough some really, really bad beats this season. Like people can play their play their whole dueling career and not have as have that many bad beats in a career, let alone in like a like a like a count like a quarter of a year. You know, he's been he's been he's been going through going through going through a rough patch with with that man. He's trying hard to keep the Warriors alive, but it just sucks that he can't get over the hump with it. And it just that's an indicator that where the deck's at right now. It sucks. Yo, what's up, John Doe? How you feeling? I'm out here chilling. I am out here chilling. As Fresh is going to go ahead and deploy the Thunder Dragons. We got four in hand. Excuse me, I gotta see if I can. Why am I H2O, dude? Throat's a little, throat's a little, uh, throat's a little, little dry over here in the morning. That Spy Stonewall from AJT BLS, nasty. Yeah, that hurt. That hurt my soul, man. That hurt. It hurt me because I'm, I'm a huge, I'm a, I'm a fan of a lot of these players. Um, very similar to how you could be a fan of a chess player or you can be a fan of a basketball player. You could be, you know, have fandom or whatever. I'm, I, I really respect the amount of grind that some of these players put into this game. And it's evident in their results and some of the things that they're able to do the c- consistency wise. So, and Mox is one of those players that I am a diehard Moxie's fan. I've been a Moxie's fan for a long time. So obviously I want to see him have success because I know how hard he works and I know how good of a player he is. And just to see it constantly undefeated in Swiss, undefeated in Swiss, makes it to the next day and it just falls apart. Undefeated here. Make, and it's, it just, he's not getting the just desserts. I think that's not fair. But we got a huge giant Trinet here. This could be the end of the game if Fresh cannot stop, put a normal summon behind, beside this exiled, and we are out of here. And never mind, United we stand. We're going to blast them for 18, and that's going to be a GG. So Goat Trinity is on a cool little strat there. Two cool strats to start this thing off. Very cool. Love to see it. Love to see it. Stay hydrated, dude. Got to keep that throat lubricated. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. You right, though. Let me go find some water. Let me get uh, Let me get, Let me me get. get an assistant in here. Let me get an assist. Let me get a trophy assist in here to get some, to bring my, to bring my water bottle in there. Let me just text the whole group chat, dude. Orange one, dude. The orange one, the big orange one. Please. <laughs> Please. All right. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Damn, dude. How many sucks you guys think we're going to get in today? Hey, yo. I don't, I don't know. I haven't seen any so far. I got to bring the bingo back, man. I got to put suck on the bingo, dude. We got to, I got the bingo. Maybe I got it loaded up. Maybe we can figure, maybe we can see if I can get the bingo. Um, <laughs> the big one. <laughs> I can't say anything. Is, is that the vibe? Dude? I can't say anything without it being just the most sus. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, man, we out here. We lit. We are so back, dude. We are so, so back. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So we're going to go ahead and send you out the Doriato back to hand. It's fresh on straight Doriato tech only, dude. Maybe because I haven't. Did we see the purple? The purple sucker in there, or maybe he's got he's got the components in hand. Uh, it looks like you're gonna go for one. We're taking. We'll take over. The far left situation, and it's gonna. Whoa! So fresh is cooking. Oh, dude, fresh is good, dude. Fresh is cooking. You see, free the brave wanderer. You know someone is in their bag. And you see free, you see free the brave wonder. You know someone's in their bag, but duo is just too, too, too much. Uh, so we got breaker down. Breaker's gonna be able to go plus on the Sinju. Yeah, duo, duo is just a just an asshole of a card, man. Hate it, hate it so much. But I'm actually, uh, I'm working with Pui. Pui is actually gonna be one of the duelists that is taking the mantle, and we're gonna try to do like a modified goat format. So stay tuned for that. More to follow. Maybe even next weekend. It should be a, uh, a modified goat tournament that we're going to try. We've got a new ban list coming out. Um, we're going to ban certain cards and 
have a rotating card pool. It's gonna be pretty cool. We're putting a lot of thought into it. There's a lot of hard work going behind the scene to make Modified Ghost a real thing, doing some testing and some deck building and some ideas and, and concepts and stuff. We've been talking about it quite heavily. Um, just to try it, just to try to do something different to kind of just change the game a little bit. Uh, what that means for this circuit, we're gonna obviously continue to have go format as it is, as it continue has as it has been. So we're not gonna like completely stop. But I do, I would like to have like a parallel circuit that is a modified circuit that you can adjust the carpool just to try a different thing. Just to try a different thing. No TD, no party. Just make turbo real lights and they are cooked. That's a thought we had. That is a thought we had. Everyone wants to go after Thunder Dragon, but from my rogue, my rogue mindset, it's always like if you kill Thunder Dragon, you're going to kill Twin Hit Thunder Dragon. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> That's the the rogue the rogue simp in me. The my rogue simp sensibility is like you kill Thunder Dragon, you get rid of Twin Head Thunder Dragon, and I don't want to do that. So I, we can. There's other ways you can hit Turbo, or you can just weaken it. But at the same time, I don't want to remove Turbo from the game because it is a very viable strategy, and it should be a part of it. But I think it's uh I think it's just it's just obviously way 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 too overrepresented. And there's other decks that are severely underrepresented just because of the power level of certain cards. So we're working hard on it. It's not going to be perfect at first, but through time and uh, and more uh, research, it should be actually actually quite quite entertaining, competitive, and fun is what I'm going for. So we'll we'll do more information come out about that next week. But we're going to call it the first one is going to be the the uh, the the great the Grand Puy. Puy is going to run it, and she's going to call it the Grand Puy. And I think she's going to host it on her channel. And then from there, we'll start doing the modified goats and have it going as fresh as absolutely going crazy right now, getting through and pops the road decree. And now you have a great position. That was a very strong breaker and you're able to battle in and punch for some primo damage. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice sequence there. I like the, I like the delayed, the delayed use of the breaker was cool. A lot of people would go breaker first and then try to pop, hit the decree then go ritual and get blasted by tarantula. That happens all the time. So I like how he did that. JDZ, how to fix the format? Add Gravekeeper Commandant. That's a cool one. Gravekeeper Commandant or just more Gravekeeper cards in general. Like the uh, the steel, was it Gravekeeper Steel? The one is like the monolith one that they can just like, or, or the, um, um, what's, what's the guy that lets you, Descendant? That one's a really cool one too. Like, I, and I think those cards are pretty good in future formats. But they're not so broken that they can't be played in Ghosts. Another great card I, I, I would like to play in Ghosts is uh, Neo Space and Grand Mobile. I've been playing a little bit of Edison, and I like fell in love with that card. That's like my favorite card. I don't know why. The artwork is so clean, and just the card effect is so unique. And I think that would be a phenomenal Go format card. Neo Space and Grand Mobile is, is I don't know. I think that card would that card could have easily been printed in Rise of Destiny, and no one would have batted an eye. I think because it's it's very balanced and it's it's a good uh, Go format card. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> there are there are a few cards that also fit fit that description. Like um, DD DD Warriors a card that I'm looking at quite heavily. I think that's a card that could easily fit and go format. Maybe limited or or semi limited to two. Um, Place spreader zombie could come in. I think that's another good one that we're kind of checking out. There are some really cool cards out there that would fit and help the goat format identity and not be like so over the top. Bust it. <laughs> and not and not be so like ridiculously strong and broken. So I think that'd be cool. <clears throat> Necro face and ghost. That will be too much. Necro face and ghost. Necro face. I'm I'm kind of glad that they got that thing like limited. Cause that card seems like it can do some damage. It can get crazy. I don't know about that one. That card, maybe at one, you can do some fun stuff with one. But if you have that thing at three, that would be so wild, man. Foolish Burial for Reasoning Gate Tier 1. That was another option that you could do is just kind of uh, import some OCG cards. Because a lot of that stuff, like Foolish Burial, um, Goblin Zombie, uh, the Gadgets, um, uh, the the 1900, Doom Caliber, Doom Caliber Knight, like those cards were in the OCG during the time of GOAT format. And they would be, I mean, I think they would fit. Like Doom Caliber Knight would be uh, would be a cool card. 
I think. It's got a lot of upside, a lot of downside. <laughs> Michael Gray says, I'm about to play the world champ. Which one? You got to be a little bit more specific. We got two in this tournament. Two, two, two. Shout out to Delinquent. Shout out to Dingo C. Both of those duels are in this tournament, and they both wear the mantle of world champion. 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 Once you win that title, no one can take it away. As we're going to go ahead and heavy storm, let's see if we can get a long chain here, as Thunder Dragon is going to be able to be discarded for a Geki Break, and Widespread Ruin will just go ahead and find itself into the Gopher Mat Dueling Graveyard. Graceful Charity is going to be the follow-up. So now Manju looking small out there alone and unafraid as we're drawing up to now what appears to be eight cards. You got to send two off. JDZ, hoping, oh, Jay-Z says, hoping to see some variety some variety, variety is a spice of life, okay? And I think that is where the community is like at a, at a, at a, at a inter, interlocked, I would say. Cause I spent a lot of time in Discord, probably way too much time if I'm being completely honest. And I talked to a lot of people and I've, I've, I'm polling a lot of people from a lot of different communities, although the competitive community, the casual community, the normal community, the YouTube community, the Facebook, I'm, I'm, all, I'm out here with, oh, Mage Power is looking real juicy. As you're going to be able to set, let's see if he puts more down. Set, yeah, you can put more down. And let's see if you can, if you're going to switch this fire, you're going to send him in and you're going to go ahead and show some restraint and just punch on in with just a little, a little bit of damage. Never mind. That's a lot of bit of damage as Pataza the Zaza is out here. Is Heavy Storm already deployed for fresh? It is not. No greenery is on the scene at all. Heavy would be a great card to get you kind of back in back into the fray. And your purple sucking menace can't even suck this Mataza. That's crazy. That's a crazy ability to not be able to suck there. As you're going to go ahead and tribe up, which is a great answer to this situation. Michael says, hi, JDZ. Everything fine. I think even playing with OCG carpool could be a fresh new take without overturning the game that much. I, I don't know. And that's the, that's the goal. Uh, Michele, I'm not trying, I'm not trying to overturn the game. I don't want to cause like, you know, I don't want, I don't want to lose our identity because the first thing people say, Hey, get rid of Thunder Dragons, get rid of all the Trinity pot. Got to go. Charity got to go get rid. I, I don't want to completely overhaul what our game is. Cause I love pot of Greed. I love graceful charity. I think those cards are, broken as hell but still balanced enough and those are our identity so i don't want to give those up mirror force i don't want to give that up because that's our identity duo i don't think is good it, it's a it's a it's a iconic card obviously but i don't think that is our identity i don't think that car is like um the idea when i think about go for man i'm not thinking about trying to trying to trying to duo people multiple times and win. That's not what I'm thinking about. I'm thinking about playing my game, you play your game and let's have interaction, but not to the point where I'm trap dust trap dust shoot same thing. It's taking it's taking more than it's giving. And I think I'm more I'm more about that. And I think it's it actually makes for a better game. If you notice I watch a lot of you watch a lot of these streams and you play in these tournaments, the games that are the best games are games where people aren't getting duoed and trap dust shot. To me, they they just they feel better, they look better. Like this game has been a pretty great game, and I'm kind of yapping, but both of these duels are playing their strategy. They're able to go back and forth, and they're able to you know answer each other's thing. You do something, there's a call and there's a response. Do it. There's a call and a response. That's that's go for me. That's what I enjoy. But if I'm just out here duo flip set face flip duo, you're losing, and there's nothing nothing much going on. <laughs> cool. Limit pot to two. Come on, we're not doing that. <laughs> we're not doing that. <laughs> yeah, duo duo is one of my one of my one of my cards that I would any any ban list. It's gone immediately. I know, uh, and with everything, obviously, with everything that you do, there's always going to be people the an, the antithesis. There's going to be someone who's going to be opposing you. That's just the nature of these types of things in community. There's going to be people who are for, and there are going to be people who are against. I am very anti-duo. There are people like, oh, duo's not that bad because we have, ooh, as Iron Blacksmith, Grab Snatch Steel is very, very strong. And MST is even stronger too. That was the answer to the Snatch Steel. Oh, see, look, that was, that was, that was good Yu-Gi-Oh, man. That was good Yu-Gi-Oh. And Fresh did lose 
But that was like it had the MST. Fresh had the answers to the had the answer to the snatch deal. He just so happened to have the MST because he had the Kotetsu to get the snatch deal. It all kind of builds, man, and it's like you have to play Kotetsu in your deck to have that kind of thing go up. I thought that was cool. Um, it does suck that you you know it feels bad to lose, but I think that was a good match. And shout out to both of those duels for coming out. Okay, okay, okay. So let's see. Um, let's see who we got here. Let's go. Let's find another match real quick. As we're still in round number one, I have reports that the world champ and Michael Gray are locked and engaged. So let's tune in and see what's going on over there first, if we can. If we can, Dingo Sig and Scrub for Life. Let's see what they're cooking. Let's see what they're both cooking out here in this game number one. This is a nice freshie coming on off. La Bounty and Crash are going at it. Two SJC champions? I might have to do it. I might have to jump in there too. Dang, so many good duels. Speaking of being against thing, I I am against a criminally criminally low number of likes on the stream. Spooky. Oh my goodness. Get them right. How many likes we have? I can't even see the stream. <laughs> the stream is just humping along, dude. And we got three likes, bro. That is. I'm about to turn this damn stream off. So what's going to happen? I'm about to shut it off. Three likes is ridiculous, dude. Three like three people, three Muldoons out there, three Go Format enthusiasts are out there liking the stream. That is ridiculous, dude. I hate to see it. Literally, three. <laughs> How many likes you got, bro? We got three. That's crazy. Y'all don't give a damn. Y'all don't give a damn, dude. <laughs> That's crazy. You are brighter than them damn light. Is it? Is it? Is it too bright in here? Oh, because it's uh, I got the sun is out. The sun is out, big dog. The sun is out. As trap does shoot is going to be deployed here, and it looks like we got, uh, it looks like we have warriors from Dingo Sig's perspective, and it looks like we might have another relinquish, dude. Relinquish is up, dude. Relinquish is up, dude. Tyler McCracken says Konami used to have a sealed format. I feel like they really tried to emulate older formats with those old sets and style of gameplay. I would look to those for inspiration, like a sealed, a sealed, sealed. And have people not cheat. Cause I have some great ideas for like a sealed tournament or a sealed format. Like, Hey, you have this many packs. And you get the opening and make your deck. But I just know that people are going to cheat, Tyler. I just, it, online, there's no way to like, unless you sit there and watch every person open every pack and be able to somehow register what they open and how long and whatever, what they have. I think it's not, it's going to, it's going to be, um, it's going to be like, um, people are just going to be like, oh, I got all these broken ass cards. And it's not, it's, I don't know. Or maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. Maybe they won't. But that could be cool, though. Like a sealed showdown, like some kind of, hey, open this many packs and and play with the packs you get. I think that could be cool. But I think that's, uh, that's hope. That's hoping. You're hoping. or hoping a lot. As, <coughs> excuse me. As we got Dingo Sig is on the play. So it looks like we have Dingo is playing, potentially playing the Warrior strategy. Could be anything. Could be anything. Could be anything. Uh, I really think you should pay someone to finish ACP's Goat Simulator. It would open up so many possibilities for our game. I would, man. I, I, I would. I think it'd be cool to have our own like Dueling Book thing. But I think Dueling Book is adequate enough, and our I don't think our game is large enough. I don't think maybe if you if it feels like a complete retro space kind of thing, like all retro thing, and somehow we manage to all join forces, which would be a dream of mine. Which would be a dream if like the whole retro community could come together and be like, okay, we're we're retro world now. And we had like a whole panel of people and like a board of representatives and Konami listened to us and it would be a whole thing. I, I highly I highly doubt that would happen. And if that were the case and we had like a retro world and we had our own simulator, that could that could be that could be neat. But that's a pipe dream at best. Uh ACP, he had the, he's a rare, a rare person in that, in that regard where he had the, um, know-how, the ability to actually execute it and also the drive and motivation. Because when you have, when you try to generate something like that, it costs a significant amount of money. You can only imagine to be creating your own computer 
simulator or whatever, it's going to take serious financial resources unless you have the ability to do it yourself, which he did. And I don't. And I also don't have the money to kind of pay someone to do that either. And also you would have to pay someone and then you have to basically explain to them how the whole game works. And that's going to be tough as we're going to go ahead and soup knock here. Soup knock pop the DD assailant, man. DD assailant looking great there staring down at Sukiyomi, but no one across is going to pop that bad boy out of play as Sukiyomi is going to reach on in for 1,100 as we'll just ring up the flipper. A retro world tournament with an updated ban list to the current meta. Dude, can't, how cool would that be, Wiz Krills? How cool would that be with like updated card pools that change and like, oh man, we got a new ban list comes out from the, from the current game. We got our own ban list from this game. Yeah, it's only 2005, but we're still just rotating, just keeping it fresh and changing the ideas and keeping the stagnation low. I think that would be awesome. Again, I understand I'm in a camp alone a lot of time. As Dingo was out here with the goblins, dude. He's about to gobble up. Looks like 23 is getting in clean, perhaps, as it's stroking down. And you're going to have to just consume that, dude. Eat it. As the gang turns sideways, battle phase comes to an end. And you just absolutely felt every piece of that 2300 in your hitbox, dude. And it hurts. It stings, dude. That's a bad, that's a bad crew right there. That's a crew of bad boys right there. They don't give a damn about your personal personal well-being damn dude as sinister serpente is going to come back with a nice little cleanup of the goblin but the damage has already been done literally bro 23 in your face and now that serpent is looking vulnerable man if you get to a damn injection fairy lily with some heavy storm giant trunade type activity you're done so let's see if we can get to a storm storm lily and what are we talking about Breaker is actually, oh, we're going to go MST. We're coming after the old set, and it was that Torrential Tribute. That's a pro world champ read right there. <laughs> Never mind. It's the trap does shoot information. I can only assume. But it's just a little dupe. The little deucer is going to come out there and slash and dash. This Sinister Serpente. Dang. And now you got the Mystic Swordsman standing alone and unafraid. Not to mention, you always have to worry about Konami coming in with the CND and wasting all your money. We don't, we can, we, if, yeah, we can control it. I think it's fine, especially in the retro space. A lot of these cards are already printed. A lot of this, a lot of this stuff is already done. So, mo and most of the stuff collection wise, you already have it. As Scrub for Life is going to come back in with a huge crackback, ring for game, snatch, hit, hit, ring. You know the vibe. You already know the vibe. That's another card that's on my very, very short list of cards that can get the hell out of here. Ring of Destruction. Snatch Deal is close. Snatch Deal, Snatch Deal is close. Snatch Deal is blade running. But Ring of Destruction is on a very short list of get the hell out of here cards. Get it gone, dude. Especially in a world where offerings to the Doom exist. Offerings to the Doom exist in GOAT format. And Ring of Destruction exists. Can't be real. Can't be real. Offerings to the Doomed exist as a card. And Ring of Destruction exists in the same world. Unreal. Ring of Destruction is fair and balanced. How much peyote have you been on this morning, big dog? How much, how much angel dust? Have you consumed this dueling morning a lot or a little? I'm thinking a lot. We all know that ring of destruction is not a balanced card, but we accept it because it came out of chronic guardian and it's secret rare. And I pulled one and it's my baby. It's not fair. It's so unfair. Ring for game is one of the worst feelings and I've done it. I've run, I've rung, I ring, I have ring for game with the best of them. We all have. That don't, that don't, that don't make it right. That don't make it right. Okay. It sucks, man. It's a bad feeling. It's like, damn dude, attack. Or it should be like, if you play this card, you can't attack. Like, come on. They're not even, they didn't even try. If you activate this card, you cannot declare an attack this turn. They didn't even try. They didn't even, they didn't even, they didn't even give it a shot, dude. <laughs> How much skooma? He's on that. He's on that. that 
he's on that skooma no dude if you're on that if you're on that peyote maybe if you're on dmt if you're on a if you're in a different universe and you're like man i'm astral projecting right now and in the fifth dimension ring of destruction is a balanced card i'm like oh that makes sense yeah 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 yeah. that makes sense yeah that's fair <laughs> you're in the fifth dimension things are different over there time is gravity in the fifth dimension but unfortunately in the third dimension on earth the planet that we're on in this universe ain't no way ain't no way ain't no way ringo destructo is unplayably bad i don't think so man i think you're over there grumple in the fifth dimension with john doe smoking experimental drugs okay and that's a fact as trap does shoot another another car very short list got to get the hell out of here got to go game's better without it as we're going to go ahead and send some cars back but the hand was grace pot wide sort kaiku strong hand for scrub for life as we're going to go ahead and go for a ritual here to get probably some uh some good discard fodder <clears throat> excuse me Get some discard, get some discard fodder for the graceful charity. We got a, we got a wook. We got a wook. We got a wook in chat. Who's a wook? We got a wook out here. Is somebody out here? Humans do peyote. Kajit do skooma. Oh, dude, we out here. Is that a, what was that from? Is that from, um, I got shot in the knee. What's that game, dude? Elder Scroll. Fuck. I'm sorry. I'm I'm not I'm not a gamer, dude. I know I know the idea. Okay, I, I get some concepts, but I don't I don't I don't game too much. But I, I I'm I'm locked in a little bit. As we got Manju is out here. Upstart and Pot. He's hanging on to that charity till still too. So it's looking it's looking scary. We, we go ahead and flip the faith. What happened? I missed a turn. Did he not attack? I think he just didn't attack there. Which is probably cool. Which is which is which is which is probably cool. Pui says, think a burning man, white dreadlocks type. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Let me look up a, let me look it up real quick. I got the internet. <laughs> I got the I got the power of the internet on my side. I'm gonna check it out. After I see what Dingo's gonna kick out here with this graceful charity. <coughs> Excuse me. I gotta see what Dingo's gonna toss. As graceful charity has been deployed, and we're gonna send some discards out. So Dingo looked like he's playing the Earth strategy. I know he's talking about this a little bit in the GOAT format War League Discord. Just trying to figure out a way to get Earth popping. Speaking of, speaking of, there's going to be another uh, Duel of Showcase taking place probably sometime next week. There's going to be a Duel of Showcase uh, taking place next week. It's going to feature, again, our newest GFC champion, AJT BLS, and all-time Spice Lord and prominent fan favorite, GSC champion as well, Alephia, are going to lock and engage in a duelist challenge. Um, it's not any type of grudge match or anything like that. It's more of a scientific study, okay, because Alephia feels that Earth is a viable strategy in go format. So much so that we want to see if Earth versus Turbo, what that matchup is going to look like over an extended period of time. So we're going to do a uh, first to 11 matches, Earth versus Turbo. We'll have... Uh, Alephia playing the Earth strategy and AJT playing the patent pen and chaos turbo strategy. And they're going to play a ton of games. And we're going to see as you've been my body, very cool tech coming in from the world champ, as you're going to be able to body up, just body ya, and then attack in with the DD warrior lady, banish the light monster required to summon that chaos sorcerer there. And now you're going to set a couple more cards and pass it back on over to a scrub for life. <laughs> Um, Dingo should be forced to play blue turbo with that pick. Is that a fact? He's got to play relink. He's been rocking relink for years though. This is fan favorite. This is, this is a patent pending, uh, relinquish profile pick as scrub. has got the master of Oz. Can they pre or standard list? The list have to be approved by me and I will, I'll check them out. There will be no pre, no pre, no pre. Uh, they have to be very standard. The whole idea is, um, not, not to, not to like, for one deck to just dunk on the other deck 
is just for the two decks to face off with very, very good players at the helm of each one. Um, at, at the worst, Earth is going to learn about the deck and how to play against the best matchup. And more information will be deduced that we can then disseminate out to the larger pool of players, man. So people can see what the hell is going on, if it's real, if it's fake, whatever. And then we'll, we'll, we'll know from there. So I'm, I'm so fortunate that these duelists agreed to do this. And I think it's going to be really cool as we're going to go ahead and blast the Zombira the Dark with the Mirror Force. Screw up for life, I believe, is still holding on to the charity. And you're going to finally deploy that thing right now. And we're going to think here. You're requesting a thumbs up. Dingo gives the thumbs up. So now you're just hoping that you don't get to a light monster if you're Dingo Sig. Scrub is like, let me get up out of here. Zigantes is putting on a little bit of pressure. <laughs> Not Master of Oz. Did I say, oh, John, did I say Master of Oz, dude? Oh, my goodness. I'm sorry. It's early. I haven't, I've had no coffee this morning. Did I say Master of Oz? I meant Ojama King, and my brain is not fully firing yet. It's still early, okay? It's not even 9 o'clock yet. Give me a little bit of slack, dude. <laughs> Give me the, sm uh, the smallest iota of, of slack, please, if, if I could. Give me a little break, okay? It's early. It's not even 9 a.m. Had, I've had zero coffee. I slept terribly, okay? I had to work super late last night, okay, in an emergency situation. I thought it was gonna be easy. It's one of those uh one of those Black Hawk Down scenarios. I thought it would be one way, and I show up, and it was a whole different way. All right, so that happened. But I was in a Great Wolf Lodge, you know what I'm saying? Running and gunning Great Wolf Lodge, getting it in. Mm. So we're gonna kick out, and we do get to the Thunder Dragon. So you did find your light monster required to activate the chaos sorcerer in hand. <laughs> to activate it. Dang. I was out there in the in the in the old Great Wolf Lodge earlier this week. Nothing on red, so no trap does shoot. As we're gonna go for a main phase two, we're gonna go ahead and bring down the chaos sorcerer and we'll get a cheeky banish in on one of these mods. So it looks like we got Gigantes getting thrown out of there. <clears throat> 385 Demir says, they say Sunday is a holy day. And here we are, JDZ blessing us in the morning. Oh no, I don't, it's if, and that's a, that's worldwide. I mean, it's Sunday is a, is a day people like to do their religious stuff, but this is not that we're just out here kicking it, man. I'm kicking it out here today on Sunday. I don't want to. <laughs> Hopefully, you guys are enjoying your enjoying your yourselves this Sunday as well. Hopefully, hopefully, you guys are having a great, a nice, relaxing Sunday. Hopefully, your weather is looking great like mine is. Hopefully, you guys are feeling good. Hopefully, you guys are well rested. As Chaos Source is going to get another plus two. This card is is so insane, dude. So insane, and just bring it out and just get a plus two like that. Like how how is that fair? Come on now. Come on now. As Wiz Krill says, I wish all of these duelists good luck. I can't dedicate the time on a single day to try a tournament filling jelly. Well, what we can do for you, Wiz, and I'm thinking about actually doing this for the next uh, for the next tournament that we have, is just making it a multi-day PWCQ. We'll try it because I, I want to make sure that everyone is getting a chance to play. And next Sunday, I actually want to go play IRL, so I don't want to... Unless I can find someone to host it a single day, I might make the next one multi-day just to see how it works. And maybe people might enjoy that too. Because I want to go to the regional down in Seattle. There's going to be a regional on May the 5th. Or excuse me, May the 5th. Yep. In Seattle. And I want to go play IRL. Side events, of course. Edison and GOAT. Or Tango. Whatever the hell they got there. I just want to play whatever the, whatever they're hosting. I'm just going to take all my cards or borrow some decks or something and just play whatever they got. And, and that's going to be on the same day as the PWCQ. So I may not be able to host that one. So if I can't find anybody to host, what we'll do is just make it a multi-day PWCQ and maybe we can get the top cut streamed. That could be, that could be an answer. And if it pops off and if people really enjoy that, then that'd be something that we can continue to, to do throughout. I don't know. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. We'll try it out. John Doe says we need a paper goat local finder in discord. Yeah, we, we can, we usually people will, Oh, huge. Do you got another, my body. 
that was a tremendous mirror force coming in for scrub for life oh that was so so powerful dude dang dude Oof. <clears throat> damn that's a, just a brutal that's a brutal mirror force Whew, man hurt my soul dude man in the mirror i'm Staring at the man in the mirror. Damn. I'm gonna make a change. Oh, and my life is gonna feel real. Ooh. Damn. <laughs> Shit. I'm gonna make it right. That's what I, whenever I get blasted by a mirror force, dude, I, that song just comes in my head. I don't know why. Because I'm just like, damn, dude. Been the victim of. You go goblins here. Maybe you got Mirror Force down. I'm going to go Zabu Za right away. DD Assailant is out and we're swinging. And we're going to ring him up. And we're both taking 17. <laughs> Who am I to be blind? <laughs> sorry, I'm so sorry. That was stuck in my head. Not to see their need. You know the vibes. You guys know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Recently, I saw a video that was singers falling downstairs. It's just random vocalization of guys <laughs> like Elvis and, Michael. Elvis and Michael Jackson, dude. Just <clears throat> I don't know how Michael Jackson got off, dude. He, he made it pop. He made it pop, dude. I don't know how he did it, but man, he's super famous. <laughs> In the victim of a certain kind of love. It's the time that I be alive. <laughs> and there's a home with a home. <laughs> not a dick of the Lord. Could it be truly me pretending not to see? The okay, enough. No more. No more. Mirror's gone. That happened a long time ago. We're off it. We're done. We're back to the action. But that mirror force would have been GG's. And now we got the sinister Serpente. Staring alone and afraid to hand the sets are RB Saku MST. He's got so many units. You need to get to a heavy storm. You're going to bring out the gobs, and the gobs is going to get gobbled up by the Sakuretsu army. You just got to start getting that stuff done, huh? Getting that stuff checked out as Dingo Sig is trying to keep up the pressure as we got Sinister Serpente now in defensive posture. And now we got one light, one dark coming in. This is so so unforged it looks like as bls is going to come on down dang 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 as you get blasted by 3000 there and you can't even snatch deal your way out of this thing because rb is looming so this should just be the end of this duel as rb with bls is going to gg a lot of the time as that will be that mst as well so ggs for both of those duelists ggs to scrub man coming out playing the rituals in kaiku was strong, you know what I'm saying? Got the Sork, had some good units. That Mirror Force was just uh, was just too, too, too strong. Um, both both duels can post replay. Just get them all, everyone just post replay. There is no limitation on who can post. Just get them in, I need the replays in, or you will be done, dude. Let's make sure that, uh, that we're checking that as well. Okay, so cool, cool, cool. As we have uh, the round one is essentially coming to a close here. Round two is still underway as uh, Habanero gets the best of Planchi. All right, we're going to go check out the two, two, two Shonen Jump champions are Clash locked and engaged as LeBounty and Crash Volt, good friend and teammate of mine, are locked and engaged in a duel of wits as LeBounty is down a game. Crash Volt on the approach and we're just going to rip the solemn judgment on the metamorphosis after the cost has been played crash is playing the anti-warrior deck it seems la bounty appears to be playing the warrior strategy has promised that hey this deck is coming back and i'm and i'm not letting it go as mystical space typhoon is going to come down and we got the tribal one is going to be back and it looks like we have 16 going in the bounty is going to be forced to come off of the top of the deck Staring down an open board. We got one, no, excuse me, we got one set spell trap. At 16, we'll try to reach on in. And 
it will pause here for a second. As Betchy comes on in and says, what's up, Goats World? Hope you have an awesome stream. I need to learn the Italian shuffle to win. Is that a fact? Where are you at? Where are you playing right now? Where are you playing right now, Betchy? Where are you playing at right now? Are you are you playing IRL? Are you are you playing IRL right now? Are you outside with it? As Graceful Charity is coming in off the top of the deck. Are you playing I are you playing in the IRL capacity right now? You gotta play more, Betchy. Are you playing today? Are you in this tournament? What is your current situation? As La Bounty kicks out the solemn judgment and the premature burial. That was some those some some scary kicks. This set card must be too legit to quit. As Sinister Serpente is going to be added back to hand. Crash has what could be game on board. Maybe he got a heavy storm. Maybe not. We'll see as La Bounty is going to be sitting here at 500. We're going to go for a premature burial. And we're bringing back the San Gone. Just try to have a little bit of insurance policy. Just in case you also get blasted by a mirror force. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see. We shall see here soon as San Gon is going to be report reporting for duty in attack position and 16 and thousand goes in. Is this the end of the game? And that will be the end of the game. GG. And it was torrential tribute. So the Sangin actually played great there because you were able to get another search and then just get the dub there. So the bounty goes down to crash folk. SJC Seattle takes down SJC. Uh, what was it? Uh, DC, Delaware. Damn, I, I don't know, man. DC was it? I know it was in DC. Damn it, Shonen Jump. Uh, no, it was in a uh, Perfect Circle. Where the hell was that at? You guys know, man. Help me out. My brain is fried. Okay, here we go. And next, so we're sticking in round number two. Round number two. Round number two. Let's see what uh. Let's let's check and see what Ghost Rider and Rabbit are cooking up in round number two, two, two. Uh. And uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Let's see what Ghost and the Ghost with the most, as we got another game two scenario. And Ghost has been working trying to do Goat Grand Prix Los Angeles. I just got an email back this morning before I turned the stream on that Goat Grand Prix Los Angeles is going to be a go for July 13th. 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 July the 13th is going to be Goat Grand Prix Los Angeles. I know they were kind of going back and forth with the dates, but the owner reached out to me this morning and said that they're going to be locked in Goat Grand Prix Los Angeles. So after this uh, match, actually, I can pull up all the lists of what we have so far in terms of Goat Grand Prix. And then you guys can see if there is something that you can uh, maybe go out and play, go out and play in. As Rabbit is going to be on the pressure, Zambira looking foolish again, like a big old goofball, can't attack. Look, he's got 2,100 life points. He's got 2,100 attack. Can't seal the deal. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Hate to see it. Oh, month on the West Coast. Oh, yeah. We got Los Angeles, and then we got Seattle. Okay? They're kind of far away from each other, but it is all West Coast. And then we have some East Coast. There's going to be a, a nice... June is basically northeast. July is kind of looking like it's going to be more west coast. We kind of had some in the south. We got Europe. We're all over the place, man. So, and and again, they're not going to be the biggest tournaments, but there is a Goat Grand Prix in Italy on May the 26th. That's that's actual Goat headquarters, okay? It goes through Italy. They just sold out 256 person IRL event, okay? Pre-reg to sold out. So GCI over there, huge shout out to Pat and huge shout out to the GCI team and Italy as a whole. But yes, Orlando, Orlando Pui is confirmed. Orlando is confirmed. Orlando, Orlando is confirmed for August the 17th. I, I, that one might not be on the list though. I got to write that one down. August 17th is Orlando. So yes. And Tijuana is August 31st. So we're, we got them. They're, we're packed in. They're going to be so many. Obviously I can't go to them all, but it's like a, it's like a cool vibe, man. It's like a regional thing like a small little regional august august the 17th august the 17th is going to be uh goat grand prix orlando 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 so come on out as graceful charity is going to be up we're going to kick out snatch steel we're also going to kick out the delinquent duo late can't play it dead as hell might as well discard it and he's on buyers looking pitiful man 
can't put the pressure, getting absolutely body blocked by the sinister of Serpente, and you're just holding squat, dude. Can't do anything about it. Hate to see it. As if some buyer is going to keep just getting his bell rung, going lower and lower, tangled up with this snake. That would be a cool mat or a cool design. It's like Zumbira, like fighting Sinister Serpent, like a long ass Sinister Serpent. And it's like Zumbira, he's like getting tangled up and he's like struggling. That'd be a cool, that'd be, a, I think I'm gonna write that down. That's, that'd be a cool design. Maybe I can get the artist to draw that. Like Zumbira just getting tangled up by a Sinister Serpent, dude. And this is, that, that is what happens. It's like a depiction of that. And now Dust Tornado is going to be able to hit the Snatch Steel. But then Solemn Judgment, it's unzinged, is going to be able to uh, negate the Dust Tornado. And this could be game right here. And it is. That's Bottomless Trap Hole looking silly, looking dumb, man. Hate to see it. Bottomless Trap Hole just wasn't doing it. And that Sinister Serpent wore down the Zumbira to where he was weak enough to lose to that attack. That's go for Matt Doolin right there. That's some big city dueling. Big city dueling right there. As both of those duels are fantastic players, as Ghost Rider is going to get the better of the game this time. Okay, so moving on, moving on, we are in round number three, three, three. All right, all right, all right, round number three. If I can, my little my little board's not working right now. Nope. One, two, three. Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. And like I said, just real quick, Orlando is not on here. I, I, didn't, I did not put Orlando on here, but Orlando will be on here. Orlando is going to be August 17th, okay? So these are the ones that are approved next weekend, or excuse me, on May the 4th, we're going to Cleveland and we're going to Osnabrück. Osnabrück, unfortunately, is already sold out. So if you're not there, you can't play, but you can still go there and vibe and kick it. So come on out and, and still support in Osnabrück. Germany is blowing up in a major way. We're going to get more events in Germany next season. So um, stay tuned for that. Cleveland, May the 4th. Dallas is May the 18th. I'll be out there. Come on out in Dallas and play. Athens is May the 26th. Also, GCI is May the 26th as well. That's not on here either. But GCI, it's already sold out. And you guys already know. You guys already know. Chicago is June 8th. New England, June 15th. Detroit, Los Angeles, Seattle. This is going to, I'm going to be at right here. A Livonia is, is a new one that just came up. It's going to be in the uh, Michigan area, greater Detroit area. They put in, and I know we already have one in Detroit, but they're, they're really wanting to do it. So I, I, we're, going to, we're going to try to go there as well. And then Wales is another one. I spelled that wrong too. Good grief. Let me get this out here before I embarrass myself. So yeah, Wales, Wales is on there. Cardiff. I should have put Cardiff. I, good, good Lord. Okay. I just made that this morning, but um, that's going to be what it is. So cool, 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 cool. All right. Back to the action. Oh man oh man dang disconnected all right all right all right all right all right so cool 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 and chill 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 and we're gonna see uh mr big noodle and milk it i think was the was the match that i wanted to see in round number three and see what they're cooking as the noodles out there trying to get back to the go format world championship as we got a game number one underway where is new england being held it's go nick rory yo huge shout out to nick rory first before i say anything else huge shout out to nick rory who's coming in clutch uh stood on business okay person of their word man of their word duelist of their word coming out and says you know what i rock with the goat world i want to make a donation to the goat world and nick rory has elected to donate some goat format dueling play mats to the goat world participants they're going to come here and I am going to uh, and I'm going to ship those out to players as as the season go on. They're really, really cool. And thank you for doing that. But uh, it's going to be held in. I, I got the information. I was just working on a little bit more of the details for uh, Connecticut, working on a little bit more details for the Los Angeles. And I can put those out. But it's, I believe it's going to be I want to say it's going to be in. Let me let me find out real quick. Give me one second. Give me one second. Give me one one little nanosecond. And I can answer all these questions. I can I can talk GGP all day. Okay. We could this could be a GGP stream and we can get all the information out today. 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 All right. So for the uh for the for the Connecticut it's going to be at a place called Imperial Gaming and Collectibles, okay, in Meriden. 
Does that make any sense to you? Imperial gaming and collectibles. And I've never been to Connecticut, so I don't know where Meriden is. But if you are from Connecticut, the term Meriden should make some sense to you. Imperial gaming and collectibles in Meriden. So this is going to get announced soon. I'm trying to work on a big roll up and make sure all the information is out. Yeah, it should it should it should be in Meriden. Meriden. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, let's see who else. Who else? Who else? Who else? Somebody somebody asked about um Livonia. Livonia, Livonia. Okay, let me get some Livonia information. Sorry, sorry, Duelist. All right, let's see. Let's see. Let's Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Give me, uh, give me, give me one more sec. Here it is. So I got some behind us, behind the scene tournament, some behind the scene tournament activities are going down. Um, it's going to be in a place called. Dang, where is that? Of course I can't find it now. I am so embarrassed. I am so embarrassed. And I don't want to pull my whole email up and dox my entire email account right now. Okay, I can't, I can't, I can't find it without going to my email right now. But it's going to be in a, um, it's going to be in a location that's in the city of Livonia in Michigan. So if you're familiar with that, I'll have more information. I, I so promise, dude. It's been a lot. It's been a lot, man. It's been a lot, and I need, I don't really have a lot of. Maybe I, I need to tap in more staff to help me out with these GDPs because it does. It's, a, it's, a, it takes a lot of time to kind of make sure this stuff is coordinated correctly. GCI top. We are ready. Are you topping GCI? Are you to, are you topping GOAT Championship Italy? That is an event that I I desperately would like to attend in person at some point. I just need to get my money up, and I would I would love to go over there and just experience that because I don't know. I think playing that with that many people and just in a real life capacity, I think would be very very cool. And it's so awesome that they're able to do that and put it all together. I think it's great. I think it's really really great. Italy has some of the most phenomenal go from at players and the fact that they can put those on consistently and they get these numbers consistently. It just shows man, it goats. It might not be in the prominent position that it once was. I mean, I'm not saying that it is, but still that there are people who are tremendously passionate about this game, about this format, about this community. It just, it warms me up. It makes me think like, okay, this is why I, this is why I stay up so late. This is why I wake up so early. This is why I don't do certain things this is why i don't go out this is why because it all matters man because it, if it matters to a certain amount of people it matters to me and i want to make sure that is a uh, something that's sustained and i think it's really neat as the borg is out so we're thunderclapping here from the noodle and we got a freaking scapegoat what does this card even do i gotta read it i gotta read it i gotta read it special summon four sheep tokens beast earth level one attack zero defense zero attack in defense position, they cannot be tributed for a tribute summon. That's lame. You cannot summon other monsters to turn you activate this card, but you can normal set. That's also lame. I have never seen this card before in my life. I have never seen this card before. It's been so long <laughs> since I've seen this card. Oh, it's back. It's an okay, it's okay card. Turbo can side it sometime. Okay, that makes sense. Wow, it seems, it seems okay. It seems okay on the surface. Jandro Zone says it sounds sketch. Yeah, it is kind of it is kind of a neg, right? Like, why do, why is why is he playing this? <laughs> what is this? What is this? As Click Cat Kitty Cat says, "Hello, Ghost." Oh, Click Cat. Ah, oh, man, I'm so sorry. I owe you. I owe you tremendous information. I owe you, and I did not pay you, dude. I am so bad, dude. 
Karim, I'm writing it down right now because I meant to get you that VOD and I didn't do it. I have the deck list made and I just didn't ship them, dude. I am such a piece. I am so sorry. As we got Creature Flop pairing it up with Ghosts trying to take over the Zaborgian. Look at this. Let's see if it works. The Noodle might have to rip on this because that is a ton of damage and you're losing your position. You're losing your guy. Yeah, this I am I am dude, you have no Karim, you have no idea. Between my actual life, like my actual job, my actual family, my actual other responsibilities I have in life, and the goat world, <laughs> it's not even close, dude. As we're gonna go ahead and use the call of the haunted, bring back Ninja Grandmaster, who is going to still be able to do 18. We're taking him anyway. We're taking your guy anyway, dude. That Snatch Deal is going to be the play. MST is the counter. Let's see if there's another chain. As Snatch Deal will go ahead and be reduced to the graveyard. <clears throat> yeah, I've, I've been I've been swamped, man. It's just a ter it's just a terrible time of year. But it is what it is. No excuses. No excuses. And now we will make another Metamorphosis play. It looks like we have the Scapegoat Metamorphosis Creature Swap. All in one fail swoop, getting maximum util util utility out of those scapegoats as we're going to take over the Zaborg. And we'll just TT Blast as Mr. Big Noodle's getting some supreme value out of his cards as well. All of those back row cards came in huge, but Solemn Judgment is going to be the final negation of this long chain as the suck will go off un imposed, un un unstop, unnegated. And we're going to suck. First suck of the day brought to you by that could be you. Whoever wants to be the sponsor of the stream. We can talk first suck of the day brought to you by insert your company right there. That could be you. You've been sucked. Ryobi Dyson <laughs> fucking Toyota. <laughs> Come on out here. <laughs> brought to you by Dyson. There you go. Frog in the bog. You've been brought to you by Dyson. Never lose suction. Suck of the day. Taking over the Zaborg. But this tribe is looking ready to snap back. You're going to have to pay two cards, though, to clear this board. And maybe three if you want to get through the token as well. As we're going to lose the Cyberstein. And then we got the bottomless trap hole. So bottomless trap hole technology coming in both ways. Cyberstein was dead on arrival. And we got fear from the dark. Noodle is cooking. What are we making here? What's this? What's this brew? What is this stew out here? Is that just frustration from just getting duoed into the shadow realm? Just being duoed nonstop? You're just like, I'm going to to hell with it. I'm putting fear from the dark in my deck. You can't suk me. It's got 1700 attack. And I dare you to play duo. I double dog dare you. I double, I double dog dare you. I'm with it, dude. I'm with it. Why not? Book them back, dude. Book a life. <laughs> Bring them back. I still think Regen Mummy. I think Regen. I think Regen Mummy might be a little bit better because he's got that 1800, and that 1800 goes a little bit further than the 1700. And also, sometimes coming back to your hand might even be better than coming to the field. But still, it's a vibe, and I, I like seeing cards that don't get played. And this card looks very awesome, and it should be played. It should be played as Vapor Turalis says JDZ forever. Batman forever. No, you forever. Vapor. You and us as we do got the book of life. We're bringing them back. Yeah, if this if this if that if that was regen right there, you can you can still face up this Ninja Grand Master and not have an issue. I think that's a play. I think that's the way to go. But book of life looking pretty strong as you're able to take out the light monster. <laughs> You could uh you could bump coconuts with this damn ninja grandmaster. But still, I think it's really cool to see him out there. As you're gonna go ahead and set one spell trap on the field. Now Ninja Grandmaster is in front of one spell trap of your own. Milk has got four thousand after playing that solemn judgment, and you're gonna be able to attack into the fear from the dark. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Regen. Regen. Regen all day. I love the spice too. Hey, hey as Pedro says, I love the spice. I'm all about it. If someone says if, if I see someone playing a card, right? If someone's like, okay, I got this card. I want to play whatever it is. And 
they say, oh, and, and people and, and people do this in the Discord all the time. Like, oh, why are you playing this? That card is so bad. You should play this. If the answer of, of that question is I'm playing this card because it's cool as hell, then I'll always say, you know what? You're right. You should play that. Oh, absolutely. If you come at me with some statistics and some numbers and some data and some, well, you got the, this many times you draw this card and it's going to be dead. You're, you're losing me. Okay. You lost me. Why are you playing? Fee Mega Cyber doesn't even work in this deck. Why are you playing it? Because it's cool as hell. That's why. Oh, right on. Carry on. Hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. Because it's cool as hell. Why are you? Why in the hell is he playing Fear from the Dark? Because it's cool as hell. That's why. Oh, right on. Carry on. Carry on smartly, duelist. Keep rocking. And then when you win with it, you're just you're just that you're just that much better than everyone else because you're winning with you're winning in ways that other people haven't. You're doing things that other people can't. As we have a paused game here, what are we pausing for? What is happening? Let's duel. Fear from the dark. Fear from the dark. I have a constant fear that someone's duoing duo is near. If you got a despair from the dark and fear from the dark, you're cooking. As Milka just had to take a quick little break, it appears. Despair, despair is too is is that 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 eight stars, man. That's kind of hard to that's kind of hard to navigate sometimes. That's kind of hard to negotiate. That eight stars is brutal. But it's still him though. You haven't lived until someone plays duo on you, and you drop two despair from the darks. You got two cards in your hand. They play duo and two 3,000 defense guys hit the field. That's one of the funniest experiences that you could have as a, as a duelist. And it's almost worth playing a card just for that, just for that feeling, just for that, just for that, just for that off chance that that could happen. It's very rare that it's going to happen. And you're probably going to lose holding despair from the darks more often than anything. And so we got another one. We're double fear. We are full of fear, dude. We are full of fear. I'm with it, dude. And the fear is mounting as the fear is starting to spread. The fear and panic as Trap Does Shoot is going to be revealed as well. We're fear. Fear.com. <laughs> 385 D Mir says D Dir D Dear Mir is full of fear. I think the double electric snake is scarier. Probably. Probably probably as you gotta souk knock the fear just out of pure panic dude look at the panic is setting in and you have no choice but to souk knock your way out of this thing hate to see it as souk is gonna have to reach in for 1100 and do you got another fear are you dude third fear is just crazy third fear third fear i don't think my body can take third fear off the top right now <laughs> I don't think my I don't think my mental faculties can take third fear or book new fear. Book more fear is crazy. Ain't no way. Why was call destroyed? Um, what happened? I'm sorry. I know he called it back. Did he exile it? Or he souk knocked it? Yeah, it should be. It should be on the field. Good catch. If that's the one that was no, what was call on? What was call on? He exiled Sasuke. Yeah, that call should call. Okay, no, if he exiled face up Sasuke, it should uh, it should be destroyed. He exiled he exiled Sasuke. Okay, thanks, Splev. Thanks, Big Splev. Yeah, he exiled face up Sasuke, so it should uh, it should be gone if that's the case. <laughs> okay, okay, we're chilling though. We're big chilling. Just no as long as Giant Trina is not played, and the whole integrity of the tournament just comes shattering down. The whole tournament integrity just comes shattered. And we got book. We're book of life gang. And we're bringing them back. The fear is restored, dude, as you're going to go ahead and remove the thousand eyes restrict as well. So we got multiple books, multiple fear. And Sukiyomi is going to get ran down. And that 1500 is going to be able to wall most attacks these days. Well, not most. Some. Not even some. A few. It can get somebody. It can block a few things. No one to cross out. It's not one of those things as no woman is going to go ahead and remove second fear, dude. When is the last time you've seen double fear from the dark, get no across cross crossed out. It's been a long time. 
It's been a long time. Indeed. Long time indeed. As we got Pyramid Turtle acti activity is on the field. So Mr. Big Noodles on straight up zombies, it looks like. Zombies with Zaborg and Stein and Noodles cooking. Noodles absolutely cooking, dude. Whatever. That's, that's what the Duelist is doing. He's absolutely getting it in. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. And thanks to everyone for coming out and playing as we got the Logue. The Logue is in the chat. Yo, the Logue. The Loger. The, the Logue gang is out here. It says, at YCS Rally, I played a friendly against a fellow Go Format Duelist, and he main decked Electric Snake for my duo. Did you, were you in immediate shambles? What was your mental? Uh, what was your mental capacity at after that went down? Was it in shambles? Are you still coming by later on to join the program? Logue, Logue wants to come in and try to do some commentary later, and I told him, "Come on in, the water's fine." But if you're bad, you're out of here. Okay, if you're selling the vibes, you gotta go, dude. And that's a, it's a, that's a, that's a JDZ guarantee. Count on it, live and direct. Coming for your neck like Shrek, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. As we're going to go ahead and set in the face of this ferocious pyramid turtle, looking bulky as hell. One car in hand. Can't lose. Staring down. Pike Freak says, hey, JDZ, I hope you're doing good. I love to see the spice. Noodle has been in the kitchen. Noodle's always been cooking. Noodle has been a, a certified cooker. Spice Lord, if you will. For sure. So just seeing just seeing people come out and try trying it, I think that's a uh, I think that's really cool. Just seeing people coming out and trying it, I think it's cool. As Pyramid Turtle is going to wow, I've never seen that interaction either. As Set Abyss Soldier walls Pyramid Turtle, so that's two interactions I've never seen in my life occur in short periods of time. I've never seen Double Fear from the Dark get knocked, and I've never seen Pyramid Turtle wall Abyss Soldier, dude. Or excuse me. Abyss Soldier Wall Pyramid Turtle. That's cool. That's cool. Ice Phoenix is on some goo, dude. I'm I'm going. Let me know. Let let let, let us let your let your goo flags fly, dude. And I'm I'm with this too. Uh, kind of like mid to late season as we're in April, so we're still kind of early, like mid mid season as the World Championship is in October. A lot of people have already secured their invitations to the Go From at World Championship, so that kind of frees up people to say, okay. Well, I'm going I'm to start just testing things. I'm going to start experimenting with things. I'm going to start doing things more fun or just, you know, let my hair down a little bit. I think that's, and that's the energy of the PWCQs. It's kind of, it's, it's super competitive. Okay. So, so it's definitely competitive, but it's also an arena where people have a, a like a, a very rigid metagame. So it allows people to try different things that can kind of gain, gain different advantages and if you keep coming with the same decks over and over again, eventually people should be able to figure it out. Maybe Turbo is just that good that it can't be figured out. That's what speculation is right now. That's what uh, that's what speculation is. People think that Turbo is just so good that there's no counter to it. And I don't want to believe that. I think there are counters. It just requires more people to play those counters. And the counters also are severely weak to other mainstay decks like if there's a deck that has a very decent chaos turbo matchup chances are it just absolutely gets blasted by warriors you know and that just sucks so it kind of it kind of it kind of sucks a lot of people meaning rehab la bounty uh, i know you i know you i know you've been kind of off the grid for a little while so i'm gonna fill you in man in the time that you've been gone okay in the time you haven't been around the go from that dueling team known as rehab dude they've taken over the game like it's been it's been a complete like a complete chokehold on the, on the format, dude. No one is rising. Ultra Ultra Instinct has been trying. Okay, Ultra UI has been up, been trying, making some tops, slowing them down a little bit. But it's it's they've they've had a they've had a chokehold on the game for a while, this whole season for the most part. And there needs to be more teams or more brains or more minds coming together to oppose them, dude. Or they're going to take over. They're going to just take over. And if that's the case, then that's how it is. If that's the case. Quick one, too. But I did beat a Greek, dude. Wes and his hatred for uh, for the Greek duelists is just insane. Dude, taking shots after these Greek players is just heinous work, dude. 
the Greeks didn't do anything to you, man. Making your whole tournament experience about beating Greek duelists is not healthy for you or, or the format. Just like, yeah, man, I lost, but the duels I beat was from Greece, dude. So it's all worth it. I I like I like the uh I like the I like the tenacity as Abyss Soldier is wheeling and dealing. Abyss Soldier is bouncing and we're going in for a stroke. 18 gets in clean. Is he are we going clean with the 18? As a Turk, I support these messages. Oh no, we can't. Oh, come on. We can't have the Turk. That's 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 we're going we're going ancient. We're going ancient beasts right now. We're talking ancient prehistoric beasts. Not in the goat world. We can't do it. As you're going to eat the 18 from the abyss, that puts you down to 17. So this abyss is threatening lethal damage next turn. If you can't find a way to get his ass off the field and stop him from sinister serpent, serpent, sinister, sinister serpenting you. Well, dang, that's not a word. You could go for another book of life. If you have a third copy of book of life and then get the damn sinister serpent back. And speaking of dude, it's got the guy. We were, we were just talking about this guy. We were just talking about this guy. And it is the Fiend Mega Cyber. We'll tribute the Fiend Mega Cyber. Pop the Abyss Soldier. We were just talking about this guy. What are the chances? What are the chances? We were just I we were just discussing the Fiend Mega Cyber. And this could be GG on you now. If you can't stop this. Did you did he attack? If you can't, if you can't stop it, I think he's not in battle phase. So you still got a 24, a shot at this 24 to get in. Oh man, everyone noodle, noodle, noodle. No offense to milk it. Milk is doing, milk has done nothing wrong, dude. But everyone is chanting noodle as noodles out here on the pure, uncut, unadulterated spice, dude. As we're staring down two set cards. Do you have what it takes? Do you have what it takes to get in clean with this 24? There's a lot of options. You got scapegoats as an option. Uh, there could be mirror force, all the normal stuff. Oh, he didn't. Did he attack already? Did I miss? He did not attack. I'm, I'm, I think I missed something. I don't know what the hell is going on. What a grindy game. It is. And, it, and this is, I don't know. Man, I like, I like games like this. I like games like this because you just kind of on the edge of your seat. You don't know what's going to happen. It might not be the most optimized thing, but if you play a Curious Turbo Mirror, you kind of know the beats of it. And I can't, I can't look away. Eyes are locked in. We're gonna, we're going to, uh, we're going Lost Millennium Ancient Gear B's Rare First Edition. Are you out here with it? We got Sangin is out here with it, and now we have to see if you're going to put some attacks in. We got Second Nomen Across out coming in from the floorboard. We're going to switch the Zaborg to defense position and Sangin tries to go in for game. And it is that mirror force. I think Mr. Big Noodle knew the mirror force was there based on probably some trap does shoot. Look at Noodle's deck. He's only got nine cards left as Melkit is at full 21. What the hell happened here? Pots? Dang. How did he get so far down? Usually there's like, oh, he's Pond Charity gets you that much further along? Was he searching with this Pyramid Turtle? Searching with Sangin? What the hell happened? Did you, how many times did he play pot? Damn. It seemed like his deck is zooming, zooming along. Was there a cyber jar something went off? How the hell did he get so deep? And he did get so not. It seemed like they're playing regular ass Yu-Gi-Oh! As they're going to flip up the Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch again. And then we're going to smack on in for 24. That is going to require a Neg 1 Book of Moon. But does Noodle have a way to protect his position? You'll put down another guy. And then you'll be able to pass there as Melkid is going to be on the approach with 550 life points left, staring down a game shot from this Zabor. You got to keep defending yourself. <laughs> I used to play OG Goats format back in the day, and I keep hearing it's solved. But every time I tune in, people are playing these unspeakable piles. Gotta say, I'm not convinced. Uh, it's that's I think that's that's a that's a convert that's a very nuanced conversation. Kseda, Kseda, Keda. Welcome to Go World, Keda. That's a very nuanced conversation because it depends on a couple things. Like what when you say saw as Mister Big Noodle is going to get the dub there playing one of the coolest decks I've seen in a long time. Just a lot of I just like random stuff. I like people having their having um. So, so what we were talking about earlier, 
when you say solved, you have to be very specific on what you mean by solved. And what do you think when you, when you say solved, like, do you think chess is solved? I would say no. And most people would say no, but some people would say yes, because they feel that if you are a computer or a super, super brain, or if you have the most knowledge, then you're going to win every time, I guess. But that's, I don't, I don't think that, that I don't, I personally believe that, that it's not, I don't think chess is a soft game. Tic-tac-toe is a soft game. Connect four is a soft game because the outcome is always going to be based on what is happening. You know, it's, it's going to be based on what took place. So I would, um, so to say go format is solved in my heart. I don't think it is. But from a but if I'm a competitor and I only play this game highly competitively and that's the only way that I play and I only play in tournaments and I only play like certain certain type of ways, then then maybe you can you can make an argument like, oh, I it's only going to be turbo at the top. It's only going to be this. If you play turbo this many times, you should win this many percentages of the time. Uh, variance is going to still be variance, but this deck is the best deck. So since that deck is the best deck, it's the only deck you should play. Format's broken. Never play it. I don't think that is true for a GOAT format. Maybe for uh, a, a more solved format or solved. I keep uh, solved, okay? Like say you take like Teledad format. Whereas if that deck is so, 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 so much better than the other decks that there's no reason to play the other decks, then maybe I get what people are saying there. But in Go format, I, I think Turbo is a good deck and it probably is the, be the best deck in the format, but I don't think it's so, 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 so much better than the other decks that you just can't play anything. And I also feel right, wrong, or indifferent. These are my opinions. You don't have to share them. But I also feel that if you have the skills necessary to identify the problems that are in this format and you have the time and grind associated with that, you can still create strategies and ideas that you want or rehash old strategies and ideas that were popular long ago, bring those things to the forefront now, retool them a little bit and still have success with rogue strategies or lesser player strategies right now. I truly feel that the reason it's not happening is that players aren't doing that. If you take the top 20 players of goat format right now, and you said you can't play turbo, you got to play any other deck, not turbo. Guess who'd still win the same people. You want to know how I know this because it has happened already. Don't copy. He doesn't play turbo. He'll, he can still win without it. Alvarado, if he doesn't play turbo, he'll, he'll still he'll still win without it. Ivan, he'll still win without it. That's how I know, because it has happened. The reason why it doesn't happen is because there is no incentive. There's no motivation. There is no... People aren't like me. Everyone doesn't have to think the same. Everyone's not like me. Everyone has different things that they want from their time spent playing a format. For me... If I had to sit down and play Chaos Turbo Mirrors 80 times a week, all day, every day, I would quit because I can't. That's not how I like to play the game. I like to cook. I like to make my own things. I like to try different stuff. Even if it doesn't win, I'm still having a good time. If I can summon Gate Guardian on someone one time out of 50, it was a good day. If I can man throw throw someone one time out of 50, it was a good day. A lot of people don't feel that way. So, and I, and I understand that. So, um, so that's kind of, that's kind of where it's at. So I, I would not say it's solved. It's just the best players want to play the best decks. And it just seems like, um, what would need to happen is that the duelists need to get back to the idea of your pride, your ego, your identity. Like when you look at all these carbon copy, like turbo decks that are topping and you just say like, whose deck is this? whose deck is this? It's like every, everyone's playing the same thing. Everyone's playing the, the same stuff, man. So it's like, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, JDZ, if you get enough staff and support, would you ever play in a PW2? Of course. Yeah, I, I used to play all the time. I used to play all the time. I used to play all the time. Well, not all the time. I used to play enough. Um, it's, 
I, I, I will. I will. But I enjoy. I do enjoy. Uh, I, I do enjoy the, the broadcasting piece of it. I do enjoy the streaming. I do enjoy hanging out and talking crap. And I do enjoy playing as well. So, of course, yeah, I would. I used to play Academy a lot. It's huge Mirror Force. Another one. Not as big as the other one, but this one's pretty, pretty bulky. I do enjoy. Um, I used to play Academy a lot. I'll play in. Uh, Sometimes I play in the War League. I'm going to play in the uh, Formulas War League they're doing. I'm going to be on. I'm going to play with the, the Spitfire. I'm going to play with the Spitfire team. Oh, Bluetooth asked me to join the Spitfires, man. We're going to come out there and do 900s on everybody. So I'll play. I'll play. I'll play. But again, I'm not, I'm not like, I enjoy the game, but I'm not, um, I'm not the most competitive person. I try not to be anyway, because in my life, in my actual waking life and you know, the real, in my, in my actual world, I'm a very competitive person, very competitive. Like I gotta be this, I gotta have this. And I'm trying to get out of that mindset because when I'm like that and I'm on the grind, it sucks the fun out immediately. The fun is gone. When I'm in my competitive bag and I got a win bag and I need to take it back and I need to have it back, which how I am in life already, it becomes an addiction, an addiction. It becomes an obsession and it becomes not fun. So I want to make sure that my hobbies remain fun, something that I enjoy doing or I will not be able to uh, not be able to do it. JDZ won the prestigious UI internal. Oh, you guys gave that to me, man. You guys gave that to me. Y'all let me have that. Y'all let y'all let me have y'all let me have UI open one, dude. Y'all let me y'all let me have it. <laughs> Michael Luck says I used to be in my competitive bag for Yugi. Now I'm just here to have fun. That's what you got to do. And you you're still on the top. You're a Shonen Jump champion. You've been on the grind. You've been to tournaments. You've been on the circuit. You know what I'm talking about, man. And it just all the time, commitment, dedication that goes into it. And shout out to all those players that do that, man. Shout out to everyone who's who's willing to do that. But I'm I'm just in it to to kick it, man, and to to play and have a good time. I love going to GGPs, not even for the tournaments, just to meet up with the community and hang out with the people, have a good time, play some cards, and vibrate. Uh, you'll you'll you know sometimes you get upset over a loss, but I'm not trying to fight nobody or be upset or call somebody bad or make someone feel bad about playing this game. Cause that's not, that's not the energy that I'm putting behind it as MST is going to hit the smashing ground as Cyberstein is going to just stare down your whole guy, huh? Just a Cyberstein on the approach tribute for Zaborg is maximum energy as we're going to blast a magical merchant premature burial. And we're out of here. Don't have it as 24 is stroking down clean, getting in there clean as uh <laughs> Yeah, Mike, I agree. I I agree. I've, you see, you've seen it all. You've seen us BLS off the top. Look at this, dude. Look at this, bro. Get his ass out of here, dude. BLS gotta go. BLS has gotta go, dude. Gotta go. He's gotta go, dude. Uh, Randall says, JDZ, do you live in Washington or BC? I live in Washington. I live in the state of Washington in the Tacoma area. If you are in Washington and Tacoma, you want to kick it and get on some goats, man. Let me know. We can set something up. Uh, there's going to be GGP Seattle, Seattle, Seattle. I'll be there. I'll be there. You're in Seattle, right on, man. Come on, come on out to GGP Seattle. And if you um next weekend, or excuse me, not next weekend, May the fifth, May the fifth, May the fifth. There's going to be. It's a Sunday. May the fifth is actually going to be a Sunday. And there's going to be a uh, regional tournament in Seattle. Okay. And they have side events. They play goat. They play Edison. They played Tengu last time. Um, come on out. I'm going to be there. If you want to hang out and meet and play, I'm more than willing to do that. Come on down, play some, uh, play some retro, man. Win some mats and kick it. It's going to be sick, man. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. Yo, as Kevin comes in and says, JDZ, let's add some variety. My favorite format is 2003 Worlds. Considering making a post under Go Discord, if enough people would play such a tourney on DB, I'll provide a 250, 50, 50 dollar cash prize. Let's go. Yeah, we can do that. I'm down. Which one is that? 2003 Worlds. 
I'm sure. I'm sure that we can set that up. I'm sure we can. I'm sure we. I'm sure we can set that up and get out there and play some two. Cause they just. They literally just did a Yada tournament yesterday. I watched that. Shout out to uh, B Socks over there at Yu-Gi-Oh from Zero. He was streaming that thing, going crazy coast to coast um, on the Yada tournament yesterday. 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 And it was going crazy. It was going nuts, dude. It was sick. I like Yada a lot. I've been looking at that format a little bit. I was looking at that format a little bit. And that it, it looks it looks kind of fun. It looks kind of fun. 2003 Worlds is somewhere on Format Library, I'm sure. So, Kev, if you want to put, if you want to put literal some support behind that, if you want to put a cash prize behind that, I'm certain we could find the players to come out there and play, uh, and play that format. All those DM error formats, man, very underrated, very under the radar, very slept on, man. It's always a lot of fun, and um, we can, we can do that. We can for sure do that. Dang. Bring Yada into goats, please. I think I think Yada will be fine. I think Yada will be fine. And uh, we're we're talking about that earlier, uh, Michael. If you weren't here, we're actually in the active process. Myself, Pui, a few other uh, staff members, we're t actively testing the concept. Excuse me, testing testing the concept right now. As we're going to go ahead and set the board, go for a dark balti right here, dude. Strong play. Coming in from Melkit, as Dark Ball to the Terrible is going to be able to sing this saying in, finessing both of those effects, and negating all spells. If you um, if because we, we were we were literally talking about that just a few moments ago, and um, we're actually going through the card pools right now, talking about uh, ways to make an like a like a side format for goats, a new updated ban list for modified goat circuit, and the first. Test or experiments, that's gonna be next weekend. So hit up Pui. We're gonna make announcements about it. Hit up um we'll hit up Pui and she's gonna host the first tournament next week as a as a feeler. We're gonna test it out, see if it's ass. If it's ass, if it's completely ass, then we're just gonna make some changes and come back at it again. But if it could be, I, I fully expect that it's going to be awesome. And we're trying to make this thing as balanced as possible, as fair as possible, but still maintain the identity of GOAT format Yu-Gi-Oh! And it's gonna be really cool. And eventually, as we have set rotations, we're going to be able to bring in old cards that were banned or maybe even add OCG cards to the card pool just to change it up a little bit and see how it goes. So I think that'd be dope. What is your favorite DM format? I like Warrior. Besides, uh, Go Ghost is not DM. Ghost is GX, I believe, right? Help me out if I'm wrong. It would, if, it, if, if you count Ghost as DM, I'm for sure going to say Goats. But if it's not, I'm going to say uh, I, like, I like Warrior. And I like trad, big trad supporter, dude. Just straight up degenerate trad format, dude. Regular, um, um, regular. What is it with the one with Chaos Number Dragon, Demok at one, Painful, Mirage Nightmare, MST at three, Imperial Order, straight trad, dude. Goats has the Lost Millennium, so it's technically GX. Okay, 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 okay. War, your warrior warrior format is actually quite good. Warrior format is good. And Balter getting snatched stolen as he always does. Look at this idiot, dude. Working for the enemy as he often does. And now Mr. Big Noodle has a chance to make a strong play. Critter is good. Yugi Kaiba, Yugi Kaiba, that takes a special, that takes a special duelist to really rock with Yugi Kaiba. As you're going to be forced to bottomless trap hole, the fear from the dark. Just keep that pressure down a little bit. Yugi Kaiba is good. But it's not, I think that one's not for me. Critter is about as far back as I can go. Critter is about as far back as I can do. Is Teledad 5Ds? I believe so. I believe so. Or maybe, what's the next one? What's the next one after 5? Yeah, yeah, Teledad's 5Ds. I don't know what the Tele me, the Tele me, I think it means, um, there's a there's a quick play spell card that's called fucking what is it called? Uh now you got me on the now you got me on the damn. <laughs> now, you got, now you got me on the spot. It's called instant transport. No, telecommunic emergency teleport. Emergency teleport. Emergency teleport, which allows you I sound like a freaking moron, dude. I'm not a I'm not I'm not that guy. I'm not the history guy. Okay, I'm a goat guy. Emergency teleport, which allows you to get the 
tuner monster from your deck, okay? Tela, Emergency Teleport, boom. And then you got the Dark Arm stuff. And you out of there. Crebons. Yeah, you're cooking. I, I like watching that format. I've never played it personally, but I, I that's one of my favorite formats to watch as Breaker is going to take back control of the Dark Ball to the Terrible. That's one of my favorite formats to watch. Because people just come out there and just literally just dunk on each other. Games are over in like four minutes. It's so good. It's so good to watch. I couldn't play it because I don't know how to play it. But it takes a lot of skill to play that format from what I hear. And dudes just come out and dudes just come out and just dunk on each other. Worlds 2003. Let me look up the ban list for that real quick. Because I think that might be the one that I'm thinking about too. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Worlds. 2003 format. Let's see what we got cooking here. I'm looking at some deck lists right now. Oh, this is cooking. This looks fun. This looks fun. This looks fun. You got Yada. You got tomatoes. This kind of looks like uh, this kind of looks like Yada format or Warrior format. This looks. This looks. Um. This looks like Yada format or, or warrior format or yeah, this looks good. This looks good. This looks fun. This looks like a fun, this format looks awesome. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with this format. It looks great. It looks awesome. <laughs> Paul Bauer comes in and says reinforces of the army, always grabbing some Dio Preso Lee bear soldiers. Dude, what do you know about that? Who told you about that? You keep that to yourself, Paul. You keep that to your damn self, dude. Nobody told you about that. No, <laughs> people don't know, dude. People don't know. But some know. If you know, you better ask somebody. As we got Book of Life is going to go ahead and remove. You got your choice of light and or dark monster. And you're going to call it a squanch. You're bringing it back. So you're going to remove that choice as you're going to bring back the Zaborg, the Thunder Monarch. And do you still get to pick one? I think you still, let's see, target one zombie monster on your graveyard and one monster in your opponent's graveyard. I think if you target... I don't think that. I think it fizz. I think it fizzes out right there, because the target is now gone. Yeah, I think it, I think you lose it. Oh yeah, he did shark. That's a shark. That's a shark opportunity. You do get a target first. You do get a target. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shark. That's a shark. It's Sharknado right there. So he still technically didn't. He's. I don't know. He. That's. that's I'm. I'm calling shenanigans too. Hell, I'm calling shenanigans. Uh, Rui, Rui Rusinde says, hello, JDZ. Could you please show the big delinquent duo you got right behind you? Of course. Of course. It's not, it's not a real giant card. It's not a, it's not a, uh, it's not a real giant card. It's a gift that I got from, actually, I got this from OG Betchy. Hold on, give me a sec. This is a this is I, I I use this as a uh, as a constant reminder. I keep this behind me as a constant reminder of how much I hate this card. Okay, right here. This is what it's all about. This is what it's all about. But yeah, this this is this is this is what it's all about. No, but I got, I got that from uh, I actually got that from OG Betchy. When we met in Austin, he brought that up from Texas. <laughs> it's it's not it's not the real one. It's not it's not the it's not the real the real one. But uh, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. So wait, hold up, wait a minute. Oh, he chained MST. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Okay, cool, cool, cool. But thank, hey Paul, thank you so much for the for the donation, man. I, I like the I like I like I like you know that people that people kind of know. If you know, you know. If you know, you know. But thank you for that, and that will be uh, transported into the goat world in some form or another. Maybe we got prizings that I can do for the um, for the modified goat format circuit because the dream the the dream would be that there would be the main circuit, which is just traditional standard goat format Yu Gi Oh. And then there's a side circuit that is modified goats. And we have like tournaments for it, have their own prizes for it, and have like a maybe a culmination tournament at the end and just kind of keep track of that as well. I think that could be cool. Like a like a and then with a set rotation thing, 
but also the main format as well. At least is my is my uh, want because I do love go format Yu-Gi-Oh! And sometimes uh, in the discords, especially because I spent a ton, a ton of time in, in discords, which I, again, should should not be doing so much. Um, and it's always like doom and gloom. It's always like, oh, Ghost is dead and Ghost is trash and Ghost is ass. I'm out of here. I'm quitting. And it kind of w- takes a toll after a certain point, you know, because I'm like, dude, I'm out here giving everything I can to this format, everything I want, everything I, everything I could possibly do to ensure that this thing sticks around. And if everyone's like, well, not everyone, just some people are like miserable and they're having a bad time with it. It makes me feel bad. And I'm like, damn dude. So I I think this could be another, another way to like keep people playing it and trying to, trying to do uh, certain things. Ban brick luster soldier, add Gemini imp dude. Which one is Gemini imp? What is Gemini imp? Let me see that. Let me see if we can add Gemini imp. But yeah, any in any ban list that I do, any ban list that I that I have, G- BLS is gone, dude. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We can bring them back maybe later or something. We could try. I I, I gotta I gotta try some time without him around. As we're gonna go ahead and hit a tremendous heavy storm there, and that's gonna be a GG's as Mr. Big Noodle, armed with that huge Zing Zin Who is gonna be able to go on playing the coolest zombie deck I've seen in a while. Okay, this is that's a full on big noodle approach, dude. Mr. Big Noodle is cooking with gasoline over there. As we have Alvarado and Ghost Rider are playing, that should be a nice in a nice goat format duel. As Ivan Rosito and Farmer Rage are playing as well, that should be another great duel. Checking out the the downtown bracket over here, we have Nate Dog over there kicking it. Bobby and Fresh are playing. It's some great matches still happening. A lot of tournament is left. Um, so I'm going to hop on in. I'm going to see what Alvarado and Ghost are cooking real quick. See how they're how they're, how they're they're teeing off on each other. Hey, yo. No pause. Alvarado, again, mega, mega congratulations to him and his entire dueling organization. Because they have just secured back-to-back GOAT Format War League championships. Which a lot of people thought maybe might not be possible. Maybe I thought it was I thought it was not be possible just because people just are getting so much better at the game and trying to win that long and keeping the team together and keeping everybody happy and keeping everybody playing. It's hard to do, man. People get burned out. But to come back and go back to back, go format win. I can't find the game. Look, that game might be over actually. So I'm actually gonna go to dueling high and Vita 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 Cano in user over here. Dueling high is up a billion cards. In user is just trying to hold on to their brain bucket right now as you're getting blasted by a lot of go format dueling trinity those are some great cards okay those are some those are some of the best cards right here that's a good graveyard you got there jojo making says y'all got 40 plus people paying playing a paid subscription based tourney and 10 out of 10 streams for it plus all the ggp this thing is thriving block the haters homie you guys are doing great i know man i know and i i tell myself that every day jojo making because i remember how it how it was i remember how it was man i remember how it used to be and we'd come in here and we have these streams and i'm not i'm not talking ill about it I'm not saying anything bad about it because that's just what we would have these streams and there'll be 10 of us in here getting it in coast to coast locked in 10 people, 10 people. We'd be out here going, rocking it. Now, we, now we've come up, man. The tournaments are getting larger. We're growing the YouTube almost at 10,000. Make sure you guys are subscribed to this channel as well. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. The discord is, is growing. The tournaments are getting more consistent. You know, people are playing. People are having a good time with it, man. But I just know, I just feel, I just feel like, especially in some, as some portions of the community, which I have to, I li- as a leader, I have to listen to everyone and I have to hear their complaints and I have to hear their, their gripes their, and what, what they're upset about and what makes them happy and what they want and try to fulfill some of that stuff to make the game continue to get better. And they do have legitimate complaints as Thunder Dragon is going to be on the approach. And it looks like we have uh, another chaos as well. This thing looks like it's absolutely cooked. So yeah, we're, we're done here. We're done here. We're going to game two. And 
you know, game one is going to be tough. This Chaos Turbo, it's like we got Chaos Turbo versus Go Control or Chaos Control, perhaps. It's never going to be easy. That's a hard match to play. As Click Clack Kitty Cat says, shout out to GGP Atlanta champion, Dueling High. That's right. You got to say the whole thing. Dueling High gets the dub in Atlanta, goes up there, wins that beautiful, beautiful PS5. Just in time for Grand Theft Auto number six to come out. You got you a nice PS5 waiting on you. I think that's pretty dope. I think that's pretty cool. Huge shout out to huge shout out to them. What a cool event. That's that whole thing was streamed. So if you guys want to check that out, it's up here on the channel as well. And also go check out uh Goat. Go check out uh G- what, 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 who's whose YouTube page was that again? I can't remember off the top of my head. But they got some some other content up there about the deck profiles and things like that. You get to see the players. I like I like seeing the IRL deck profiles because I like to put I like to see people's that's gonna sound sus. I, I I'm gonna so I'm gonna AO myself before I even say it. I'm going to AO myself before I even say it, dude. I caught, I just caught myself in 4K before I even let it rip, dude. But I just like to see people, and I like to see them with their cards and their play mat, and I like to see them, you know, hear them talk about it. IRL. You know, that's something about it. I like hands. <laughs> and I was about to say I like their bodies. I like to see people's bodies. <laughs> I like to see people's bodies, dude. No, hey, yo. Hey, yo. No, I was going to. <laughs> I like to see people's bods, dude. What they're what they're working with, dude. How they're looking, but, but not, not like body, like how they how they. <laughs> no, Nate. I mean, like I don't, that's why I had to pause it before I even said it, Nate. I was like, I like to see, like you know, their their mannerism, like oh, how they how they handle the cars, you know, how they how they're moving around, you know, what they got going on, like their their ticks and their mats and stuff. People have ticks and people have ticks and like how they they're, they're, they're Hey, okay, we're pausing. Okay, I'm done. Oh, I can't save it. That's why I didn't even say it. That's why I didn't. I, that's why I didn't even say it. I, 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 I ate that. As dueling high is going to be on the play. Four in hand, one set spell trap. We have in user Vita Colonia has cashed in the Thunder Dragons early. So this is CC Breaker's on the field. Breaker is looking to get a plus. Breaker will succeed. Technically, no, you won't. We're just gonna go sinister serpente one for one. Pop the breaker, send him to the graveyard. You got two lights, two got darks and lights set up as you set one spell trap onto the field. And we're gonna think here and stand by phase long and hard before getting that sinister serpent. See if we got any trap dustage is going down. J to Z wants belly picks. I'll provide. I'll I'll check it. I'll check it out. I mean, I'll look at it. I mean, if you're sending them. <laughs> Of course, of course, I look at it. I mean, what, what am I? I'm a human being, crying out loud. I see grumps. I see a little navel in there. Hey, yo, come on. Okay, that's too far. That's too far. Don't send your belly pics to JDZ. I don't want them. I do not want them. Okay. I do want to see, and I, I, I said that too. It was kind of sus. Like people, people like, oh, I'm going out to uh, play in locals. I say this all the time. Oh, I'm going to play in locals. I'm going to play in this tournament. Goes, oh, hey, man, send some pics. I say that. I gotta stop because people are like, oh yeah, I'm not doing that. Hey yo, <laughs> why, 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 is this, why is this why is this old dude asking me for picks, dude? Get out of here! I just want to see people playing, and I can share them with the people and like put them in announcement. Like, oh look at these duels out there. Put on the website or something. We out here still playing goats. Look at the picks. It exists. Whatever, man. I don't know. I'm old school, man. I'm old school. I'm old school. All right. I'm old school. Dawson, man, Freddie asked JDZ, do you have cats or dogs? I don't have either. I don't have either. I have no pets. I want to get a dog. I want to get a dog, but I also really enjoy my freedom. And I really, as I have all these damn kids, crazy world, right? <laughs> crazy world. I have all these kids, but I really enjoy, <laughs> but I really enjoy like being able to say, okay, boom, we're going to travel. I'm hitting the woods. I'm going outside. I'm going to Florida, you know, I, but you can take the kids, which is so funny to me. Like I put so much thought into having a pet or having cats and dogs and stuff like that. Very little thought into the kids, dude. Very little thought into the children, actual, actual human beings. It's like, Oh, kids, whatever. Psh, easy. Give them some food, <laughs> give them some food, put on, you know, give them a little, little snack. They're fine dogs i'm just like i don't know if we're ready i don't know if we i don't know if we're, i don't know if i if my job's good enough will i be a good dog mom 
We'll have a good dog. Ah, that's so many dogs out there. I gotta go to the park. He's gonna fit in with the other dogs. What's he gonna live? Is he gonna get into a good dog school? Freaking out about the dogs. Kids are just like, ah, oh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, just go to the pound and grab a kid out of there and put him, throw him a blanket. He'll be all right. Give him a, give him a, they like nuggets. Kids still like nuggets. Give him some nuggets. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> give him, a, give him some nuggets. You know, the kids, kids still like candy. You like candy, kid? Here, take, take this candy. Eat that. Get out of my damn face. You know, jump off. <laughs> Dogs are like, oh, I saw the most beautiful dog, Pekingese. It's a Labradoodle. Oh, no, my dog's sick. I don't know, I don't know. But yeah, I, I, <laughs> I, uh, I don't, I, I, I don't have any pets. I want to get one though. I'll probably end up getting when I get a little bit older. My kids get a little bit older because we tried the experimental thing. We came out with the guinea pigs. Did that? Those guinea pigs lived the most tortured existence any organism should ever have to endure in life or death. Okay. Those things suffered their entire lives and then ultimately died painful deaths. So I don't want to, I don't want to have that energy. Wait, hold up. We're in main one. What are we talking about here? Okay. As we're going to go ahead and hit the regeki break and we're going to go ahead and pop Pop the magician of Faye. Dogs should be big and should live outside. Ah oh, man, I'm a, I'm gonna give you a gunshot on there. I'm gonna give you a gunshot. That's a pretty, that's a pretty strong take. But if I'm gonna have a dog, that bad boy is not gonna be living outside, dude. Can't do it, dude. Dogs gotta live inside. Gotta be in my house, no matter the size. If it's a big dog, you're big inside. If you're, you can go outside. But you can't live outside. I gotta have the dog. Maybe because I grew up in the south, and like in in the country and stuff like that. Sometimes you see people with those big ass outside dogs, just with a huge chain around their neck, and they just got like a big ass rubber tire, and they just live in a thing. You throw like some meat out there, and they just outside with it all the time, and it comes around. It's just barking, and if it gets loose, it's gonna bite the shit out of somebody. Kind of kind of thing. You know what I'm talking about? You know those dogs? Yeah, I don't want a dog like that. I I want I want the dog to be like a like an in and out kind of thing. Be clean. Go to the park and let's let's play. Let's throw some frisbee. And let's come back in. You can go outside and come back kind of thing. Kind of like that. Like it's my mom's Bahamian, and they're they all keep dogs outside. But oh, they all keep though. You're, that's it's. I mean, it's a cultural thing too. It's a cultural thing. Some people don't even like have. Like some cult in some cultures, like having animals at all, like in your house, period, is just a huge no go. Like, what are we doing? So that's a, it's a cultural thing too. So I'm not trying to make light of anyone's culture, but if I if I were to have a dog, I would love to have it be uh, be inside and not not outside. It's dueling high is down pretty bad. You got that chaos sorcerer up and active in defense position there. Maybe got knock here, and I'll kind of get you out of it. As you're going to go ahead and set one, pass back on over to uh, Vida Canoli. Vida Canoli. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Sorry about that. I'm so sorry. The dog goes on the veranda and no further gunshots for the dogs, dude. But I mean, at that point, I mean, because I, I know, and I also know, I also know that certain dogs can also provide extra utility in terms of like security or in terms of just being a, being a threat, like being something that is in your house, <laughs> being in your house, being in your house as V as Vida Conley, Vida Conley. Okay. 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 My bad. My bad. Vida Conley is listening to the stream and has corrected me on the correct pronunciation of their goat format dueling handle. It's Vida Conley. It does say that, huh? I'm over there, Vita Cannoli, dude. What am I saying that? Where is, why is that coming from? Why why am I Vita Cannoli, dude? Vita Conley. I like it. I like it. What does that mean? Google it real quick. Please don't jam up my computer. Vita Conley. What does that mean, dude? Let's see. One more time. V 
video only. It means nothing. Okay. Right on. <laughs> right on. Right on. Right on. It's just a it's just a it's just a your own thing. As Chaos Sorcerer is going to be summoned and then be able to attack into Chaos Sorcerer. And now Dueling High seems to be able to get back into a commanding position. Maybe you got snatched deal. Maybe you have another answer to get through this Chaos Sorcerer. It's just going to be forced to set one and pass. Set one and pass. Alessandro Casolino says, My sausage as a dog couldn't care less of robbers. Most probably, he would just walk up to him and lick him to death. Dude. I mean, that's not his function, though. Every dog can't be treated. You can't You can't hold all dogs to the same standard. You can't hold them all to the same standard. If you got a dog that's just a buddy, it's just a homie, and he agreed to be the homie and just come out and kick it, you can't expect him to come in and defend the house, dude. That's not what you pay him for. That's not what he's there for. He's there to kick it. You can't change the rules up either. But like, all right, you're going to be here to kick it, but if a robber comes in, I need you to defend the base. Bark or some shit. Don't just stand there. At least, at least, at least give me some barks. Can he bark? Alessandro, can he bark? If he can bark, then he's good. If somebody walks in and that mug better like chirp or do something. Do something. As we got delinquent duo is coming out too. So thinking about it, as it's going to be a heavy storm and Sukiyomi are all going to be taken. A lot of cars on the field too. If your dog barks, that's not a dog. That's a tree. Come on, man. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. As we got a thousand eyes back on the field, and he's going to be able to take over the chaos sorcerer. But now you have these threatening sets onto the field. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? What do you do when you guzzle down sweets? Staring down sets. Can't be faith. It's San gone. And Tsukiyomi is an easy out to this position. And it looks pretty, it looks pretty screwed here. It looks pretty chalk. This is sad, sad news coming in for Vida. V Vi Vida, Vida Conley, Vida Conley. Trap does shoot is a great trap does shoot. That's a good looking trap does shoot. Got to check the hand. Maybe you... If you got Chaos and Suk in there, it's pretty much closed caskets. As we're typing it up, uh, we're checking it out. Got one set Mon onto the field. Damn. Damn. He can. He, hold, on, hold on. It looks, hold on. If he looks at this stream, he will be cheating as he can see his opponent's board. Dude, you're a mega brain, dude. That's, that's, that's some... I never, I never even thought of that. I never even considered that. He looks at the stream and he can see his opponent's board, dude. That's crazy. I never considered that. That's wild. I, didn't, I never considered it, man. You might be onto something. As we got Sork is going to have to get sent back. Yeah, he had too, he had too many answers to your situation. He actually sees it. He actually sees it twice. He can see himself from a different angle. Like it's almost like you're playing against your own self. That'd be weird. I honestly don't understand how people can like listen to this stream, especially this stream. Maybe other streams where people are much more um, giving like more feedback and more information. Maybe you can listen to those. But how could you listen to this stream and be like, "All right, I'm a, I'm a tune in. I'm a listen." That's crazy. I couldn't, cause I'll be, I'll be so distracted. We were talking about being sus. We got Michael Jackson in there at one point. We got like all kinds of stuff is happening in the street, in the booth. As Chaos Source is gonna come on down, banish the thousand eyes restrict. So now you have a a ton of live draws that you can get off the top of this deck to kind of crawl back in. As Sinister Serpente is going to well into the token. Now you got Serpent in attack position. You got Chaos Sorcerer in defense position. <laughs> oh, gravity, gravity says true that. 
you're really nerfing me, making me laugh my ass off when I'm trying to play. I'm sorry, you got to turn it off. Just turn it off. Just turn it off. And then once, you, <laughs> once you're done, come back or listen back to it later. Don't, don't, don't try it. As we got a serpent on the approach and then Sork is going to get in for 23. More scapegoats come to the field. So now your creature swap is looking horrible. Snatch Steel is looking quite good. BLS is looking ferocious. And let's see what you got here as Vita coming off the top of the deck, trying to make it happen. Started strong, dual and high, finished strong, got to some good units, and now here you are, poised, waiting for execution. As you'll set one card, pass it on over, dual and high coming off the top of the deck. Now we're in the first main phase. We got two of these goats. We got one set Mon with two other sets, two threatening sets. It's going to be Flip, GK, Spy, Delayed TT. You don't even have it. TT is out of the equation. Mirror Force out of the equation. No one to cross out in the equation. A lot of damage is coming forth as we're going to lose GK Spy. Flip Night Ass. And this duel could be coming to an immediate and screeching halt right here, right now. As we're going to go into battle phase, Mirror Force number two goes crazy. One, two. Third goat, perhaps, can get you out of this. And that is going to be a GG as Dueling High gets the dub and is able to move on. Well played by Vita as we're trying to keep Chaos Control alive. Trying to trying to keep playing it. Still a good deck. It's still a good deck, but you just need so much to go right these days as, uh, as that just did not happen for you this time. Okay, okay, okay. So that will conclude round number three, it looks like. As actually, we still have Ivan playing. Let's, see, let's go take a little sneak peek and see what Ivan's doing in round number three. It looks like Ivan is playing against B Stacks. So Ivan's out here, probably playing Chaos Turbo. B Stacks playing Chaos Turbo. We got some spies. We're locked up. <laughs> We are locked up, locked in, and engaged in this Chaos Turbo situation. <laughs> I like how you say Vita in capital. It's not Vita. Ivan is on CC. No way. No chance. No chance. This looks very turbo right here. Maybe cited out the CC part. Is that is that the is that the tech? Play CC and then bring in side into turbo. That could be that could be a that could be a way to go. That could be a way to go. Um, <clears throat> what's, I don't think he gets priority because it has to have the counter on it. What are we talking about? What is the situation? Ivan, what I, Ivan knows these rules. Let me get him. Let me get here. Let me get in here. And explain if they could just explain the situation. Um, so we can understand what's going on and we can keep this thing absolutely moving. But if the question is, I don't think he gets priority because it has to have the counter. So he's, he's popping the breaker. What's going on here? What's happening? He summoned breaker and I want to ring it at 1900. That is impossible to do. Unfortunately, B stack. I'm going to text B stacks. I'm like, you, he, you cannot, you can I should just troll. I'm like, yeah, for sure, man. You sure you sure you for sure can do that. There's no, there's no, there's no way to do that. No, you can't. And I'll explain that to you, to you guys. And it comes, this, this is a question that comes up quite often. So I'll try to explain that to the best of my go from at dueling ability. But the reason why you can never ring breaker at 19, unless you go for an attack. If you go for an attack, you can hit him for the 19 on the ring because when they come in, breaker does have priority to attempt to gain that counter. It's really not even priority. It's just him gaining the counter with his effect. Okay, but that is an effect that you can chain to. So he'll still be attempting to gain that counter. He'll be at 1600. You play ring, you lose it. Boom. Easy day, easy done. Or what can happen is he gains the counter. He gains the counter. He's now at 19. Now, as the turn player, you have priority to remove that counter. You have a priority to remove that counter. So the counter is now off and he's targeting ring with his ability. You're chaining ring. He's at 16. So either way, so either way, you're only getting them at 16 unless they say, you know what? I'm bypassing fear and panic and I'm going to launch an attack with my full 1900 value at which time you can play ring. 
boom, pop the breaker, and you're out of there. So that's how it is. It's very dumb. And this is another reason why these retro communities aren't don't take off as much because some of the stupid ass ruling and priority and all this, who cares, dude? But that's that's why, and that's what that's why I go. It, it catches a lot of people. And that would be really neat if you could get him at 19, especially in that situation, because you just literally win. And now you still have to play here at 4,000. As we're going to go ahead and rip my control, we're taking over that middle. It's taking over that middle. 131 watching, and si we only got 16 likes? Ain't no, come on, guys. Duelists, friends, kinsmen, countrymen, <laughs> lend me your rears, dude. <laughs> Lend me your rears, dude. Come on, man. 16 likes. Okay, we got more than 16 likes. I think you got to refresh. You got to refresh. It jumped up. It jumped up after after I hit the refresh. So we're feeling good. We're, we're feeling good. We're Because earlier we had three likes. And then 16 likes would only make sense. We're, 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 we're up. We're up. We're in a nice, healthy range. But keep liking it, though. Let's get to 100. <laughs> Let's get to 100. <laughs> Let's get to 100, dude. Let's get to 100. Thanks, thanks Duelist, for, for doing that. Ace Ventura enthusiast. Oh my goodness, dude. There was a time in my life where I liked the Ace Ventura series probably too much. Probably too much. Too much. The first one and the second one. I don't know if there's a third one, but when nature calls, I can't I can't get enough, dude. I can't get enough. I don't know why. Early Jim Carrey. Early, early like 90s, like late 90s, early 2000s Jim Carrey was was everything to me. And I don't know why. I just, I thought it was the funniest person ever. Uh, from a living color days and like dumb and dumber, which I think is, in my opinion, if you have to go top five comedy movies ever, dumb and dumber is my number one. Dumb and dumber is the funniest movie to me. And I, I will die on that. It is the funniest movie ever made to me. I don't know why. I don't, it's so, it's so quotable and it's so stupid. And it actually has a plot, and it's so good. Oh, man. You guys going to Aspen? Those yours? Those your skis? Both of them? Come on, dude. It's so stupid, dude. Both of them? Big gulp, huh? See you later. <laughs> I laugh every time I see that, dude. He's like walking out of the gas station. Big gulp, huh? See you later. And just like this stupid stuff like that. Stupid stuff like that just kills me, man. That movie is so funny, dude. Name a name a funnier movie. Name a funnier movie than Dumb and Dumber. I challenge you. I'm challenging you right now. Funnier movie. <laughs> funnier movie. You can't do it. As Ivan is holding down with these spies, dude. Spies looking great. B stacks just trying to just just trying to slither in there and just just take one. Just trying to slither in there and get the dub. And Ivan is just holding it down. 200 rocking it. Your ring is gone. Your ring is gone, dude. I don't know why, but the funniest scene in Dumb and Dumber was when he throws the salt shaker over his shoulder and laugh. Dude, that is so good, man. That is so good. He just tosses it. Who's the dead man that hit me with the salt shaker? So good, dude. I'm going to watch that movie today. That's Now that one's going to. I'm watching that one. I am watching. I watched Fifth Element the other day. Who's the dead man that hit me with the salt shaker? He just for come over, spits on his burger, dude. Come on, man. Movie's great. Seriously, who? Fun, they don't even really make comedy movies anymore. Maybe it might be. Uh, it might be. It might be too like hard. I don't know to make comedy movies these days. As GK Spy is going to flip, the wall of Spy is built and try. And now your board is locked as well. So this is looking even better for Ivan, but still you got this key code, the ghost destroyer that is up and active, allowing you to not lose to chaos, but you can sit here behind this great wall of spy, no back row indefinitely with this, you know, goat lock position. You still got 15 cars to make something happen. Tribe is looming freaking bombshell, just waiting in the wings to just blow up this whole operation. So I can see, you can kind of see the writing on the wall as B stack is going to have to make something happen here relatively soon. Relatively soon. There needs to be penalties for dipping without reporting losses. Is that happening again? There are, there are, uh, there are some penalties. We're, we're working on that. Did somebody just leave the whole tournament? That one we might have to work on. 
like in tournament, we can do in tournament penalties. But if someone is just literally vanishing from the Discord after they lose, that sucks. And we have to work on that. Yo, Thrust says, how are the games going? I just got out of work. Yo, have, hope you have a good day at work. The game's going great. We are in round number four, which not round number two. We're actually in round number four now. And we have Ivan versus B Stacks. Ivan just holding on position with 200 life points as B Stacks is just trying to figure out a way to push through. You've managed to kind of secure your board. It's kind of locked out as you're going to continue to wail with this Kaiko to Ghost Destroyer. And it will just get into an endless engagement with Sinister Serpent over and over again. <laughs> Grump, Grump Nasty says ceasefire would go hard. Dude, ceasefire is might be underplayed, right? I mean, I play a lot of jank and I play a lot of spice. And every now and then I'll include a, I'll include a ceasefire in my deck. And it, it 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 carries, man. It carries. It goes crazy. And like right now, like you said, it'll be so good. It'd be so nice. I guess Ukazi would also be nice. And sparks. And uh, tremendous fire, I think would also be quite quite good. I think it'd be fine. I think ceasefire will be great for both for both sides. Even if I haven't had a damn ceasefire, if, this, if he sets ceasefire right here, that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, that's forty five hundred. You win. <laughs> you're out of here. Game game's over, and you're you're done. Like, what are we talking about? As we're going to continue with this Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer on the onslaught, he's going to punch in to the set, and it's going to continue to be that Sinister Serpent just getting walled indefinitely so yeah you're not you're in a pretty pretty compromised spot because you can't you can't blow your own board up and now ivan can literally just sit here and collect game if you can't figure out a way to get out of this thing there are some uh there are some game shots that b stacks can also put together as well but it's going to require a little bit of a little bit of good fortune you might be able to like um, MST, you're going to go for the MST, MST target the set is just going to be Jar Greed. So I'm going to take another plus there. Oh, that's a crazy one. Now that's a cool one. And if you go for a card destruction, you probably could have held that a little bit longer there. If you're B stacks, that's a whole ass win condition, but you didn't want to risk it. You didn't want to risk it. And you got rid of some serious nutrients there. Good materials as BLS chaos sorcerer was looming and they were really really strong so now ivan needs to make something happen you don't have the ability to kind of kick it like you thought you did and now b stacks does have that uh i think he has a turn to tribute play still available ivan still has a try play still available so this thing is, is going to come down to the wire actually this thing is going to come down to the wire the scully's lab exodia deck from the channel is a ton of fun as well that deck is very difficult to use though that deck is very, very difficult to use. It's a fun deck, though. Scully's got some... And that's not even it. Like, Scully's got some even cooler decks that he hasn't showcased. He's going to start uh, streaming on Twitch from time to time uh, in the future. But that is... Uh, that is... He's got, he's got some cool stuff out there. He's, he's a very creative duelist, man. You guys are lucky he's not, like, out here. He'd be the Spice. He'd be a Spice General as well. As we're going to flip the Dekoichi, Ivan's still just getting deep, deeper and deeper. Maybe we flip flip for a TT. He didn't play it, so maybe not. Because TT, TT is looming. If Ivan has TT in the deck, it's still a play for both of these duelists to kind of... You've seen it a billion times. You flip your TT, and then you blow up, and then you assault. So that might be the play. As we got to start making something happen as Ivan realizes time is running out. Time is running out as we're going to go ahead and hit Minecon number two. We're taking over another set. Maybe I have some information on what that set could be. Could be a nasty night assailant, which would be quite strong if it is. Which would be, which will be quite, quite strong. <laughs> As you get to a Knight of Salem or something, you really got to worry about what this set card is. And you need to get maximum value out of your tribe infecting virus. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
And now we got something here. Bad misplay. Should have flipped into card D game last turn. Oh, so we got a little, if that's a morphing jar, holy smoke. Oh, it's magician of faith. Yeah. Yeah. That you just win. That's a, yeah, that's, yeah. You literally just win the game. That is, uh, that is, that's terrible, man. As I feel, that feels bad. That feels bad. That feels bad for, for B stacks there. Cause you could have flipped the faith, got card D and rammed card D again and just literally won the game right there. And he goes graceful, so you know it's going to be tribe. Yep. So that should potentially, unless that set is something real right there. I think Ivan might have some information on what that set is. Because you're going to lose Faith. You're going to lose the Spies. And then you're going to bring out Final Sork. If this is like Spear Reaper, never mind. No one cross out is going to be a GG. Yeah, so GG's from Ivan. Well played. B stacks. Just, I mean, sometimes it happens. You miss, you miss stuff. It's tough. Tournaments are hard. It happens. It happens, it happens, but getting into a board, a board lock state like that, and then missing that, that, uh, that play, that lethal play, you gotta, you gotta grip it. Even if it's just to get card D again, to go for some more trend or to go for a torrential tribute or something like that. I think it's still value there. All right. So cool. Well played by Ivan. Um, and thank you for playing B stacks and hopefully you keep rocking it in Dogtown, and it's not over, but we are at the winners semifinals. And what do you know? Alvarado and dueling high are back at it again in another, maybe, maybe dueling high can take down Alvarado as dueling high has already won this tournament. Alvarado's already won this tournament multiple times. And we're going to see what it's going to be as dueling high versus Alvarado are going to be in the winners semifinals as Alvarado is playing. Uh, looks like, I don't know. It looks like you were got, Hmm. Can't really tell. Can't really tell as dueling high. We saw play earlier playing the chaos turbo strategy as, uh, Alvarado is up a game right now in game number two as DD warrior lady is going to reach on in for 15 and it connects clean, <laughs> connects clean. Have you seen Emez the infernity, not the best buy. Not the best, but maybe RGT Spice. That card is cool. I like that card. I like Emez. I like the artwork. The card's bad, but the artwork is clean. Have you seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit? That movie's good. It's a goaded. That is a classic movie. And I love the practical applications in that movie. Because if you watch that movie again, and I watched a whole documentary on that movie. Because I'm, I'm a big fan of how that movie was created. And they had, like, legit practical effects going on like things were like when the when the damn when the when the when the cartoons interact with the um with the people in the of the when the cards when the when the cards when the cartoons interact with the world around it they had to make practical effects to interact with the cartoons so it took a lot of creativity to make that thing go off and it's really really cool how it ended up turning out so i love that movie i think it's a really good movie as we're going to thunder up, Chaos Sorcerer is out on the field in attack position. And we have one set monster in defense position. We're tributing up, and it looks like we're pushing some damage. Or at least going to going for it. Or maybe trying to get in with some Thunder Dragon activity and potentially banish. And we will go in. Dekoichi gets a draw. So Dueling High does not have any chaos live. No Thunder Dragons in rotation. No spells. Or you got some spells. Maybe you can get to a Snatch Steel, maybe, and kind of restabilize. Potentially. Potentially. Do you like the first Rush Hour movie? I like all of the Rush Hour movies. Big fan of Rush Hour. Jackie Chan, Chris Tucker. I like them all. I I, 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 had, I had a blast watching all those movies. The first one is classic, though. The first one is classic. As Alvarado is going to come on in with Breaker, shoot the set, and smack on in, and Alvarado is going back to the finals again. <laughs> Somebody's got to stop this guy. Somebody has to stop this guy, dude. Someone. I don't know who. I don't know when. I don't know how. But I know something started right now. Someone's got to stop this guy, dude. I don't know who. <laughs> I don't know how. But someone has got to stop him, dude. He's absolutely going crazy. As Ivan and Crash are playing in the winners' finals, let me check out the losers' bracket again. Dogtown is solidifying itself. 
games are happening. Things are going on. But I'm going to go back and get another dose of this Mr. Big Noodle versus Evil for Life again. I'm sitting on the top side. All right, Mr. Big Noodle. Dang, dude, somebody's got to stop him, bro. If it's got to be me, I'll come out, dude. I'll try. I'll get out there. I'll put my I'll put my I'll put my I'll put my name my name on the line, dude. I'll try to get out there. Will it be Mr. Big Noodle? It could I'll try. I don't know if I can, but I'll definitely give it everything I got, dude. I'll get bodied, but I'm going to try. As Mr. Big Noodle might be able to do it. Everyone send your healing energy onto the noodle cuz the noodle is playing the uncut spice, dude. Any cool decks? Yeah, Z-Man, Mr. Big Noodle is playing a very cool deck. This is something of his own creation. This is his own concoction. As Zing Zin, who I believe is still holding down one of these sets, or maybe none of those sets, maybe your own set, it appears, as we're in the first main phase, Scrub for Life has a lot of life points. Mr. Big Noodle has a huge beefy board, and you got this Gat Nasty looking to pop, huh? What is it? It's a Mr. Big Noodle approved zombie deck, dude. It's a zombie deck, but it's noodles. It's a it's a it's a it's a noodled noodled zombie deck. Scrubs on the rituals with spy in there. You don't really see spy in the rituals too much. Yes, I guess you could. Yes, you do. Maybe I'm tweaking. As we got fear from the dark, which is out here, and we're just going to see uh, if we can have maybe just need another guy to get popped in case Gatling just completely just goes renegade rogue on you as we got one head coming in for the gat dog we got two heads coming in for the gat dog and then we got one tail so you're going to lose yours and the stein it is just the sinister serpente this could be game i believe i can't count as you got two four five six yeah that'll be game if all this gets in clean Love the spice, but you got to root for scrub here with relinquish. Oh, yeah. Pike Freak is the big relinquish. The big relinquish on campus these days as Mr. Big Noodle goes on playing. <laughs> Fiend Mega Cyber Zombies, dude, with Gatling and Stein with some zings in there. Making it happen. Mr. Big Noodle, you have all of the support. Okay, okay, okay. Um, let's see. Do we need to take a soiree? Are we ready to soiree? Do we need to soiree? I think we can stay up. I kind of want to see. We'll, we'll check out Ivan and Crash. And then uh, Ivan and Crash. And then we can go maybe soiree. Dogtown. See if we can get somebody in here we haven't seen. I want to make sure I'm um, showcasing some talent out there. I want to see a lot of duelists playing. And uh, that'll be a good way to do that. So I think I think we got, we've, we've seen Ivan and we've seen Crash. We've seen Noodle. We've seen Alvarado. Those are the remaining matches left on the top side. Ivan, Crash, Noodle, Alvarado. And then in the dog town, it looks like we have Grumple. Grumple's still in the tournament. And uh, and B-Socks that just play, or uh, D-Socks that just played. Ghost and Nate are about to play. Fresh and Gravity are playing right now. So let's see what we're going to do as we're waiting on Ivan and Crash to start. I think I'm going to hop. I'm going to take a quick, a quick little deep dive. Just the fastest little... Just a little, just a little, a little jump in there. See what's cooking, and then we're gonna bounce back up. So let's see what Grump's cooking real quick. I haven't seen Grump. I haven't seen Grump play in a while. Let me bring Grump some terrible luck, as I often do. <laughs> I love trolling Grump. Let's let's flex the cameras over to Grumble's Grumple to bring him the worst possible luck. Never mind. Grump's playing Turbo. I gotta get out of here. We're not we're not sticking around to watch Grump play Turbo, dude. It ain't gonna happen. As I just completely back out of the whole dueling book, dude. It ain't gonna happen. I am not about to go to Dogtown and watch Grump set spies. It ain't gonna happen. No way, no how, dude. Ain't no chance I'm doing it. No way. All right. It ain't gonna happen. It ain't gonna happen. What about uh what about uh let's see, who else we got over here? We got Flashy and Deffer. What are they cooking? What's Flashy doing? What's Flashy and Deffer? What do they got going? What do they got happening over here? Okay. 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 <laughs> Deffer's on Earth. Oh, let's see some Earth. Let's see a little bit of Earth. Let's see some Earth, dude. It ain't gonna happen. It's not. I'm sorry. Call me. We got. It ain't gonna happen. Okay. I'm not about to take a soiree to Dogtown and feature a spy on spy, dude. Can't do it. Can't do it. I can't bring myself to do it. 
I don't have the the wherewithal. I don't have the the grit, the guile, the fortitude. Flip cyber jar is energy. Okay, this is a lot of cards for this earth deck. We're flipping cyber jar. And sometimes you flip cyber jar on earth and you just win because they might not get a guy and you just get a bunch of guys. Let's see if that happens right here as flip cyber jar in earth. Defer. Grump be like, why am I losing? Is JDZ think of me again? Bro, I'll be, I be I usually I usually, you know, I don't agree with that usually, but I'll I'll Grump Grump will be out there cooking. I'll flex the cameras over there. Stream will show up and then he'll just start losing vigorously, dude. He'll start losing spectacularly. So you got no guy. You got a bunch of, you got a true nade, true nade, typhoon, lightning vortex. So I think this might be RGT. I think, I think, uh, I think flash might be on RGT. It appears perhaps I'm not sure. Um, but you do have an open chance to push for some serious damage. If you are deafer, if you can, you got to make something happen. Cause if this is RGT, it can blow you out here really quick. But it looks like you have um, level limits. So maybe you're playing burn here, like a burn earth concoction. I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out. Uh, Pike Freak asks, how many participants today? We had 40. Let's see one more time. We had 40, 43, 43 go format duelists coming out on a Sunday, 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 43. Dang, and then we got the giant true nade is going to get hit with a threatening roar. So very timely threatening roar. A lot of cards in hand, no damage delivered. So now you have to worry about a severe crackback. Threatening roar looking good. Threatening roar looking great, actually. No damage coming in clean, and you have so many cards in your hand. You're going to be able to put together a really, really strong play next turn. Yeah, we have 43 today. A little bit smaller, but the Sundays are the Sundays are typically a bit smaller historically. Um, I know there's some other things going on. Like I said, there's a YCS out in Raleigh going on right now as well. So maybe that took a lot of people's times. I don't know, but still, I think four. I think 43 is a good number. Anything? I think anything is a good number. 20. I'm lit with 20. I'm lit with 20. I'm lit with uh 10. You know, give me 10 people out here playing. I don't give a damn. We out here. Stream is on. It could be 100. It could be 10. It could be 50. As long as people are playing, as long as we got each other, you see the world and it's right in our head. Come on. You guys know the vibes, dude. As long as we got each other, it doesn't matter. 43, 53, 103, three. <laughs> do we go up on a, we'll, we'll do Friday night goats and it'll be six people and we'll be lit coast to coast. Doesn't matter. As long as people out here playing, it does not matter to me. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. All right. But we got the uh, level limit area B, which is up. And we'll be able to protect your DD warrior Light a little bit. And flashy has some decisions to make because you have a ton of cards in hand. One of which is a giant tree name, but now you have to think about a way to get through this thing as favorably as possible. You have your graveyard is not set up in any way. Graveyard is not set up in any way. So I just looked at the other stream I got going on over here with the YCS. This dude is still playing flunderies. Is that possible? Man's out here flung a reason up in this in this economy, dude. Get your bag up. Get, get some money, dude. Let's buy some better cards. <laughs> it's out here flung a reason it up. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm hating. I don't even. I don't even know. I just. I, I hear other people talking crap. But he's out here cooking though. Flung a reason going crazy, and he's ten wins, dude, with the flus. Getting active. Okay, we're back to the stream though. We're back to the stream. As we got premature on Genzo. Okay, lightning vortex goes crazy. Premature on Genzo. Boom, boom. Could have got a little greedy if you wanted. Could have got that premature back to your hand. But you didn't want to risk it for that biscuit. Get MST'd and you're out your ass. So I don't hate it. I don't hate it. I don't hate it. Grew up playing with Jeff Jones in the GOAT days. Get him back in here. Get him back in here. Get Jeff Jones' ass back into GOAT world. Tell him, tell him we're back and we're up. Come on out here and get your duel on. Calvin says, we love the birds. Not as much as goats, though. I respect it. And I, I like I like I like people playing current. I think playing current is cool. I wish I could. The only reason I only the only reason, um, at least for me, 
The only reason I say negative things about the current game is because I don't know how to play. And it's just my own bias because I, I, I literally don't know how to play. I wish I could. If I could play the current game, I would. And I would I would be much and I'm still I'm still very positive about the current game. Maybe not so much about Konami all the time because I, you know, it's really hard to be pro billion dollar corporation. But I, I'm, I'm all, I'm all about people playing current. I know current people are not all about people playing gold. As we got reasoning is going to be down and reason is going to hit the fusilier, the dual mode beast. So you got Sacred Crane. That premature burial will be looking nice if you were able to get that back. And that Jinzo coming down. Now that could have been a, that could have been nice for you there. So now we're staring down. Your graveyard is still not fully set up, and you lost all your dimension fusions. That's always a key element of this reasoning gate strategy. Ensuring that they can't play 2000 or they don't have the dimension fusions available. You do have Demok looming. You have uh, one more Mon gate, one more reasoning. So I was like, damn. It's like, damn. It's good to be open-minded about more than one format. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. 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 And I, I know, I know for, at least for, that's for me. I know everyone's not the same because let's face it. I mean, it's tribal. It's gone tribal at this point. And there are some tribal, there are some people that are very tribal about goats. And I try to strongly encourage people not to be that way. Like, oh, it's goats or elk goats. It's greatest of all time. And it's goats and nothing else. Play goats or you're dead to me kind of thing. People are people are that way about goats sometimes. People are that way about Edison sometimes, and I don't think that's the correct way to uh, to to go about it. I think you should play different. I I encourage people to play different formats. I think you should play other things. You should branch out. You should do other things, and then come back because it will. Um, if you just play goats all the time, you're going to get burned out. You're going to get bored. You're going to lose your interest, and you're going to grow to have disdain. And I don't want people to disdain things that you love because I love go for man. And I don't want to get to the point where I don't. So I'll take a break or don't play or play other things and gain more. Uh, and then when you come back to it, it seems fresh again. And you can like, you know, Ooh, big morphing jar. You couldn't put more cards. Oh, I guess he giant tree you, huh? So huge morphing jar and you lose a lot of materials there. And you're going to give the reasoning gate duelist five more units to work with. Dang. And now you're going to punch in with 3,000. 3,000, wow, 15, and 28. So this thing is coming to a screeching, screeching halt. Yeah, that Genzo would have put you right on over the top. Did he have the inner engagement? He, uh, we still don't know yet. If he had if he had MST, it was, a great, it was a great play. If he didn't, you had just missed out on a game-winning opportunity. And it sucks. Oh, no. no. Uh, did you have another dark? No, I don't think he would have had another. He had a Sork, too. How did that Sork get in here? So he did have another Dark. He could have banished the Sork. I don't freaking know, man. Reasoning Gate. It is what it is. We should just love Yu-Gi-Oh. I wish it was that easy, Calvin. I wish it was that easy. I wish it was just that easy. Just love the game or hate the game. Or love it. Love to hate the game. That's fine, too. Like, when people ironically hate... Like, sometimes I'm like, man, I, I hate this game. Oh, dude, I hate this game so much. I say that, like, at least... I don't know, 10 times a week, 20 times a week, something like that. Oh, I hate this game. Uh, but I don't mean it. Like, I hate, I just, things happen. Oh, man, this game sucks. I say it all the time. <laughs> I say I say it all the time, but I don't really, I don't really actually hate the game. I just hate, like, I like how much I hate the game. I don't know. I can't explain. I can't explain. It's a weird, it's a weird phenomenon, but you guys know what I'm talking about. Uh, nobody is tribal about Teledad though. Feel bad for them. There, I'm certain. I'm certain that there is a contingent of duelists that are tribal about Teledad. You can find them if you look hard enough. There are, there are, because people nostalgia. Nostalgia, nostalgia is like strong. As Od Ant is in the building again, says you hate to love it. Back at it again. Somebody got to stop this man. Somebody, somebody has to stop this, has to stop this duelist. I don't know who, but somebody needs to put together the right, the units in order to take this duelist down. It was supposed to be LeBounty. It was supposed to be LeBounty. LeBounty did not seal the deal today. 
the little balance equals pulls to seal the deal that he just couldn't do it. He didn't do it. As you're going to go ahead and set, 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 pass back on over to Deffer, whose back is against the wall. You got no Stein plays. You got no, uh, you still got a bunch of good cards left. Heavy Storm is going to be one of them to start this thing off. Uh, you got Cat. You got some, you got some things happening here. As you're going to blow up the rest of the board, Snatch Deal is really great. That'll be a good one to start you off as Grace of Charity is going to get you even more closer to that. And if you can if you can get through this uh, this position Flashy's got on for you right now, you can pretty much assure yourself the win as they've already used so, so much of their uh, gas. If you can clear this thing one final time, you can probably punch your own ticket for a dub as we're in main phase one. <laughs> As we're in main phase one, lightning vortex would be nice. A nice timely vortex right now goes a long way. Snatch deal, also great. But I think you know there's another giant grenade looming, perhaps, or maybe use them both. I can't recall. Brain's bad. Brain's bad. Was too concerned with beating all of rehab in the MVP tourney. Is that? Is that? Are you? Is that what it is? You gotta go through the whole gang too, huh? You gotta you gotta go you gotta go through the you gotta go through the whole gang too, LeBounty. Is that facts? You gotta beat everybody. Yeah, you gotta beat them all. They're all in there. They're all in there. That's crazy. The fact that they had so many people in that tournament is also crazy. That's pretty that's pretty impressive, man. That's a damn good team, dude. I, I like to hate. I like to hate. I'm a hater, okay? I hate. But I gotta you gotta give your roses too, man. And that's a damn good team. They put up, they 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 had a great season. They're having they continue to have a great season. And I can't say enough about them. As we're gonna go Earth, Earth mode activate. Are we attacking? As we're attacking into the Dark Fire, and we're going into the Fusilier Dual Mode Beast. And we get into the set. MVP six didn't show up. He's playing ever. Where, where did six go? Six didn't want to participate. Did uh, six like did he just didn't want to play in the event? Where is he at? Is he taking a break, or he, did he just get clapped up? Or what was the situation? As you're going to play the Swords of Villain Light and then just hand the BLS back over to oh, and the Heavy Storm is going to come almost immediately, dude. That thing snapped down with speed and vigor. And it's going to be GG. So there's really nothing you could do as Heavy Storm is going to take over this game as Flashy keeps the Reasoning Gate strategy alive and well. Okay, so with that, that was a nice little soiree. Thanks for the soiree, Deffer. Thanks for the soiree, Flashy. Well, we're going to hop back on up to the top bracket and see what Ivan and Crash are doing. They should be well underway in the round number five, I want to say. What round is this? Let me put this damn thing back up. We got one, two, three, four. It's round number four. We're not in round number five. We've never been in round number five. What am I talking about? Good grief. Lord, get this thing out of there. Let me see if my button's working again. Button's not working. Button's not working. All right, how about that? All right, cool. We'll rock with it. We'll rock with it. Let's see what Ivan's doing. Ivan. Ivan and Crash, okay? Let's see. Crash into me baby we got ivan is up a game playing what appears to be a chaos turbo strategy rump says it's not but i don't believe it as crash volt is playing um i, be I believe maybe maybe some a goat based strat as well he just missed the schedule 1 p.m match he no showed no reschedule he can't he that's a that's a that's a that's a fine dude you can't be out here just missing your matches dude he just didn't show up. Dang, MVP six, dude. That's crazy. This is your tournament, dude. You're the MVP. This, this is your event. This is your tournament. And you're not going to show up, huh? You're not going to show up. Sleeping behind the wheel. Sleeping as DD Warrior Lady is going to get banished. Cool card. Cool card. Out of play. As now Ivan is holding on to five, staring down a T set. After we're playing the Nomen Across out. I think DD Warrior Lady is pretty decent right now. Especially as a as a side deck thing. Like, why not? I don't know why. Why not? It seems seems good. Mind control stock is at its all-time lowest. And that's just another reason. Maybe you have DD Warrior Lady set. 
they'll bring in Kaiku, try to attack. You can just banish it, or they mind control it, lose it, lose a neg, or you know they knock it and it's not hitting your spy or some shit. I don't know. Seems it seems good. Gravity says I hate DD Warrior Lady. It's useless for me, dude. Just taking shots at the different dimension warrior lady, dude, for no reason. That is a solid, robust, and resilient Yu-Gi-Oh card, dude. Just taking absolute shots at the different dimension warrior lady. Card solid as a rock, man. Very, very playable Yu-Gi-Oh card. It's useless. It's nuts. Useless is what the duelist said. I mean, still, at a minimum, it's a light monster that can just get banished for Chaos Source. That's a, that's at least one use right there. It's got 1,500 attack. It can clear an attack position to Koichi and Spy. That's two utilities right there. It's got 1,600 defense. It can wall out an uncountered breaker and a unboosted Blade Knight. That's three uses. Then it can also banish anything that it can attack. That's four uses, man. That's a multi-use item. It can also eat my controls. No one across outs. It can't get bottomless though. And it's DD Warrior Lady, man. The cards, uh, it's, I, I, would, I wouldn't say useless. <laughs> useless is a hard word. All right. What do you think about my control in the main? I think my control in the main deck is better than my control in the side deck. I think my control in the main deck right now is better than my control in the side deck. Cause these turbo players just look at them there. They're all getting so crafty. They're all getting so sneaky. My control coming out of the side deck like it used to, that shit is dead as hell. You're not, it's not going over like it used to back in the day, you know, a couple years ago, a couple months ago, even people put in three mind controls and you're just nabbing up face. You're nabbing up spies. You're nabbing up the Koichis. Now people are coming in, they'll set a they'll set a tribe on your ass real fast. They'll set a kaiku on you real fast. They're, they'll set a zombara on you super quick. They'll flip that bitch up and then they'll beat you down with it. It's not even it's not even I mean you get and you can you can hit the sorkin stuff too. So I guess it does have some value, man, but it's just not it doesn't hit like it used to. It doesn't. It really doesn't. At least in my in my experience, but maybe it, each person is going to be uh have their own unique unique experiences in their own dueling thing. Maybe if you even go into like a more of an aggressive deck in game two and beyond, you can, uh, you can have a man just move a guy out of the way and just attack, still get value there. But you're, you're not, you're not just, or what they'll do too. They'll just summon. They'll just summon. Like I've seen more people summon to Koichi and attack you with 14. Nowadays, people never did that. They'll just attack you with 14, summon suit, flip it, get it back, and you're sitting there holding three Micons in your hand looking like a damn idiot. It's, it's just not as good as it used to be, man. It really isn't. And then they play Trap Dust Shoot, and they'll see you have 19 Mind Controls in your hand, and they'll never set again. And you're just sitting there just getting beat up by Dekoichi after Dekoichi, spy in attack position, suit, summon it, set it down. And then you got, you know, 56 coming your way, dude, or whatever. 20, it's just it's just a non-stop barrage, dude. <laughs> LeBounty says main deck the mind control and take it out. That might be the way to go. I'm I'm and I might sound like a crackhead by for saying that. I don't know. That might be the future, dude. Just take the damn thing out because you're you're gonna get bodied. <laughs> I played around my co my con in the main is good. If you play against a lot of chaos and that's the meta, the meta is basically turp. Like the meta is turbo. And then there's everything else that's crashed out here on that tomato gang, dude, tomato getting active, tomato getting just like that. My con tomato and you're in fucking shambles, dude. <laughs> my con, my con a tomato and you see how fast you're going to be in shambles. My con DD warrior lady straight to shamble town. It's just not, it doesn't hit. It doesn't hit nearly as hard as it used to. So I would much, much, much rather have it in the main because you know the Chaos Turbo players, they still may expect it. And they might still like, you know, they'll come out and they'll set the Spy or Dekoichi first or whatever, get it knocked, 
they'll see how many you take out, and then they might set the juice, they might set the faith, or they might they might bluff again, you know, put the sanguine down or something in, in anticipation for the main deck Minecon. But most times people may not they see the knock go off and they're like, okay, my set should be good. And then you come in with the Minecon, you can still get some value. Game one. Game two, forget about it. It'll never happen. Especially if you mind con someone game one, you're never getting it off game two. It ain't going to happen. Unless somebody's just desperate times for desperate measure. They're top decking. Top deck faith, set it. You top deck mind, get it. That happens still. But in terms of like as much trap does shoot and as much um, hand information and way people play, you're, you'll never, that thing will never see a faith ever. It'll never hit. I'm testing out double spell. Let me know. Let me know how that goes. Let me know how it goes. Let me know how that goes. Double spell is interesting. That's one you have to discard. I think it's too narrow though. You have to discard like some real shit, right? You have to discard an actual spell card to use it. I think. Let me see this thing. Let me see this thing. Card, double spell. That's the one. You have, I think you have to discard like some real, some real materials to get that thing out. Yeah, discard one spell card from your hand. I can't. I can't abide. The, the, the dude can't abide, dude. Discard one spell card is crazy. This discard discard one spell card is nuts, dude. I can't even the dude can't abide. I, I can't even get past that first line. Discard one spell card from your hand. Which spell card are you discarding? I gotta know. And why is that card in your deck? Like why like why is that why is that card in your deck at all? If you if it's a spell card that you could just freely just toss out like that, why are you even playing it? Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> can't do it. The dude can't abide. If it was just discard a card, yeah, you can finesse that with the the Sangin or the Serpent stuff and the Night Assailant stuff and the Thunder Dragon stuff. But that is just uh That's just that's just that's just too that's just too much. That's too much. As we flip spy here, so we're able to flip spy. So we get a Minecon. I was just talking about it too, as Minecon actually gets a little bit of value, sort of, right? Like you got a spy in defense position and you're playing delinquent duo. Uh, Spicy boy says the dream scenario, your opponent is playing aggro and you discard the nobleman game. Number one, that's a, that's a, like the highest, that's the highest possible chance of what could be. That's like the highest, the best, the best case scenario. Um, and it, what is this? This is a select one spell from your opponent's graveyard and use it from, the graveyard as your spell. So what are you going to get? I guess if they got Trinity, but if they've already hit you with pot and you're playing double spell and you're discarding knock, I think you're already in the, in the, in the hurt locker, dude. I think you're already jammed up. I think you're already in down back because they don't have like, say they play Rota or if they play MST and you got double spell with knock in your hand. Are you really double spelling for a MST? It only really works. It only it only really, really works when you have like Trinity. Let's let's be real. Or pot and charity ma- mainly is what you want to hit with double spell. So I don't know. You have a whole go format server to spam double spell cert. I got I got I I'm I that's my I like to I like to put in War League, man. Cause I'm what are you talking about? I gotta I gotta find it, dude. I'm in the war, I'm in all over, dude. I'm I'm inter- I'm international. I can't put I can't look at double spell. I don't I forgot what it did. Keep war league clean. Says Ant, dude. Come on, man. You know how I feel about the Go From At Worldly. Okay, that's my home. That is my home where I belong. All I ever. But that place clean is not a, a descriptor I would use for the Go From At Worldly. All right. It's a necessary. It's a necessity. Clean is not what it is. But I just happen to have the Worldly open. It was there. I was already. I was already. It was already there. I got a quick little type. I got double spell. I got yellowed into obscurity already. I just typed it in. Just trying to see what it does. Get a little reminder. And I was absolutely yellowed out of there. It is what it is, man. Double spell. But you never know. If you try it, Randall, you get out there, try double spell. And maybe you're playing like, maybe you're playing like some kind of Double spell, Necro Valley terraforming situation, where you're like kicking out old Necro Valleys for double spells. Which, that don't even work, huh? That's stupid. That won't work. Wait, because because you don't have to add it to your hand. You just play it from. Can you double spell with Necro Valley up? Judge, let me get a judge. 
Let me get a judge in the chat. Let me read double spell one more time. It says, discard one spell card from your hand, select one spell card from your opponent's graveyard, and use it from the graveyard as your spell card. Can you double spell under Necro Valley? Is that real or fake? Help me out, somebody. Because it doesn't say you have to add it to your hand just to use it. The effect? I don't fucking know how to play this game, dude. Whatever. But I mean, something like that. Like some kind of energy where you got like field spells, preferably Necro Valley since it's like one of the better ones. Terraforming. And then you can like search the extra Necro Valleys and then double spell, kick those things off. So you're not losing too much energy or... Maybe you can do like um, like some ritual stuff, like how these ritual guys are doing. You got the Manju and the Sonic Bird or whatever. Ritual, add some ritual spells, double spell, kick that stuff off. Maybe. How good is it? I don't know. Because it's going to also be predicated on the spells your opponent has in their graveyard. And if they're playing full trend, you're probably already getting your ass whooped at double speed anyway. So double spell is not going to help you at that point. I don't know. I don't know. You can use it if it's if you just use the card. I think I think the way the way it reads to me is that you should be able to just let it let it rock with under under Necro Valley. But I could be wrong. I don't know. But that could be a way to like a ritual Necro Valley double spell deck, dude. There you go. Take it. Work. Start there. Start start there. Um. Randall, start there and then, or send me what you got, Randall. Let me see what you're cooking right now. Let me see, let me see your research right now. And I can tell you if you're on track or if you're off track, DM me in discord. If you're in discord, uh, Randall, DM me the, what you're cooking right now. My DMS are wide open. I'm not going to share it with anybody. I'm just going to look at it and I'm going to see what you're cooking. And I'm going to say, I'm going to say if you're on the right track or if you're off, if you're off track, if you're off track, we got to go back to the drawing board. Cause I can tell you right now, just, I can stare at the, I can stare at the, at the flavor and see what you're cooking. I can stare at the flavor as we got spy versus spy. Okay. This is uh this is some goat format, big city dueling right here. Ivan is, does have a metamorphosis in the deck, which is wild. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. As West Filer says, game three, double duo is a vibe. Game three, double duo is one of the worst feelings you could have as a goat format duelist. It feels terrible. I hate, I hate, I hate that. I hate that's a, that's the worst thing. It's one of your worst feelings. Maybe BLS, Swing, Swing, Ring, or Heavy Storm, or Snatch, or Snatch for Game. Those are up there, but Play Duo, Flip Faith, Play Duo again is one of the worst feelings that you can ever have playing this format. It makes you never want to play again. But it's just five, though. It's five. As Ivan is thinking here in Main Phase 2, got to make something happen at some point as we're staring down one defense position, GK Spy. As we're staring. Dang. Dang, dude. Dang. 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 Dang, getting blasted. Okay, okay. But yeah, and I watched uh I watched I watched see episode five, man. That was why didn't you tell me it was such a such a tragedy, dude. That was like really sad. I was upset about that, the way that no spoilers. I'm not going to spoil it, but if you're not watching X-Men 97, okay, you're missing out. It's on Disney Plus. It's actually quite good. It's actually quite good. I finally got around to watching episode five and episode six last uh, last night. They were quite good. It was a, it was, that hurt, that hurt, dude. That was like, damn, bro. Hopefully they like undo all that and like, oh man, give me, give me my guys, dude. I, I came here, I, I came here for my guys. Cause I was kind of like worried because episode, uh, episode four was quite mid. I would say the one with Jubilee and the, the video game stuff. I was like, what are we doing? Get this, get this out of here. And then episode five roll in the end of four happened. And then five popped off and I was like, damn, bro. Damn, bro. That was good. That was good. No spoiler. No spoiler. Yeah. Cable. I'm, 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 I'm sure time. I'm sure, I'm sure time is time is going to come in, in into play. There's going to be like some time travel elements in there too. I'm sure. But it's sick. It's sick. They're already kind of setting it up. They're already setting it up for it, too. Uh, spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. Go watch it, man. It's a good show. As uh, as we got Ashura Priest is going to get Regeki broken. As we have Dragon S, the Wicked Knight is in attack position. Yeah, that was... Uh, and then the whole... Episode 6 was actually quite good, too. 
as we're going to go ahead and hit the link with duo for one and it's going to be that last co another copy of scapegoats and now you're sitting here as crash is going to pass it back on over ivan weathering the storm able to get the sinus serpent back can't really put the pressure up <laughs> X-Men 97 is sick. It's way better than I thought it would be. Episode 5 was insane. I'm telling you, it's, I am like, I am blown away with how good the show is. I enjoy it a lot. Because I like the original one. Obviously, if you're in our age group, or a little bit younger than me, or whatever, you know, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, it, everyone watched the original X-Men, and this is basically that, but like updated for, you know, with the same art style and everything, and some of the same voice actors. It's really cool. I don't really, I don't really, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, I'm gonna be real with y'all. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be completely transparent with y'all. I'm not really. I'm not really, really rocking with Magneto's whole swag though. His whole. His whole outfit and and his whole lipstick stuff. I'm not feeling it. I need the master of magnetism to be out here with his little purple ensemble, dude. Very normal get up, and he's out here with some the the arm sleeve. What are you doing? What are you doing, big dog? Put the helmet on and let's rock, dude. Let's duel. As we're gonna flip faith, add charity. It's looking great for Ivan as you're going to allow the charity to be to get added back. GK spy is in defense position. Two spies staring each other down. Dude, Magneto is wearing lipstick right now. Oh, you don't think that's dude. That is for sure. His lips are not normal color, dude. Them things are them things are are lipsticked up. Let me see. Let me see if I can find a picture of this thing. Uh... He's definitely got some lipstick on, bro. 100%. 100%. Yeah, they hold us, man. They really did. This is for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can I make this? Let me see. Look at that dude, man. He got like some... Look at this dude. He got the little scarf on. This is this is what I want. Sorry, no offense to the game. Let me put it... Well, this is what I want. I want this guy. I want the red guy... He still got draws on the outside. That's kind of weird. But still, the new Magneto, new Magneto is all right. It's, some, it's, it's, some, it's, it's he's, lip, he's got some lip smacker. He got some lip smacker on. Martial, it is on Disney Plus. It's on Disney Plus. And it's, uh, it's quite good. As GK Spy is making his money again as Spy versus Spy, staring down defense, defense position, holding it up and just holding up the process. Spy is another interesting card in uh in modified goats that we uh kind of went back and forth on of the legality of spy and what should we do with it. And I think the the original the the final assessment is that spy is too um prominent in goats, but it's not so prominent that it needs to be completely removed. So spy will be limited to one copy per deck in modified goats. More information to come. So again, like I said, next weekend we're gonna try to do a little a little test run tournament. Pui's gonna run that. The Grand Pui. The the Grand Pui. Shout out to Pui for reaching 1,000 subscribers on her GOAT format Yu-Gi-Oh! dueling YouTube page. If you guys haven't subscribed, make sure you go check her out, see what she's doing. She does great content over there for retro Yu-Gi-Oh! and other things as well. When she's not rock starring and all kinds she's she's doing she's doing some great stuff. So she's gonna she's gonna come in and help with uh the modified GOAT circuit. We're trying to put that up. We put that together and just try to just change some things up and, tr and try it out. So it's going to be cool. But yeah, that show is great. I would, uh, I highly recommend it, especially if you like the, the older X-Men. It's basically the exact same show, but another season added on. Well, if you're playing Gravekeeper in 2024, you can do it in modified. So good for them. Yeah, you can keep, but you can only have one. You can have one spy. Everybody can keep, we don't want to completely just ruin the whole Gravekeeper deck. Maybe you can have one spy. Maybe we can add more Gravekeeper cards later on, more support. Like we were talking about earlier in the stream as well. Like Gravekeeper Descendant seemed like it could fit very well in GOAT format. Uh, Gravekeeper's um, Commandant would be a great addition to GOAT format, I think. You know, or it could just be too busted and people just, it might just warp the game in ways that we haven't noticed. But I think those cards are really, really cool and it could help flesh out the gravekeeper 
uh, Zoggler says, how goes the tournament? Any notable spice? Yes, uh, the, no the, the spiciest deck I think I've seen so far is going to be whatever the hell Big Noodle's cooking. Like, Big Noodle is on a whole nother echelon of spice. Like, for no reason. Like, he just went, he just went above and beyond. So, he's on, like, a zombie deck, but he's got, like, some tech in there. And he's got, like, all kinds of stuff happening in there. Fiend Mega Cyber is making an appearance. He got Zings in there. He got Stein. Literally everything. Book of Life's book of everything fear from the dark is in there he's got it all so he's playing really cool stuff man and uh he's having a good time and i'm with it i fully support that that's just a an ideology i know I, again i don't expect everyone to see the things the way that i do but i do like to see characteristics and personalities that are unique and individual to each person when someone is able to take their own ideas and put them towards this game still and still have some modicum of success i think that's really cool as west file says nate dog and scrub for life playing for top eight in dog town are they slugging it around in dog town that should be a good one i might have to take a quick soiree after this this duel is waging long long and hard as we enter into the battle phase dragon s the wicked knight is going to attack into the magician of faith and we're going to with that we're going to grab back that mind control as maybe Crash is cooking, cooking something with the mind control. As we'll send the Magician of Faith on off to the graveyard. Maybe just need an answer to a potential resolution of a chaos monster, perhaps. As Crash sitting behind two. Randall says, yeah, double spell is for Trinity or Heavy or Nobleman, Snatch Deal, Burial, Creature Swap. It's situational. I'm testing it. Right on. Keep the... And I don't, I don't, I, I never want to discourage anyone from trying anything. You know, I will, I will help you on your journey. I will, if, if that is something that you want to do, I'm, I'm going to be your champion. I'm going to be your, your, your hero. I'm going to be someone who's going to try to back you up to make this thing a reality. Only thing I also want to do is just tell you that there will be pitfalls. There will be a lot of lean days on this quest you know if you're if you're about that type of stuff then of course you know continue to continue to make it try it try new things of course everyone knows that double spell might not be the best card printed but it was an ultra rare and it looks cool play the damn card as we're going to go ahead and set another card on the field now ivan is in a board lock scenario summon tt is energy but Ivan may be playing as if there could be a potential solemn judgment backing up this play as he's fully, fully committed to this board. Or maybe he knows that Crash may not have a torrential tribute to be played, perhaps, as we're just going to go ahead and set another monster in defense position. And then... And then vibe there for a little while. <laughs> Spicy Boy says, if you double spell a Pixie Control player, they're going to be very sad about their deck choice. Pixie Control. Dude, that's another interesting one. Pixie Knight is a funny-ass card. Pixie Knight is cool, man. I don't know why people don't play that. I might try that. I'm going to try Pixie Knight. Card's cool, man. A Prince Magician can search that thing, too. That's a really, really funny card. JDZ, do you need a deck idea? Um, Sure. I can I can always use a deck idea. I'm, I'm all about it. I'm all ears. I'll always listen. I got my notepad. I keep it right here by the stream. And as you guys are giving up ideas, I write it down. I read the comment section in the in the comments for the videos. People say, hey, I want to see this. You, you should try this. You should try that. I listen to all that stuff. I listen to literally everything everyone says, and I try to do it. So, of course, man, I'm always looking for new ideas. I'm always looking for new strategies and concepts. And I'm always, and I, I just think it's so much, so much left out here in, in the goat world, man. Alephia's coming back more often and he's going to play more often on the channel. I know everyone loves Alephia. He's got some really, really, really cool ideas. You guys don't even know. Like the ideas that he show that he shows on the channel when he comes by the ideas that he, that when he, when he brings the decks, those are just like ideas that are competitive, like mostly competitive. If you start getting into decks that are just like, can this deck be playable? And if it pops off, Oh yeah. Oh dude, the bag gets very, very deep. As we're going to go ahead and get the Spirit Reaper, the Koichi gets in clean for 14. 
The Lightning Vortex looks even juicier right now. I think that's another card that might need to see a little bit more playability. You're talking about double spell. Let's talk about Lightning Vortex and how absurd that card would be right now. As Ivan does have the Delayed Delinquent Duo. You know you're a Spice Master when you create two different Blue Eyes. <laughs> It's, and that's probably not even it. That's probably not the limitation of blue eyes. You probably, you probably got more blue eyes in there. Blue eyes is cool, man. Because we haven't even touched um, Kaiba Man. We haven't even hit Rota for Kaiba Man, blue eyes, Flew to Summoning Dragon. We haven't even done the, the classics. You haven't even hit the classics yet. We're already, we're, we're, we haven't even touched on a retelling of the classics. And we're already double blue eyes in. We haven't even Rota for Kaiba Man, tribute for blue eyes. Not even once. We haven't even Lord of D flew to summoning blue eyes, even though that's a terrible play, but still flew to summoning dragon. That's a weird ass card. Haven't even tried it. It's a vibe though. It's a vibe. It's energy. It's energy as we are cooking here, as we're staring down uh, a, a nice, a nice position by Ivan. We're going to get back to crash though. He's going to draw. And Chaos is live. You still got a ton of Mons on the field. Ton of Mons. <laughs> oh, my my uh, my little side stream died over here. I thought I was like, man, these guys are still playing. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Oh, man. Who, who, um, how do you get this pot of greed, this pot of greed win a mat from YCS? What do I got to do to get one of those? I want that mat. I like that mat a lot. I really would like to have that. And notice, notice, okay, look at that mat. I'm gonna show you a picture of this. I'm looking at it right now. Right here, this little mat, right? That's what I'm talking about. Shit's clean as hell. I love I like that mat. People hate on it, but I, I think it's dope. It's got all the pots on it from the history of the game. But um notice what's right in the middle. What's the very first centerpiece of that of that mat, dude? Just look at it. When you look at that mat. What is the freaking centerpiece of that mat? Right dead smack in the front center of that damn mat. You got that damn pot of grease sitting right there. That lets you know that I'm telling you, no matter what, this game will be played because of that. They have to, like, it's a part of it. It's a part of your culture. It's a part of your history. It's a part of your identity as a Yu-Gi-Oh player. We're going to set as we're going to continue to pressure Maybe these little dudes can keep just chipping away at Crash's hitbox as you're smacking in with GK Spy. And then you got that Chaos Sorcerer ready to banish at a moment's notice. You can also unlock your board at a moment's notice too with Chaos Sorcerer's ability to get rid of your own guys in the event that you need to. For the pot, Matt, you need to win an advanced pot. What are, there, what are, they, what are they going for retail-wise? If I'm going to buy one, what are they selling for? Are they are they very expensive? Are they a little a little bit expensive? Are they costly? Can I afford it? I kind of want one. I really I really want one. I want to. I like that mat a lot. I think it looks very very nice. <laughs> Scully is in the building. Yo, what's up, Scully? The world's pot mat is better. From the last one, yeah, that one, that one looks clean. I like, I like our, I like our pot. I like our pot design, but I think that one just looks cool, man. I like, I think it looks cool. I think it looks cool. I think they're at least a hundred. They're new, so more expensive. I have to check it out. I might, I might pick one up. As we're going to go ahead and hit the wing blast, put the damn chaos sorcerer back on top of the deck, which sucks, man. We gotta get off of these wing blasts, dude. We gotta get off of them because RB answers the problem, and now you're gonna have to deal with that chaos sorcerer again next turn. You do get to block a draw phase, but damn, oh damn. You wish that Wing Blast was a damn Regeki break right there. And this freaking Spirit Reaper might actually be able to get you a few more cards. As you're going to go ahead and set, set, and let's see if we pass here. Uh, DBL says, do you ever try an insect deck with ultimate insect level three, five, and seven? If you have seen me on the ladder, Cause I play on the ladder probably at, le at least maybe two or three matches a day. Typically, unless I'm making a video, then it's probably a little bit, a little bit more, but typically I'll play two or three matches a day. And I would say uh, maybe 
at least three times a week, I'm playing an insect deck. Maybe more. Insects are a sleeper pick for me. I play insects a lot. More than any human being should. I have an insect deck that can actually beat people. I'll beat people with it. It's got like some cool, some cool little, some cool little synergies in there. Maybe I'll show that to the channel too, but it's not the best. It's a, it's a damn insect deck. So it's, it's kind of like my, uh, my decompression deck. Like if I'm feeling kind of bored or if I'm feeling like, oh man, I just got sacked or this thing just is, I'm not having a good time. I'll load the insect deck and I'll play it and it's all, it's all well and good. Even if I lose, it's still, it's still good. Insects are up, man. I like it. Yeah, I play. Uh, I don't. Want, I don't want to give up all my tech yet, but I may, yeah, I, may, I might showcase. I might showcase the insect deck at some point. As we got one light, one dark. You already know the chaos sorcerer is coming back. This dude could very well be in the graveyard with a regeki break. But nah, nah, nah. We gotta be. We gotta be wing blast dueling. Hate to see it. Absolutely hate to see it, man. Get that thing out of here. Wing blast stock is out. Of, get that card out of this game, bro. It is so down. I hate it. Wing Blast is his finish, dude. And uh, we got 14 in. And then we got 12 in. And then another 12 will reach in cleanly as well. Wing Blast dueling. And I think that was pretty much the final the final nail, at least for me, when we saw AJT. Again, huge shout out to AJT winning the last GOAT format championship. When we saw AJT win the damn GOAT format championship, and he was a notorious full-fledged wing blast supporter dude from top to bottom from the tippity tippity top of his head to the bibbity bibbity bottom of his feet dude wing blast through and through every time which card is better he'll come in wing blast is better and have a whole diatribe of why wing blast is better locked in when he abandoned the card sell your socks get it out of there when he when he left it behind dump it it's gone ain't no coming back that's it he was the last. He was the last warrior on the wall. When he when he put it down, it's time to put it down. It's time to put it down. Someone at Konami didn't like Nephthys, so they put him on the trap that hurts it. That could be facts, huh? That could that could be the facts, huh? Is that true? Is that true? I don't know, man. There are some terrible synergies there. Getting your Phoenix, Sacred Phoenix. Put back to the top of your deck is one of the worst feelings you could ever have. Again, that's another, maybe I'll make a top 10 list of worst things that can happen to you as a duelist. And that's up there. Getting that bad boy racked and stacked back to the top of your deck feels horrendous because you have to look at the artwork. Like you said, you have to look at the artwork of the card that you have on the field that is now placed onto the top of your deck. And you just know you're drawing a massive brick. You just know it's coming. As we're going to go ahead and reveal the mind control, we're taking over the set. So really rolling the dice, rolling the dice, running the numbers, and it is going to be a Dekoichi. So you will get a draw. You will get a draw. Hopefully it's something good for you. As Scully says, I never thought Warriors would fall off so hard. Yeah, they're, they're done, dude. They're done. They're, 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 they're so down horrendous, dude. They're down ultra. They're down. They're down oblivion, dude. They're, it's so down. It's so sad to see. Cause I think the deck is so good. The deck is really, really good. But they just don't give it up like they used to, man. I hate to see it. I don't know why. I wish I knew why. I guess I kinda do know why. It's just when you have this like meta gaming type stuff like we do, the Warriors had a pretty good Chaos Turbo matchup. The Chaos Turbo players responded in kind. The Warrior players then responded again. The Turbo players then responded to the response. And the Warrior players did not snap back, dude. Yeah, when the, when the, war, when the Turbo, exactly. The Turbo players, they used to play like, I don't know, Ashura Priest, Book of Moon, Kaikus, and... Uh, they would play like Mobius, like it'd be like two Mobius, two Minecon, two Kaiku, two Ashura, two fucking Jogans or whatever the hell they would put in there. Like whatever, Dust Tornado, all that shit's gone, dude. <laughs> Forget it. We're going triple Zumbira, triple Sakurazu armor to start, 
to when you're building your side deck. That's where it's that's where they're at with it now. Mobius is not really played. They got some walks in there. Maybe a dust, maybe a dust tornado, and they're just vibing. They're just vibing. Three Zumbira, three Sakuritsu armor, Mirror Force, Ring is just very hard to beat for the Warriors these days. So what I would what I would think the Warrior players should start doing is I I like the idea of um, maybe even having like a Warrior deck game one, and then game two, let's do something crazy. Let's play Return. Let's play like Bazu. Let's side into some Bazu freaking Giant Trunade Return activity, dude. Because guess what? They'll never see it coming. They got all those back row cards. You giant trunade that shit, dude. You got three. Put them all in there and just see what happens for a little while. They got Zumbira. Well, guess what? You got Bazoo, dude. Bazoo can beat Zumbira the Dark. Especially when your trap cards are now back in your hand. And now I'm attacking you with 22 over your 21. Attacking you 25 over your 21. You kill the Bazoo. I flip return. And now look at me, dude. We're big city dueling. We're big city dueling. Guess what? Bazoo can clear the GK Spy. Bazoo can clear the Zumbar to Dark. Bazoo can't clear the Kaiku, okay? But Kaiku can fuel your return. I don't know, man. It's something about it. I don't know how to I don't know how to how to how to how to game it, okay? I'm an ideas guy. I'm not an execution guy. I, I like to execute. Never mind, I take that back. I'm an execution guy, but I got I got ideas, okay? But I do understand that there are, as Crash is going down here, pretty tough. You're going to go for another Spirit Reaper, and you're going to hope for the best. You need just live draw coming off the top. And you're just going to continue to just get kind of poked to death by these little, just little dudes. Just getting in there, controlling the initiative, controlling the narrative, and you're just going to just rock you, rock, you, rock you to death with these little guys. And that Chaos Sorcerer is just prepared to banish anything that may oppose you. Game is imminent on board if you can't seem to stop this. Lightning Vortex is looking great. As you're just going to go ahead and set one card on the field, pass back on order Ivan. There's a lot of fun cards versus Warriors, like Cypher Soldier, a.k.a. Kinetic Soldier. Cypher Soldier, Kinetic Soldier, they have a lot of things going against them. They have a lot of things, they have a lot of uphill, a lot of uphills to climb, man. Because the strategy needs to attack. They got to attack to win. If they, Chaos has to, everybody has to attack to win, obviously. But you know what I mean? Like, Ivan is sitting here with this damn Sork who's been sitting in defense position for 15 turns. Like, this Sork is totally fine never attacking. And Ivan can easily just grind his thing into a winning position by just plugging with this Magician of Faith and Dekoichi in, indefinitely. So, yeah, the, everybody needs to attack to win, but the Warriors, if they can attack, they're not going to win. So, if you can stop them with the Sakuretsu Armors, you stop them with the Zumbire of the Darks, you're stopping them with Gravity Binds, you're stopping them with um, Level Limit Area B, Nightmare Wheels. There's so many things that can stop attacks, and there's so many bigger guys that can invalidate their whole existence. So, it's like, it's like what can you do? It's like, what can you do, man? Gravity says, Go Control needs to step up. Ah, man, it might be too late. Maybe. I think Go Control is a great deck, too. As we're going to go ahead and kick out the tribe, we're going to go for Spellcaster here, finally removing the Chaos Sorcerer. Now you got three cards in hand, a long way to go. It's got a big, a big hill to climb with this damn tribe infected virus. Let's see if we get another card, and we will. We're going to kick out the Mystic Tomato, and we'll pop the machines. And let's see if we'll launch an attack in with the tribal one. And the tribe will try to get in onto this Dragon S, the Wicked Knight. That thing has been sitting here for 40 turns as well. This thing has been up here for a really long time. This damn Dragon S has been rocking with the program for a long time, man. We're talking multiple turns. This thing I made like turn two. And this has been rocking and rolling in the free world. And now we'll continue to live as... Freaking Mirror Force will go ahead and remove the tribe infecting virus. Dang. And just like that, make sure you guys go ahead and like the stream. Like the stream, man. Like the stream. Get with the program. As we're going to go for a premature burial. Is there a Kaiku to Ghost Destroyer in there? There most definitely is not. 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 We'll bring back the tribal one and just hope for better days. Snatch Deal is game over. 
Uh, you are a lot of cards left in the deck, and that is going to be that, as Ring of Destruction is also going to be a card that is played, and that will absolutely end this duel, as Ivan is going to move on playing Metamorphosis in the deck. 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 Huge shout-out to Crash Vault, though, for making it so deep. You've already made it, I believe, to the top eight. Let's see if we can see what the top eight is looking like so far, if we've gotten it close. As Dueling High, we got Mr. Big Noodle has made it. Ivan Rosito, uh, Dueling High, Alvarado, a lot of names you've come to know and love. Nate Dog, back at it again, not giving up. We have, let's go to the top 16 and see who else we got trying to get in there. We have Goat Trinity and Shogun are trying to, trying to duel to get their way into the top eight. Crash Volt, I believe, is one game away to make it into the top eight, but you got to go through Gravity, who's trying to get in there. Rabbit and Grumple are locked and engaged to go into Vida Canonly. Damn, I messed it up again. Vida Only. I messed it up three times. You know the vibes. We need to see more of the noodle. The more of the noodle, you want noodle, you got noodle. As noodle has going to have his hands foodle, me messing around with Ivan Rosito right here. This might be a terrible matchup for the noodle. Not going to lie. Ivan is a phenomenal player, as you know. But now he's got the damn, he finally, he fine. Noodle's got to be like, you got to be kidding me, dude. Finally, I make it this far. And I'm, I got this deck that is just ready to play turbo, ready to go after some turbo. I got all the turbo hate I can think about. And I get Ivan Rosito right where I want him. <laughs> and this guy's got scapegoat meta on me, dude. What are the chances? What are the chances? What are the chances? The noodle has to be saying. Oh. All right, what are the <laughs> what are the chances? As uh, s let's see what we got here. It says, do, 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 do. are the relinquished players using interdimensional matter transporter in this tourney? I don't think they're brave enough. I think there there's a lot of cowardice, spicy boy. People don't want to have the spicy text. People don't want them spicy text. People don't want them spicy text as. I think if you, I think we're hooked up to Nightbot game time. Try to hit the, the command um, exclamation show and it should work. I think if Thrust hooked us up, I think Thrust, shout out to Thrust. Thrust has been the, 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 the newest addition to the staff team coming in clean, helping out a lot. I think you got the Nightbot hooked up. So if you just go to, I think make, make the command uh, exclamation point and show it should, it should uh, bracket. Oh, there it is. There it is. Bracket. It's bracket, not show. I'm stupid. There it is. Thank you. Thank you, Thrust. Sorry, sorry for harassing you, dude. Sorry. Get back to get back to your go format dueling life, dude. I'm I'm so I'm so sorry. All right, but we're up. We're up. We're waiting on uh we're waiting on Ivan. Ivan's probably just doing a quick little decompression. Everyone is putting their replays in. We haven't had any issues so far from the duelists showing their replays, but we have had issues of duelists losing and just leaving. So that's going to be something that we need to address in the future. But I'm going to pull this up on the screen because I just want to check out this. Is that the Patrick Hoban? Is that the same? The one? What is that? Battles of Legends? What is going on here? Is this a is this a replay side station? What is what is this? What am I looking at? Somebody fill me in, dude. Somebody fill me in. Can I even show this? Next feature match starting soon. Okay, okay, never mind. Get this out of here, dude. I don't know what this is. What is this? What am I looking at? Get this out of here, Konami. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Aaron M. and Patrick H. Cashed here a snake eye. I'm trying to see who's gonna who's gonna get the dub. Even though I don't play current at all, I like to follow. I like to follow the scene, man. I like to stay abreast to the latest Yu-Gi-Oh news. So that when I when I watch all these other Yu-Gi-Oh related content i don't feel like i like i'm just coming in the, coming in the dark you know i don't know like i'm just in the dark i don't know what the hell is going on but they got like a, i don't know what this is that they're just they're, they're they're just big city dueling over there so we're holding on we're waiting we're gonna see ivan versus mr big noodle this is round number uh doo -doo -doo. this is the winner's semifinals right here 
There's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, still round of five. Okay, round number five. Boom, bam. And then we should be good to go. All right, all right, all right, all right. Make sure you guys are liking the stream though. If you haven't done that, if you haven't liked the stream, okay, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and get in. It costs you nothing. And we're on our way, on our way to 10K. Maybe we'll get there someday. I don't know when, I don't know how again, but at some point we will be at 10,000 go format dueling subscribers. And hopefully all of you are in the numbers counted. So we can just, uh, I don't know, 10,000 just looks, it looks good. 10,000 looks good. And at that point we could just be at 10,000 and then that could just be the finish line, you know, or maybe we we'll just keep going up. We'll, we'll just keep, we'll just keep it going up. We'll just keep it on the up and up as Ivan goes first plays upstart. Speaking of up and up, upstart goblin is going to be up and active. Upstart, upstart goblin is going to be upstart and active. As we'll think here, Ivan's holding six. Uh, da -da -da. There are some people in Japan hosting a GoFormat tournament next week. What is the um? What is what is the situation? What is the? Was it the are they just doing it for fun? Let me let me know. I'll check it out. I want to watch it. Is it actual goats or is it like OCG goats? Because I know Japan gives it up in a major way. That's pretty sick. That's pretty sick. Morp, yo, what's up? Morp says I feel like JDZ has two modes: Hawaiian shirt JDZ and tuxedo JDZ. That's very accurate. I also have uh, I also have like a, uh, I call it um, out outdoorsman JDZ. Which is my least favorite JDZ. That's where I'm. That's what I'm mostly going to be in. You know, I have like a jacket or some type of flannel or some type of sweater and some boots and some jeans. And when I'm outside, I'm probably wearing that most of the year. Rain jacket. That's that's my normal JDZ. But I like Hawaiian shirt. Hawaiian shirt energy. This is my Sunday energy most of the time. It's Sunday, I'm probably going to be rocking some Hawaiian. If it's a major tournament, I'm definitely going to be wearing a suit and tie. Count on it. <laughs> count on it if it's um yeah that's that's, gotta, that's how it goes that's how it goes as we're going to go ahead and hit the no one across on gk spy is always huge and then we're going to hit the trap does shoot as well um to send back the sangan and now the pyramid turtle the can is meta meta sork bls and delinquent duo is going to come on down and take two more cards from the big noodle so if you can just really hit the damn gas pedal right here and right now you could probably push, 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 and do some damage in the meantime, in between time. But Noodle is thinking here, if it's worth um, maybe engaging with this delinquent duo, it looks like. But Noodle is also playing three copies of Fear from the Dark, dude. Let's not be, or not maybe not three, but definitely some. <laughs> definitely, definitely more than one. <laughs> more, more than one. So you could be walking, this duo could be walking into a serious predicament as we're thinking about it here. And then we'll dust tornado target the delinquent duo. Yes, you can. And we'll set one and then delinquent duo will lose. So you will still go two for two and you will lose your Zaborg, but you will be able to set whatever that car was. Good heads up play by Mr. Big Noodle. And you understand Ivan's hand is in a typical chaos control variety, bricked and unplayable, which is why nobody plays the deck. I, I understand why people don't like to play this deck. I get it, and I do appreciate that Ivan is taking the time to play this deck and actually still having some success, you know, out here, especially in this PWCQ field. It gets very aggressive, and having Ghost Meta can kind of get you out of a lot of a lot of situations. But that bad boy will jam up on you fast and in a in a heavy way. As you're going to go ahead and set a couple cards on the field, give Noodle something to think about as you're staring down. What could be the end of the duel? Main phase one. Thinking here. It's a small community of them. 16 people so far is sick. Uh, it's a 20 person tournament. That's badass. I, I don't look people. I, I, I wish I wish, especially in a go for my community. I maybe it's me. It's not a, not even, not even a pet peeve. It's just something I wish we would um, graduate from. Like the, like the idea we do that so much. 
and not even just in ghosts, but just in life, people in general. But it's really, really big problem in the gopher man community is like we're always quick to just minimize something. Like, oh, it's only, oh, it's, it's only ten people. Who cares? You know, uh, I hate that ideology, man. We gotta figure out a way to just like to champion, even if it's. I don't care if you have a local scene and it's nine people. And so, cause somebody would do that all the time. They'll like post their locals. They have a locals deck list of like, Hey man, I got first place, first place locals. And they have their deck up there and it might be some wild spice. No big deal. And they'll be like first place. And it'll be like nine people. And I'm like, Oh, nine people. Oh, that's just a nine person local. Who cares? I hate that idea, man. I think, I think just let like, if, if anyone is playing, if it's more than five people playing, six people playing, it doesn't matter. I think we should just champion that and just be like, oh, man, cool. You guys are out there playing. Goats, IRL, you're outside. People in Japan, you got a 16-person tournament in Japan, people playing goats, IRL, outside, together, community, playing. Who cares how many people that are there? Oh, man, GFC, you guys only had 150 people, 145 people. That's crazy. Look how low the numbers are. I mean, that's how many, I don't, that's how many people played, and it was great. It was a good time. It was a good vibe, man. It was a good experience. You know, it's not, I, I don't think it's all the way it should be about how many or how long, how much, as long as the energy is good and the people are, or the people are having fun. I think that should be, uh, that should be what it is. I skipped PWCQ for a local go today. It was four of us and I bet it was some fun. I bet it was fun as hell. I love going to locals, man. I wish I had one. I wish I did. I wish I had one. I really did. We had, we had a locals, like I said before, uh, Bluetooth, myself and there was a couple other people other, other people from the discord they were in there i can't remember all their names off the top of my head but i'm just i'm t- my memory is shit but um yeah we go there man and we just vibe dude it was so much fun it was so much fun dude and we just have a good time talk crap play some goats have, have just have a blast um where in tacoma can you play go there's really not a not a spot if you are in tacoma if you're willing to come here i'll come and meet you somewhere we can go to uh we can go to there's a place there's a place i know where the people go this place called uh uh what's the name of that damn store dude oh my goodness i can't believe it there, there's a car shop that is here but they only they close like they close hard they hard close at 6 p.m which as you know everyone has a goat format dueling job that usually ends at like 5 p.m so your job is over. You show up to the place and they're closing. Like they don't, and they don't, they don't extend the damn time, long, the timeline, dude. So that sucks, man. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. But team OD Ant round Robin top two play for a prize. We're put- <laughs> that's, a, that's a, that's a, that's a tough one, man. That's a tough, I'm not going at and it's too hot right now, man. I'm not going at Ant for no money, dude. You guys are crazy. I'm not doing it. You guys can do it. Clearly, he knows what the hell is going on about these damn games, dude. About this game, about this format, and this game, and these cards. He knows something that a lot of people don't know. Clearly. And going at him for, for some money just might not seem like a, a, a worthwhile investment, dude. So, if that's what you want to do, it's your money. I would recommend, as your as your attorney, as your financial advisor, I would, I would strongly recommend... Not to do that. And in fact, you should do something different. As Mr. Big Noodle comes out, gets a dub there, Ivan basically draws completely unplayable. Just completely just could not put the cards. Like literally, literally could not play the game and just goes down there. But these things do happen. As you're going to go ahead and kick the Graceful Charity, we're throwing out Fame Mega Cyber and we're throwing out Zaborg the Thunder Monarch, dude. Light and Dark set up in the coolest possible way. I can think of as two tribute monsters are in the graveyard and Ninja Grandmaster Sasuke is on the approach. <laughs> oh, oh, about how little, oh, oh, it's a double. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Disclaimer. JDZ is neither your attorney nor your financial advisor and his advice should be treated as such. Okay. Nate dog is actual attorney. Okay. But as your spiritual, <laughs> Thanks, Nate Dog. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. Can I honestly, can I um can I get in trouble for that? Can I get in trouble for that? Like if I just say if I say that and someone like actually takes that advice, can I get in trouble for 
Let me know. Keep it real, cause I'm not trying to go to jail for nobody, Nate Dog. You know me, man. That's my biggest. That's one of my biggest no goes. Going to prison, ain't gonna do it. So if I'm already risking jail time, let me know that too. As we got trapped, us shoot. Theoretically, it could be unlicensed legal or financial advice, but realistically, no. Okay, okay. Please don't take my advice. But I got I got some good advice. So some of it's good. Take some of it. Leave some of it too, though. Write all that down. <laughs> take most of it. Leave a portion of it as well. Come on over. As we got the GK spies are established in defense position. And Ivan gets to the graceful charity. So hands looking a little bit more playable now. And, but now you have to get this Ninja Grand Master off soon or your wall of spies is going to fall down soon. Fall down. Perfect Shedinja is in the chat says, sorry, just catching up on the stream. But how does a car show that is close, closest uh, car shop that closes at 6 p.m. stay in business? Aren't most of the customers working to 4 to 6 p.m.? Because the car portion of it, the trading car portion of it is like a very small portion of the shop. The main portion of it is like they do uh, memorabilia, and they do, um, they do, they do, they do memorabilia, and they do like trading card, uh, like sports cards. It's a sports sports. It's called Tacoma Sports. It's a sports card store, which is the priority number one. On the side quest, they got like the Magic Gathering stuff. They got Pokemon stuff, and they have like some Yu Gi Oh. But Yu Gi Oh is like the the side quest of the side quest. So that's how. And they do like Saturdays and Sundays. They'll have like their magic tournaments and they'll have like main uh, current current Yu-Gi-Oh tournaments they'll do in there. So maybe I can go there one Saturday and just be like, look, dude, all y'all have been commandeered into the GOAT world, dude. Sign this, sign this decree. You're now GOAT format players. But I don't, but I don't like to play GOATs. Well, you do now. Put the near Beerus up. <laughs> Put the evenly matches up. <laughs> That's done. <laughs> Take this pot of greed, pal. What's this then? I don't play this card. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, you're done. <laughs> put, put the triple tactics thrust up. Okay. Here's the injection fair lily, pal. Put the, put the, put the ash blossom away, bud. <laughs> you're a go format duelist now. But I don't know how to play. You, you do now. I'm, gonna, I'm going to teach you. Watch these videos. Subscribe to this channel. And then, and that's it. Maybe I can do that one day. That's a good way to start a goat. There, wait. What are the Seattle goat local? We don't really have. Um, they they play at um, like I know I play at the regionals. They do the regionals like, like once a month basically. And I try to go to I try to go to those as much as I can. And that's how I get my kind of little locals in. Uh, they play locals. They have some retro at Card Exchange, but it kind of varies. I think it's like once. Once a like once every six weeks or something they'll do a, a and they they stop doing ghosts they they do mostly Edison now because that's what people want and the goat players stop showing up so card exchange in in Seattle and the regionals in Seattle and I want to get something going hopefully the plan is after Goat Grand Prix Seattle um and already we already have like fifty people or forty people signed up for that if you guys want to sign up sign up to our open for Goat Grand Prix Seattle uh, if you want to come out and play. Hopefully that can be like a launching point for Seattle goats or, or Northeast or Northwest goats. And we can find places to play as fear from the dark is going to be finding himself to the field in attack position. And we're going into the set and it is that slippery sinister serpente fear from the dark in attack mode. What the theory is behind this fear from the dark. I'm interested to see. I want to hear what noodles got to say about this. Maybe it's like rip fear from the dark and then special summon or normal summon Zaborg, I guess. I don't know. It could be the vibes. I don't know. I live down the street from card exchange. Yeah, they play. They play. I, I used to go to card exchange all the time. It's about a good, uh, it's about a good 45 minutes for me. And I would go up there. Like I would get off work on a Friday and we would do goats Friday night goats at card exchange. And I drive up there. And play goats until like ten o'clock, eleven o'clock sometimes, and then come home. But they just stopped. They just stopped doing it, and it became like kind of their 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 scheduling thing. It doesn't because it's not it's not like a every Tuesday we're gonna do it. No, it's like you do it one Tuesday, wait f four and a half weeks, and then they do another Saturday or Sunday or something like that, and then wait another 
two two weeks, and now you got it on Thursday. So it just kept changing. It was so sporadic. So I couldn't really lock in like a, a scheduled time to go. So I uh, I did I, I I stopped. But I would like to go back up to Card Exchange. It's a cool little shop. It's a cool little shop. I wonder if you can't find a shop to host, you might be able to grab a room in a local library for a couple hours or just go to dude or take it old school. Perfect Shedinja. I have no shame in my game. Like I, I used to have shame in my game about my Yu-Gi-Oh addiction, but I have no shame in my game and I will literally go to the freaking mall and sit in the food court and duel. I don't care. <laughs> I, I really don't care. I, I was, I will sit out there. As Mr. Big Noodle says, never playing Saku over Bottomless ever again. Was that a rare and indigenous better Saku? Better Bottomless? But still, I mean, Breaker had to pop it. I guess Bottomless would have went crazy right there, huh? Never playing Saku over Bottomless again. That's because you're already married. Yeah. yeah, I guess. I guess, I guess, I guess. I guess. Us single guys can't be out here dueling. Nate Dog, I have... I have cinematographer. I have cinematographer. I have, was it, was it, what, what, what type of evidence is it when I have a, an actual photograph of you in person dueling in public? I have this it exists in my, I have a picture and video, I think, and a picture of a video. I have a picture. I have a video. I have a, I have a, I have a video. I have a picture and I have a picture of the video being taken of you dueling in public oh yeah bowling goats exist okay that happened in the real world as ivan is going to kind of run away with this thing as you're going to tribute up for a thunder dragon bls and we're going to be going into a game three scenario <laughs> i was embarrassed when they asked us about it tooth had no shame that does get a little embarrassing sometimes but at this point in my life I don't, I don't get embarrassed. I told that story in war league one time when, uh, when I was dueling in public and I stopped dueling in public for years for that same reason, just because it, it was embarrassing. And I had a lot of shame about it. And I remember we were uh, coming back from a locals and I'm from Atlanta. Okay. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. And we were coming back from a locals and we were on the train. I was on the, I was, I was coming, you know, on the train and I was like, man, let's duel. Let's play. We got a long ride. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of empty. We got these seats. Let's just play to, to pass the time. So I'm on there. We're dueling, getting our getting our game on, and these guys come on. You know, you know the guys. You know the the guys, the guys who are just, you know, I'm not the, I'm not the cool guy. Okay, these are the cool guys. The cool guys are coming on, and they look over and they they see the seats, and it was it wasn't it was an empty train, so it was plenty of seats, so they could have sat anywhere, but they kind of come over where we were, and they see, and one one of the guys was like, hey man. Like loud, and it was so embarrassing. Like I, I couldn't get the cards up fast enough. And one of the guys was like, "Hey, what the hell are they doing over there?" Like that, talking about us. And I'm like, "Oh, dude, it's over, dude. I'm done. I'm finished, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm cooked. Like this thing is finished. Like these guys are on us. They see us. They're gonna be nerding out, dude. They're gonna, they're gonna beat us up probably and take all our cards. And it's gonna be a mess, dude. Like, I'm preparing to fight, dude. And I'm like, here we go. These guys come over and they see us. They got our, got our cards out. We got a freaking Duke, Yu-Gi-Oh cards everywhere." I'm like, hey man, it's kind of like a, it's like a, it's like a train card thing. And like, oh, is that kind of like Pokemon? I'm like, yeah, it's kind of like Pokemon. Oh, all right, cool, cool, right on. They were chill, and they just kind of like looked at it and like, oh, you know, and they just left. But just that moment of the sheer embarrassment that I felt from that experience, I was like, I'm not, I'm never dueling in public yet. I will never pull these cards out in a place that's not a dueling arena ever again because that could have just went left. So. <laughs> The best ending is they pull out their deck and they want a game next. <laughs> yeah, that would be so sick. They're like, oh, really? You got, got Yu-Gi-Oh? Let's play. And they pull out some cards. I'm like, bro, that would have been so sick. That was that was very unlikely that that would happen. That reminds me of me making fun of people playing Yu-Gi-Oh at school. And I was like second in the state at the time. <laughs> oh, so you were faking the funk dueling high. You're fake, you're, you're fake flexing over there. You're dueling all the while making fun of people for dueling in public. See, that's that's bad energy, dude. You can't be out here faking the funk, dueling in public, not dueling in public, and then making fun of people for dueling in public. That was it. Now, nah, dueling in school, I dueled in school. I didn't care. 
Well, yeah, we had like a, it was a whole coalition of, of duelists. You know what I'm saying? We were out here with it. And I didn't, that was, that was fine. I was totally fine with dueling in school. Cause you know, what am I doing? What am I going to do? But I'm dueling in public. is a different, like in school, you still had your, like your own little section off. God, him, God, I'm big time. Fear from the dark pain. <laughs> get, get. <laughs> oh man, dude, you've been, <laughs> I'm glad I got to see that. I'm glad I got to see that. I'm glad we're in this timeline. I'm glad we're in this timeline where Fear from the Dark just got ripped with the delinquent duo and it worked. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. How old are you? How old am I? Lambros, Georgia Canopolis. I am between the ages of 40 and 25, dude. One of those. Between the ages of 40 and 25, dude. That's my go for my dueling age. But, oh, man. I'm all for dueling out in public places. But one thing I can't stand and get embarrassed is when we finish locals and decide to go eat somewhere like Applebee's and they start dueling. Okay. <laughs> Dude, you got to rock with it, man. You got to rock with it. You got to rock with it. I, I try I try not to. I try not to. I, I try not to. But most of the time, like in the mall, if if someone, oh my goodness, dude, Flip Stein is crazy talk. Oh man, I never saw it coming. Hold up, hold up. This could be game if you can put another normal summon down. Holy GGs, man, Duo on Fear from the Dark was a game breaker, dude. Game warper, and he had the Mirror Force there too. Wow, damn, Noodle's going crazy. Noodle's going crazy, dude. Holy, holy moly. But now Noodle's got the freaking final boss, dude. Alvarado should just fucking scoop, dude, and let this man win, bro. Just let him, let him pass the gate, dude. Let him, let him slide by, dude. Give him a fucking break, dude. Let him in. <laughs> he deserves to be in. He deserves to be in, but you gotta, you gotta meet, beat the final boss now, dude. You got to beat the final boss. You got to beat the final boss, dude. And he's out here cooking crazy, dude. Wow. Oh, wow. The noodle is loose as we're in the winner's finals. As we are in the winner's finals with the noodle, the noodle's going crazy. Dang. Cool, man. Cool tournament. Noodle out here with it. <laughs> the, the gatekeeper the gatekeeper no but um like like you said i try i try not to i try not to get embarrassed but you might be right like because i remember even when we went to philly i went to i went to uh, ggp philly a while back and we were out after the tournament was over we all like went out to the bar together and we we're just kicking it and i wanted to get like one of my big things is to get my book filled up with like players that i meet in discord and players that play in the online community i, I want to get their signatures so we're at the bar and i had my my cars with me and I was like, let me just go and get these signatures. Let's go and get these signatures. And I was out there, like rifling through all these cars, and like some bar, you know, like bar people were out there, like drunk in the parking lot, and they're coming up to us and they see all these freaking Yu-Gi-Oh cards. And like, same thing. Like, oh, what is this? They're just curious. Most times it's curious, but most times, usually the inner nerd within me is like, oh man, these guys are gonna try to harass me. They're gonna try to make fun of me, they're gonna try to make me feel bad for having a hobby that they don't understand fully. And it's just like, I don't know. That's just one of those things, man. So I'm, I'm kind of self-conscious about it still, but I'm working on it. But if someone comes up, if someone's like, hey, I'm in Tacoma and I want a duel. Are you in Tacoma? I'll go to the freaking mall and I will sit down and I will pull my cards out and I will play and I won't care because I'm trying to play. I'm trying to duel. And I'll ask anybody about it now because I'm way more, way more confident than I used to be. Oh, no. All right, all right, all right. So... We have 44 versus Noodle is must see TV and Noodle is playing like when Noodle plays standard, I don't like it. Okay. When Noodle, when Noodle is playing like regular decks, I don't think he performs as well. I really don't. I think he's a great player. I think he's obviously a world talented world level player because he's gone to the go from world championship before. So he's obviously he's a talented player, but if Noodle is out there playing a standard chaos turbo deck, it doesn't it doesn't work out for me or for him 
But when Noodle is in his bag, when Noodle is playing Water Return, when Noodle is playing Zombie Fear from the Dark, the deck, when Noodle is out here playing triple bottomless trap hole Zing technology, I mean, come on. What more could you ask for? And he works out as Mr. Big Noodle goes down in RPS again. Can't freaking win a rock, paper, scissors, though. That's a skill. That's a skill that you just don't seem to have as Noodle will be going second against the mystical space typhoon that is Anthony Alvarado, dude. As Double Up is going to start this duel off. Mm -mm 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 -mm. As Chris says, I was living a full-blown double life in high school. I was a three-sport athlete, really popular kid through my week, but secretly I was first in my state in Yu-Gi-Oh, running off on the weekends to play. Dad, you hear that story. You hear that story a lot. You hear that story a lot. And I, I, I'll honestly, looking back on it now, because they were like cool kids. I was not. I mean, I, 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 I moved a lot, whatever. I had friends or whatever, but I wasn't like, I wasn't him. I was super poor. I was My clothes were super jacked up. And I don't think I took care of myself as well as I do now. So my self-esteem was kind of bad, but I, I definitely wasn't po popular by any stretch of the imagination. But my brother, though, I had a brother. I had my brother, my older brother. He was like one of the most popular people like in the history of anywhere. Like everywhere he go went, he knew people, had friends all over the place. He had everything. And I was like, I don't know how we were of the same thing, but I'm like dueling. And it was just a vibe, man. It was energy. I remember I found my high school girlfriend found out I played Yu-Gi-Oh and I didn't want to talk to her for a week. I was so embarrassed. Turns out she didn't care at all. And was super supportive. There you go, man. There you go. I don't know, man. It's a uh, it's a it's a weird thing. And I think it, honestly it just comes down to just high school stuff, man. And high school just being a being a young man or young person. I don't know what, what anyone's. Uh, I'm not trying to talk about anyone's anyone's experience, or whatever. But just from my experience as a as a as a man, I just know how how stuff was, and it was just different. It was just different. As we kick out the pyramid turtle, and we kick out the rotus, so we got warrior synergies in there too. And then you got the re the nobleman of cross out hits the koichi. Let's see if you, you kick the rota and you kick the turtle. So let's see if you got a some pressure to follow up, man. Let's see if you got some pressure. That Don, I don't know if you got Don a dick, but Rota for Don would knock on open open game board seems sensational. Let's see it. As you're holding five now, Mr. Big Noodle, Pyramid Turtle is also going to be in the graveyard. As we bring forth the Breaker, the Magical Warrior, just full counter Breaker, and we're just trying to push the push the agenda and punch for 19. Breaker with counter has to get snatched stolen. Those are the rules of the land. As Alvarado is going to bypass the standby phase enter to the first main phase let's see if this breaker can survive with this counter as card destruction is going to just be played immediately we're ripping let's see if the noodle thinks maybe it puts more fear from the darks out here maybe maybe double maybe double fear comes down as we get thumbs up and we'll just lose uh the tribe and the exile force logar Says they're trying to eat some food and Logar, Lo, Logar. I keep saying Logar. Lodger, Logan. I gotta get the. I gotta get the the final verdict verdict of the Logar Logger situation. Okay, okay. You ready? You ready? Let's duel. Okay. All right, all right, all right. So we're gonna get Log. The Log is gonna come in. Loganite, the absolute Logan. And we're gonna see what he got to say. We gotta see. We gonna see what this duelist got to say. See if they're spitting. See if they're spitting. Uh, do 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 do. Do 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 do. At Lodger, Lodger. I say Logger. It's corrected me multiple times. Okay, but I'm still gonna keep saying it because that's the way it's spelled. And I'm rude. All right, let's get this thing up. Add. Cool. Boom. And then we're going to go here. All right. Cool, 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 cool. And with that, oh, I got the thing on screen still. And with that, I got logger. 
Loger. Give me give me the breakdown one more time. Loger. Loger. So I'm way wrong. Yeah. I'm I'm wrong both ways. Oh yeah, you <laughs> completely wrong both ways. Um, <laughs> Damn it. Like think, so my first name, if anyone doesn't know, is Logan. Okay. You just think about it like that. You call me the log. Log. I see some people that will call me that. Okay. Okay. So either of those are good. Logar is also cool. It's kind of a, a nice little pet name, I guess. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Hell yeah! Okay. Okay. Log Loger. Yeah. Logan, stand up for all the Loganites out there. Make sure you guys make some noise. Oh, good night. Nice. <laughs> make sure you guys make yep. some noise. All right, all right, all right. So just just your tuning. I know you've been at um at YCS in North Carolina. How is that going so far? What's the vibe over there? What's the energy like? How is it? What are the vibes? Give me I the mean, whole rundown real quick. It's fantastic. I mean, that was actually my first YCS um ever. I remember when I was like eight years old or something around there, like right with my mom through like Raleigh or something. I was like, oh, there's like a a Yu Gi Oh tournament. This was like when you're like just, I was just collecting cards like that sort of vibe mm-hmm. and i saw that and i was like oh that'd be so cool to go to and i was like oh dang i don't have a deck that i can build and then fast forward like what like over a decade later ycs raleigh comes up and i'm like oh crap i don't play advanced but they got edison they got goat they mm-hmm. got all these retro formats that i've been developing over the couple years and go to it and it's so much fun it's just a convention full of people rocking what they what they love that's dope go up man to someone just just a random person is like, oh, they're doing goat format. It's like, oh, dude, let's let's play some uh, some friendlies. Did you play in any I, other, any other side events too? Yeah, I played in a an eight man pod. Sick, and, man. Um, I was able to win one of the super nimble mega hamster mats. Oh, so that's dope, man. That's that's my favorite card. Um, Look at that. Fact. Look, that at was that was the card I think from Absolute Power. For, no, is it whatever set hamster came out of? That was like the first card that got me really in, back into Edison and. That's like my, I guess my, the spirit monster sort of stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nice, man. Well, so it was a lot of fun. Met some cool people. Met, um, yeah. And that, that's dope. I'm, I'm glad, you, I'm glad you did, man. I'm glad you went out there and um, I'm glad it was dope. I went to a YCS too. And it's like you said, I recommend, I know I, I sit in this booth, man. And I sit on this microphone. And I talk shit about Konami all day, most yeah. times. Yeah. But I still recommend like if a YCS comes near you, hey, yo. And uh, you have the ability to go to one. It doesn't like cost you a significant financial strain. I would fully recommend going to a YCS and having fun. It's a blast, man. It's a good time. And just being around uh, like-minded individuals, like the Loganite oh, has already absolutely. said, man. It's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, I guess now looking towards not just the Konami side, but also the, the grassroots that you and Goat from have been cultivating. Mm-hmm. We got the PWCQ57. We got Mr. Big Noodle on some crazy zombie earth ag not earth aggro like have you, have you been have you been watching Stein. i've been watching a little bit um, okay it's I, I just saw game three versus ivan i want to know like what just happened dude like he's he's it's crazy i don't i don't know i don't know how he did it but he's got like so like i said it's a warrior it's a warrior situation he's got rotas he's got warrior stuff but he also has a pretty pretty big zombie play in there He's got like a lot of zombies, pyramid turtles. He's got fear from the darks in there, fear like multiple fear from the darks, and he also has a monarch element to it as well, because he's got Zaborgs in there, and he also has the uh, the uh, make fiend mega cyber. So he's got a lot of a lot of things happening this way. I don't know what the hell is Wait. going on. Fiend mega cyber, really? The fiend the fiend mega cyber is in the deck, as we're going to hit a huge heavy storm, blow up the mirror force. And Book of Life, we're bringing it back, so we're pushing for some serious pressure. Oof. This could be game. You need spy, you need spy, or you may die. I mean, if we look in Alvarado's graveyard, it's it's got to be spy if, if he doesn't have it all there already. Yeah, you spy or die. And we've seen GK Spy do some great things in this in this game. You know, obviously he can sit here and stall you out and definitely draw, draw a billion cards. So if this is spy, Alvarado still could be in a very good position to come back. But if not, it's going to be over, and it is, of course. GK Spy is mm-hmm. going to be able to stall indefinitely. So As, Michael's asking why he wouldn't play Regenerating Mummy over uh, Fear from the Dark. Uh, I'm we, guessing. We, oh, sorry. Plus go ahead. one on the field. Get in the plus one on the field, maybe just getting it special summoned. And we we're, were we were talking about that earlier too, like specula- speculative, specu- speculative, speculative, speculative. I can't even talk. <laughs> We were speculating on why he would do that, and I think it just might be swag, dude. I think it might just be swag, honestly. Oh, 
Just just for vibes. Hey, how many how, people have played Regenerating Mummy, but no one plays Fear from the Dark? There you go. I don't think I, Fear from the Dark has ever been in a topping list ever. I don't think so either. And now Maybe it is. Fear from the Dark. That's like something else. Thinking about. I was like, where's the beef? With <laughs> <laughs> Fear from the Dark over Despair from the Dark is, I guess, like. If I were Mr. Big Noodle, if I was thinking he's in the deck builder, mm-hmm. maybe he wants a normal summon. Maybe if, if he draws it, he doesn't want it to be like just the brick. Yeah. Like he wants to be able to take the proactive approach and attack over, say, a, um, an attack mode spy, a 1600 trap infecting virus, a 1600 breaker, stuff like that. Because 1700 is a good break point mm-hmm. for a normal summon in this, in this format. 100%. So maybe that's his idea. That could, that, could, that could be what it is, but we'll have to ask him. We'll have to ask the Noodle. We'll have to ask, as he said, it's so close, trying to get through these GK spies. He got walled up, and now it looks like Alvarado is trying to set the graveyard up, maybe, to go for a chaos play. You do have two of those mons already uh, already tucked into either out-of-play zone or graveyard. So if you can manage to finesse this last chaos mon, you could put yourself in a pretty decent position, as we're still mm-hmm. thinking here, as GK, GK spy is poised for an attack. But I wonder... What Alvarado is going to do with that Gravekeeper Spy? Is he going to attack into something to get a dark into the graveyard? Maybe for Chaos play? Oh, he's going to attack into Turtle. Wow. So let's see. Does Noodle play anything else bigger than Spear for the Dark for the Turtle payoff? Or is he just going to get another one? We could go Turtle number two. And then, but main phase two, go into a, uh, main phase two into a uh, Chaos Mon, obviously is going to be going to be hard to hard to deal with as we just bring out parent turtle number two in defense position and then there he is main phase two chaos sorcerer and just like that your whole position has been invalidated again by a pesky chaos sorcerer now um but you do know that defense position is very important because you do know that the damn ninja grand master does exist in his deck too so he does have a huge amount of tri- live draws off the top another rota um Zaborg goes yeah really hard here which yeah. they're both of those monsters leaving with Alvarado on the top deck and possibly clean it up oh, actually no you couldn't yeah if he if he, he goes if he goes the Borg here the Borg is very strong any or yeah, a fucking fiend mega cyber any tribute oh wait because you have to tribute one of the monsters so yeah you're just a little bit shy you'd leave him on top deck He's or thinking Snatch deal too. He's got a ton of ton of live cards in his twenty five. In his twenty five, let's see if you can get to any of them. Third trap does shoot. Feels horrible. Dang. Necessary evil though. Yeah. I thought about it before, and I think like trap does shoot at three versus trap does shoot at zero, just in like a vacuum. That's the only card that gets banned in goat format. I think it helps Turbo more than it helps the other decks. Dang. As we're going to continue with the Chaos Sorcerer banishments, we're going to lose one. It's a breaker with counter, now out of play. Mm-hmm. Now, are we going to do anything else? Or we're just going to, I guess we're just going to be content banishing these monsters. We've got two 2K defenders, Yugi Kaiba format. <laughs> what can you do, That's though, the man? Basics. It's kind of hard. Um, it's tough. It's a tough spot. Feels bad. And we're just going to pass there. So Noodle's still down, but not out. Zaborg off the top. Feels great. Do you have it? As you shuffle here, Snatch Deal. Great. You got a lot of good cards. Not like this. It's your, do you have Chaos? It's not live if you did. In any way. You're just kind of uh, holding, holding he, out. I don't think you'd play it. I don't think you'd play uh, Chaos in the deck. Yeah, it's just there too are, much. There are a few cards that are kind of a bit bricky, I'd, I'd say. But... And you're just you're not playing the lights. You don't have enough light targets. Oh maybe shit! A, maybe a this is it, dude. Wow, this Ooh. is the one, dude. You can pay twice. That's huge. You get twice. <laughs> That's wild. That's insane. Do it for the flex. Oh man. Please, noodle. Oh man. You got one Gatling. You got to pay twice. Some upstarts. Oh man. Yeah. Let's see what you can get. You get one heads, two heads. I mean. Two tail, and you just lose them both, huh? And yeah, and you're just gonna attack, creep, and that's crazy. Going into grand finals. <laughs> oh, not okay. This is game one. Okay, that's game I one. Th- I thought he cooked him game one. Okay, that's that's okay. no, that's game that's game All one right. of a winner's final. We're in a winner's final, so you have to knock Alvarado down into Dogtown, and then you gotta potentially. 
beat him again, which is rough ride. But man, oh man, Cyberstein going crazy with those upstarts. Dang, oh dang. Wow, what a freaking game. What a match. What a deck. It's got it all in there. I mean, last time we saw something other than Chaos Turbo take first place was like, what, don't cop don't copy with like the spice? Like yeah. the serious spice. It was it was, yeah, it was one of those cards. It was it was don't Did they have Cyberstein? That was don't copy. He was playing a Mataza. Mataza Mataza, Mataza deck. Right. We also had um we also had Jace. Jace had some success. He was playing Rituals, the Ritual Burn deck. And then you had mm-hmm. uh, Nano, who was playing the Wicked Worm Beast deck. So with the trios, stuff like that. Yeah, he had a, he had like Wicked Worm Beast and like Rescue Cat, and it was like a oh, right. it was like a mm-hmm. weird burn kind of hit deck. It was sick. It was sick, man. It was sick. Yeah. But that was sick too, as both duels coming out splashing pot of greeds all over the place, adding two for each. Oh. Yeah, one for you, one for me. Yeah, we'll take it. That's fair. One well, thing um, I really liked about the Nano's list, one of them was um, his Ojama Trio list with that one. I think that was the Worm Beast. Mm-hmm. That, I think one of his theories that I thought was really cool to stop the stop Chaos Turbo was using a Trio after they flip Spy. And just lock them out? That's something you'll see in the burn matchup. Yeah, just lock them out of flipping. And that's a, a huge thing in the these matchups is can you stop Chaos Turbo from flipping their dang monsters? Or just, Whether that's... yeah. Dust you, Royal Command, like like I mean, like not even like packages. like not even um like not even burning them, just having them locked out of their monster zones. I think could be cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's pretty dope. As I, I've tried, oh, oh, sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say I've I've tried like Gravity Collapse, freaking Ojama Trio list. And that <laughs> yeah. list was complete dog water, but you you get that lockout and it just you it's win. So good. Yep. Exactly. It's sick. It's sick. It's sick. All right, we got so we got spies getting knocked, and Alvarado only pitches the two. So maybe he reduced some, or there could be some in hand. But typically, when you can get those spies out of play or out of the game early, it kind of favors the aggressive player a little bit. But now, Mister Big Noodle is thinking about it here. No spies from your end. Mm-hmm. You usually, you got five. So maybe you're thinking about just ramming a Stein right now and just seeing if you can see if you can get the go for the gusto. As uh, we'll just go beautiful head huntress in again. Try for sixteen clean. <laughs> <laughs> no effect. I like that. Yeah, just a sixteen hundred vanilla. Yeah, that's it. I, I looked up some cards that it could actually be because beautiful head huntress actually doesn't have a thousand defense, and there are some cards that have sixteen and a thousand. I couldn't. Uh, oh, really? I, can't, I can't remember. I can't remember what it was. I should save it. As we got graceful charity coming up as well from Alvarado's side. <laughs> I was just thinking about like a breaker with a token, just being like a what is it, a luster dragon? A luster dragon, or um, or a vorse raider, maybe. Freaking uh, ultimate. Check the defense on that. Ultimate. Oh, uh, no, uh, 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 insect knight. No, what's his what's his what's his stats? Breaker's got a thousand defense. What's Gemini Elf? Gemini Elf. Gemini Elf's got eighteen. Uh, eight. No, eight hundred. I think. I don't think they got a nineteen thousand. Uh, yeah, Gemini Elf's the closest one with nine hundred defense. <laughs> Are we still playing those upstart Rough. goblins? Trying not to. Trying not to get blasted by Cyberstein again. That was vicious, dude. That was a vicious Cyberstein. That was cool. It was. I mean, looking at Alvarado's banishments, I'm guessing we're thinking spy somewhere other than the deck or graveyard, right? Is there one in graveyard? Uh, we It could be one in hand. Oh, there's one in grave. I'm sorry. There's one in grave. I missed that. Okay. There's two. There's two. Uh, there's two banished. I just want to go ahead and break her, shoot the dust tornado, and then just for crash. The T- nice. Take your yeah, take your guarantee plus. Even though you would have been rewarded there if you had ran that stop sign, but it's really not worth it. Take your plus when you're given a plus, and don't play with yeah. fire, and trade yeah. your plus for a one for one. As favorite turtle is going to be on the approach, going in clean for twelve. Let's see if this connects, and yeah. it will not. We're going to RB this thing. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Are you uh, are you RB gang or wing blast gang? What's your uh, what's your uh, affiliation? <laughs> um, uh, I'm team Raigeki break all the way. Okay, okay. And we were, we were talking about it earlier too. I don't know if you caught that part, but I think uh, I'm uh, pretty sure the the wing blast gang is just in shambles, dude. They're down, they're down, dude. In goat anyway. I know I know you play a lot of Ed too, and wing blast gang is way up in Ed. Wing blast gang is way down. Really? Oh yeah. I'm still on Regeki Breaking for Edison format, but uh, really for Tengu Tengu format is when I think Wing Blast oh, stonks. Yeah, t- yeah, way t- up. Tengu uh, Tengu Regeki Break is just not even a thing, dude. 
no. no. Wing you got all these floaters, Tengu. Yeah. You got all that stuff. It's just uh... But Ed is, I think Ed is Wing Blast Gang because they got the uh, they got Stardust Dragon, dude. Stardust Dragon seems like he's mm-hmm. anti anti Wing Black Wing Wing Black Wing Blast. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta have him, dude. You gotta put that guy out of there. I don't know. I don't know. I like. I like it. I like it. All right. Cool. Yeah. I think Wing Blast can capitalize very hardly in certain scenarios, but with some of the decks in Go format, it's, it's like going to be a lot slower. Yeah. And the decks that are going to be aggressive probably aren't going to be discarding. So I think just Regeki breaks over all the better choice. For sure. And then, or or we saw we saw an instance today. I think uh, the good homie Crash Vote, good friend of mine, teammate, Ultra Instinct all the way. He's still on Wing Blast game. He's big Wing Blast game. And that damn, he had a, it's a situation where he had to spin the damn Sork back to the top of the deck and it was still live. So he had to just literally, if that's Regeki break, the Sork's dead mm-hmm. and you're chilling. And your life, you're you're just continuing to play, but he had to send it back to the top of the deck and deal with Sork again. Mere moments later, it just sucks, man. It just feels so bad. I mean, it's a toss up. Like, what if what oh. if it wasn't live in that in that situation? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I? I'm sorry. My my stream was all jacked up. Did I really just do that? I'm sorry, gang. Let me fix this real quick. How's that? My mouse is like grabbed the whole stream and just moved the whole thing. I should lock this out. Is that good? Can someone help me out real quick? If you guys can see that. Good on my end. Okay. Good yeah. now. All right. Sorry about that. Sorry about that, Gulas. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> my uh, my freaking mouse just, for some reason, just grabbed it and just moved it out of there. So we got these Pyramid Turtles running the train. Hey, yo. And uh, we got Kaiko banishing the tribe infecting virus. And now Mr. Big Noodle is in a thinking position. We got two set back row. We have Pyramid Turtle. We got 8,400 life points. And we are beginning to ponder. Okay, so stream is good. Stream is good. Make sure you guys are liking the stream. In the booth with me today, I have the duels that goes by the name of Logger. Ayo, huh. Logan. <laughs> Logger. Log- I'm, I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. That was a joke. That was a joke. I'm sorry. For all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No, it's it good to be here. I'm, I'm glad I'm able to get some good format dueling vibes going on a Sunday. Thanks for coming in, man. It's, it's like a lot. It's a lot more fun doing this. Uh, doing this. Doing this with the uh, with another person. Yeah, it's a lot more fun. Thanks for coming in, man. It's it's lot. It's a lot more fun doing this. Uh, doing this with uh, with another person. And you volunteered to come on in, man, and, and, and give some give some time to the grind. I appreciate you doing that. Mm-hmm. As we're gonna go for Stein again. So Cyber Stein is up. No negate coming in from Alvarado's point of view. We're gonna think about it here. Man, yeah. playing a dangerous game. We're gonna go Pryo. Pryo. Let's see who we're grabbing. Let's see who we're grabbing. Are we going yeah. for the Senshi? Or are we going for the uh, King Dragoon. Who are you making here? Probably Senshi, right? I, I'm making Senshi. I see two back row. I'm thinking those are live regeki breaks. Mm-hmm. Maybe some a jar of greed. He got, he got Sakus in there. Yeah, you're going for Ryu, Senshi. Like, let's, let's see well, it. Well, you might go for Dragoon. It's, it's a toss-up. Because you've got Mirror Force. You've got maybe a Torrential. Of Alvarado still on the Torrential in the 55. Yep, and you got the regeki break. And we're Ooh. chaining here. We're going to chain RB to pop the Pyramid Turtle on the declaration of that effect. Heads up play mm-hmm. by Alvarado. Just in, in anticipation that this is, in fact, Ryu Senshi, as you stated, then this could be a, a negated Regeki break. So getting some value out of it and saving yourself a potential 1,200 damage is not bad. So we're viewing extra deck now. Does this change anything for Mr. Big Noodle? As it will still be the Ryu Senshi. Yes, yeah, this has a um, spell protection too. No, no snatch deal. I but mean, if I'm snatching anybody, I'm snatching that Cyberstein. I'm going to will. I'm 100% <laughs> snatching the Cyberstein. I'm going to snatch get my it. own freaking oh, dude, some freaking Master Vaz, something like that. And yeah. just will, dude. If I'm snatching somebody. But now off the top of the deck, let's check the graveyard here for Alvarado. It is not set up. There is no light monster present. And now you have all the momentum coming back over to Mr. Big Noodle. The energy is rising as Ryu Senshi and Cybersteen at 2,700. Do you have some more bulky damage that you can put onto the board to keep this pressure mounting? It's in like a 2,800, I think. 27. Can you get Something there? Like I don't know if you have enough. Maybe you got like a, if you can get a book of life play and a normal summon, that might be yeah. close. 1600 it's possible 
Yeah. A despair from the dark, perhaps. Yeah. Fear, fear, fear. Book of Life, the premature turtle, and fear from the dark. What is that? That's another. It's got to be close. Twenty nine. Yeah, that's exact. That's over one hundred. Over, I think. But we're still chilling, though. That's another thing about this deck that I think is a bit difficult. Is that you're playing a lot of these big dudes that can make these aggressive aggressive pushes, but it can also kind of brick a bit. Yeah. You got like the the Fiend Mega Cyber. That's that plays off your opponent. The Steins also play off your opponent to an extent, or even the uh well, there's some some of the other cards that he's playing. Um Yeah. It's it's a it's a tough spot, man. And but still warriors. you gotta play you gotta you gotta kinda you gotta roll with it though, dude. You gotta play it mm -hmm. and you just hope like Fiend Mega Cyber, you can even summon that here and punch and hope for another brick. Cause at this point Alvarado may have a, a quite a few not live cards in the deck. Well, he got a lot of live cards, but there are some cards you just can't draw right now. Any normal trap, all the if you're still playing trap does shoot for whatever reason. Um, any any chaos mon off the top just feels bad. Yep. So it's Thanks. like I don't know. And we're gonna go for a double Steiner. Oh my god! <laughs> just what's a 700 500 vanilla? That's how just gonna be five of this. <laughs> Like some freaking like, oh dude! Like I look, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna look it up. Uh, yeah, dude, that's funny. That's funny that Stein beat down, dude. But that does put you on a one turn clock. So now Alvarado has to get to the units right now. You need Thunder Dragon and you need BLS, like right now to kind of keep it rocking. Oh man, that's funny, dude. I mean, and it is gonna be Tribe. Tribe is actually tribe. quite strong. Very good. And you get the light too. And yeah. So it's gonna turn on both of your sorks in deck, so any chaos is now live. And also, additionally, you got the, you got all the momentum, all the pressure's back on your opponent, and your traps are back on too, because that Mega Cyber yep. was kind of holding you down. So huge yep. drive off the top. That was a good draw. And now I mean Fear from the Dark would be amazing here. Again with that sixteen hundred, seventeen hundred breakpoint. Did he play Breaker already? Have it. No, he didn't play Breaker. Breaker wouldn't be too bad either. Ninja Grandmaster is pretty good. That's also a good one. And let's see. Sakuretu armor hurts. Would be huge. What do you got? Show your moves. Dang, this is intense, man. I mean, this is game only game two, so <laughs> <laughs> Alvarado's on the brink of death here if he doesn't have protection for it. And it was it a Sakuretu armor, so you did have it. Dang. Dang. Hate to see it if you're a big noodle. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do now? You got this Cyberstein up, and we do have a Chaos play. What? That's wild. That is... What? I'm, it's a BLS. It's Wait, that's an Earth, that is an Earth monster. That is <laughs> an Earth monster. Okay, Ryu Senshi is not... Okay, is not dark. That man is Chaos Earth. Earth. Dude, What? Oh my That's goodness. Nuts. Whoever thought BLS would be in this deck? Ow. What? Hey, not Snatch. It just can't be Snatch. Not like this. And that's going to be a GG. Oh, it a worked. Oh. Holy moly. Very well played. Good game. Good game by both. And Mr. Big Noodle does it. He did Friends. it. Let's go. The hero I'll we didn't you. know we needed. Mr. Big Noodle coming out. Getting sleuth yeah. with the Cyberstein. Damn. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, Whenever damn. I see stuff like this, like just these dominant runs from players, like one mantra I always say is like, they're just the protagonist for the day. Oh, he, this is, this is definitely, uh, this is definitely Mr. Big Noodle's stream. This is, yeah. this is, this stream is fully, we are all living in Noodle Town right here. This is the Noodle World. <laughs> noodle Town. <laughs> we, we are in Noodle. This is no longer I Goat mean, World. We're in the Noodle World. As Dueling I'm, High and Nate Dog. Let's go check that one out and then well, let me see. Ooh, that's gonna be a good one. Let me see what Nasty Nate six 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 is doing. Dueling High, fellow teammate. Hey yo, so we got a team internal right here. We got a this is UI versus the bug. No, this is Formula. Formula versus yeah. uh the Ultra Instinct Yu-Gi-Oh dueling team. Dude, dueling high is great, dude. Nate Dog. He's, he's good. Mm-hmm. 
Dang. We got the main deck mind control, right? That's no, it's game two. Game two mind control. This is game this, two. Okay. Dude. Getting this five. Dude, man, the noodle. The noodle. And I was talking about that too. I forget who I, who I was talking about it with. And like after usually after these tournaments, I'll do like a like a tournament report and I'll have the deck list and I'll say, you know, hey, these are the decks. This is what I think about them. And I was actually debating on stop making those videos uh, because a lot of times, uh, especially in these tournaments and cer- certain tournaments, like there are a lot of decks that are very, very similar in nature. And it's kind of like I'm, I find myself saying the same thing most more often than not. But now I'm looking at this tournament. I'm like, dude, I might have to make that video because I got to see what the hell is noodles cooking, mm-hmm. and I gotta, I gotta show it. But most of the time, what I, what I will start doing is just like collecting all the really cool decks or nice things that are happening or new innovations, and try to highlight that stuff instead of just every single time do it because it does take a lot of time to create that stuff. But it's really cool. But noodles going crazy. I'm sure. Yeah, like. Those tournament reports sometimes it'll be six to eight <laughs> chaos turbo <laughs> in the top list, but then you'll have tournaments like this where yeah. first second place is going to a Stein Warrior zombie deck, and it's it's wild, dude. Hope, BLS in the main. Uh, hopefully a noodle can win, dude. I'm everybody keeps sending your healing energy to noodle, and let's just let let's see if noodle can get into this thing. Let's let noodle let's get noodle in there or Nate Dog. I mean Nate Dog's my guy. I know you like Dueling High, but he's already got enough. You know Dueling High's got enough. Yeah, he had the. Um, what was the recent uh, the Go, Go Grand Prix? Go Grand Prix in Atlanta, the first the first Prix, American yes. one of the season. He took that down. That. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he's he's so. got enough. He's won PWCQs. He's got enough. Nate Dog still needs to get in there. And uh, now we got BLS on the case, established in mm-hmm. defense position, staring down five from Nate Dog. Do you have enough you, units to get through this damn defense position BLS? Yeah. We have Dueling High threatening lethal already if he doesn't answer this board right now staring two sets also yeah it could be, could be ring. it could be a ring as well too man it's got a lot of a lot of units we're going to just flip it early huh we're going to pay half go return let's see if dueling high lets us go through thumbs up so it's probably a zaborg maneuver coming in i would only assume mm-hmm. as we're going to tribute up yep zaborg for the pop we're hitting the bls and then we're going to try one. to go into breaker as well Does it connect? No, it won't. He's going to the graveyard. Air Force. Oof. As Mataza says, yes, no chaos videos. Don't copy has cool decks too. I've offered. I know don't copy has some cool decks. I've offered. Don't copy has a standing invitation to come by the program at any point and showcase these cool decks. I think. Uh, I think that is that is a vibe. That is anytime. I know he has some really cool decks, and there are a lot of top players that have really cool strategies that just need a place to showcase them and they don't do it in the terms for whatever reason it's about that damn that damn elo man that damn dueling points man Ah, these players they care about it it matters i'm damn dueling Mm -hmm. points but it is what it is boy says spice report should be a spice report and not a top report that's i could could get with that yeah that is is more short form content Mm -hmm. like like a minute long video that's talking about like just cool shit noodles list don't I, copies list like just yeah showcasing that for what it is instead of because but i i try i try to have like the top eight deck list from every tournament and just do a little mm-hmm. quick little video and i'll give my initial impression of what i think about the decks and what i think about the meta just a 10 to 15 minute video after the tournaments that's what i've been doing but historically if it's just like all turbo and it's just, you know then it just becomes like a repetitive thing but Spice Report was cool. Yeah. We, we used to have Spice Report with Pui when she would come by. But she's got Pui's a freaking international rock star, celebrity, go for Matt dueling enthusiast, Magic the Gathering player. She's got a lot going on, so I can't respect. I can't like respectfully hope that Pui not respect like I can't like just be like, oh well, Pui's gonna come by and like set the schedule because she's got a lot of shit going on in her life too. And we and we could do that though, make it like more of a cool cool decks, cool texts that are having success and like showcase that. Cause that's what people want to see. Nobody wants to see the Chaos Turbo deck for the 19 billion time. I don't know. Yeah, like that Buzz Lightyear meme. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was just all Chaos Turbo. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I, I will say I liked when Bluetooth did the uh, the tooth text. Those little short form YouTube shorts. Yeah. Those were those were really nice. And I don't know how the 
analytics would go with that or how the views would go. But I think like that type of short form content can do really well with goat format. Mm -hmm. It could, it could be, I, I just, it just Bluetooth. It would take a lot of, it, it took a lot of time out of Bluetooth to make those. And mm -hmm. it's the same thing that, that I kind of, I go through too. It's like you, you spend a tremendous amount of time making it and people may not engage with it the way that you think that they should, or people like might say something negative about it. And you're like, damn, dude, I just really bust my ass. Cause it's a minute long video. Yeah. But it might take like several hours to make a minute long video. You're talking, writing a script, you're talking reshoots, you're talking lighting, you're talking graphics and stuff. It might take several hours to make that video. And now you put all your effort into it and like people don't watch it. And the people that do watch it, they don't say kind things about it. Like, dude, I guess I'm fucking not doing this anymore. Why would, why would I do that? It takes a lot of time, you know, to, to do that kind of stuff. And that's, a, that's a part of it. I think with the, with a with a lot of things as we're going for a snatch deal and maybe got chaos here rb target the other gk spy and then we're going to solemn that oh doing that high went all in. yeah no. doing high went all in was there a way you could have sequenced that a little bit different to not put yourself in this position maybe you can rb uh, nah i guess you can't huh Damn. i would just i would have passed keep it just keep it moving nice and slow I think one thing that Dueling High does really well is he, he plays the warrior strategy a mm -hmm. lot of times. He plays that really well as we get Suk off the top to reset the spy. Oh, yeah. but you got another punish there. So that's back-to-back -back punish as now you're going to have to pass back God. over the set God. spy. I, I love that interaction so much. That's like, so MST, good. MST, Book of Moon, Suk, that stuff is wild. That's pure GOAT format at its core. And now Nate Dog is putting together some some good plays, have some fortunate some fortunate plays, but now you got Thunder Dragon and Suk versus two walls of spy. And you're holding it down. <clears throat> One thing Michael Gray says, he says he just sends it always. That's the dueling highway. And I do agree with him there. I think dueling high is someone who sends it in very hard. I, 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 and when you I love it. Warriors, it's it, amazing. He does so well with it. Chaos Turbo, it's going to be bit. a bit more push and pull. And I think that if he could show a bit more restraint when playing Chaos Turbo, it but it's not the same, man. It's, I think, so I think, good. I think that's a per, I think that's a personality thing. And I think, to your point, I believe that that might just be the way that he has approached the game, and it might be why he has success or why he has tops and has these good ladder appearances because he plays a very aggressive on the approach. And maybe that's just that's. I, I love his uh, his his YouTube channel. I used to watch his old school dueling high videos. He'd be out there, like literally cell phone recording the damn video and and most of the line most of the time like oh man i'm just going i just said to hell with it and i just sent it that's that's the play most of the time and no it's never like oh, i'm just gonna chill for a little bit and just kind of vibe now it's like nah i just said to hell with it oh shiny angel's really strong this could be a gg and that's oh gonna be a gg God. and that will be a that's gg crazy. as nate dog is able to get to a game three Oh man, oh man. Never I never thought that was I thought it was pretty much I thought that goose was cooked. JDZ, have you ever read uh Who's the Beat Down? It's a Magic the Gathering article. I have. I have. You have? I, I did. I did. I it's, read it's one of those things that yeah. No, go ahead. No, you you're good. No, cuz anything we're, else any input? No, we we're talking we're talking about it's like a the, the theory of that. And there are a lot of people, I know um uh apoptosis is another duelist who's always talking about the beatdown and who's in control of the board and what the what the game's like and uh, different positions that you find yourself in and different roles you're playing and when you t identify that stuff. I think it's cool. I think I I think more stuff like that should exist. Like there are a lot of people with these twenty pound brains in our community who are like very smart and well read. If they can write stuff like this and get it out there, I think that's I think it's interesting, especially these theories. And I try to you can try to apply that stuff. Um, in your game, and it might help as you get duo for two. What do you think about yeah, it? Yeah, I, I, I think it was a fantastic read, and I, I like a lot of the theory that goes into it. Like looking at that game too, when mm -hmm. we saw Nate Dog with those two uh, GK spies just poised for attack. Who's the beat down there? And it's Nate Dog because mm -hmm. he he's up on cards, and especially when you when you get duoed for two, and now it's kind of like okay, who's on the beat down now? And it's like it's kind of dueling high. <laughs> Yeah, right. you got to weather the storm. You got to get your own Trinity. If if you if you can't weather that storm, if you're trying to go in aggressive and your opponent has all these cards that they can they can stop this. Mm -hmm. Ooh, okay, and there we go. You got your second Trinity, <laughs> so a bit more even. And I think that's a really cool thing about Goat format. Even though we have these really sacky cards, 
your opponent's also playing those cards, and it it, it, it can come down to a good match with Trinity. Mm -hmm. It can be as simple as like both of your opponents seeing their Trinity at the same frequency. It's when it's get egregious when, say, Dueling High had like six uses of Trinity and Nate Hot Dog had zero. Like, there's there's gonna be some like, oh well, next game yeah. sort of stuff, but. There, there are, there That's are, there are for sure, there are for sure, uh, there are for sure blowouts. Like there are blowouts happen all the time. People just sometimes you just play and you just get sacked. Like even like getting trap death shot delinquent duo to start, it feels so bad to start that way. But it doesn't always end that way. It doesn't always have to be that way. But this tribe is really strong too. As tribe is going to be able to take out the shining angel and Nate Dog is top decking, so it's looking pretty grim. But you do have some live draws coming off the top. And you're going to set one onto the field, pass back on over Dueling High. It's, it's just, it's bad. It is bad. Two turn clock. It one is, uh, clock it is, uh, it is bad sometimes, but that's just, I think that's a, just a nature of, of playing this game. Like, I think, I think the game for me anyway, is much better if both of these cards, Trap Dust Shoe and Delinquent Duo are removed, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And, and I'm going to keep plug. I'm going to keep plugging again. Like we're, we're, we're currently working on. I don't know if we mentioned that in any other service before, but we're cu we're currently wo working on like a modified goat format where we introduce like new band lists, new car pools, and things of that sort. If you're going to go ahead and hit Regeki Break on this new set, and this might just be a GG right here, perhaps. And Ooh, dead trap does shoot. It is Editor. looking pretty grim. It's just gonna punch on in with sixteen, and that'll connect. So, uh, not Nate Dog kind of got a lease on life here with that two hundred left. If you kept that Sangin on the field, you would have sealed the game right here. Oh snap shit! Steal. It's probably got ring. Is there a ring? And there is RB as well. Right, so RB ring. pops solemn. <laughs> Look at that. Yep. <laughs> I mean, holy smokes! And then we got battle. We're gonna crack in. Oh no! Do you have it? Kaiku is really strong. You get a thousand back. You get serpent that can wall indefinite. Mm -hmm. Oh man! This is and pot of green. Oh, look at this, dude! Look at this. Oh I bet man! High smiling God. just as GG's. much. <laughs> Hate to see it. Yeah. GGs. GGs all around, man. As Nate Dog, I'm gonna say Nate Dog got a little bit sacked. Ain't gonna lie. Ain't gonna lie. That's a little. That's a little bit of sack activity. You're trying. But Dueling High gets the gets gets the better of him that time. It's gonna be a GG, GG. Um, <laughs> one thing I will say, I'm, I admire Dueling High a lot about like one of his qualities with being the beatdown and being aggressive a lot more. Mm -hmm. The more you do that, and the more you consistently apply that role to yourself, you, you put your opponent on gotta have it, or they don't. And sometimes they just don't, and you can get a string of those where it's you just seem to steamroll the entire competition. Yeah, there's there's sometimes he'll he'll like early BLS and swing a lot of sometimes and it works because most of the time there's only one mirror force. There's only mm -hmm. one and most people don't play like main deck Sakus like that and it'll work. It'll yeah. just get in. So yeah, cool. and we have uh, you apply that. Yeah. Oh, so we have uh, we have Ivan and Vita. Uh, he, he told me Vita Col Vita Conley. I, he told me earlier and I wrote it. I didn't write it down. So I already dumped it, dude. I'm so bad. We are, we are, we are back. We are back, and they, I think this is actually going to be a goat control mirror. When is the last time you seen a goat mirror in the damn in the top eight of a tournament with both duelists still alive and well, in actually a pretty good position to make it? Like, a, if any of these decks can make it beyond, because Ivan kind of got uh, kind of bricked, chaos control bricked versus dueling high, that probably won't happen again. So if he can make it to the finals, man, you never know. You don't. Let's see here. No, this is no, no more, more. Ivan has he he has metamorphosis. It's right there, and he has thousand eyes in his graveyard. He's playing a control deck. This is a chaos control deck that Ivan game is one. playing. Wow. This is a chaos game one. Ain't no way he's running CC. You would think that. <laughs> Guy Steve possesses his body <laughs> to get him to play this. You would like. think. You would think that. No, no, no. He's uh he's playing it. And he's just trying it out, man. I, I respect it. I respect the Grussell. I respect Ivan coming in and trying it because the uh, it's Russell? The Grussell, yeah. Russell. The grind hustle, dude. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think I've ever heard that word. I was like, 
You don't heard the gr- I've heard some weird words. I've never heard of the Grussel. You gotta you gotta branch out, man. I I, I, I communicate with a lot of young people. I'm young at heart. Okay. I'm young at heart. He's on the Grussel, dude. You, you know the Zoomer slang? Some of it. I'm learning it. I'm learning some more. Of it? Okay. I'm learning I'm learning like, more every day. Like your 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 is old. That's like I, a Baltimore thing, right? That's, Philly? that's really okay. You gotta give me some more, dude. What is I what did you got? Give me some give me some of your slang. What do you what are uh, you slang? I, mean, I say yo a lot. Yo, if you've noticed that, I say yo. That's, I say, that's just part of my. I, I say yo way too much. I'm a yeah. yo. I'm a yo guy. That, that's just a classic one. Yo, hey yo. I mean, yeah, you just think about it, it's like it's one syllable. It's just easy to see or easy to say. I um, I know in um down in the south, like instead of oil, we'll say oil. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Just just because it's just because it's easier. I, I love thinking about like <laughs> the phonetics of stuff like that. Oh. Um. My grand my grandfather says oil. Yes. Oil. They get, we got oil. Oil. They got some oil. Instead yeah. of oil. Oil. It might be better than oil. Oil is kind of hard. Oil, oil, oil. What is that, dude? I that mean, was... English is just a terrible. <laughs> English is like uh, a, a garbage garbage tier language, dude. F tier. Yeah. Trash. Agree. Agree. If I didn't speak it, I would not learn it because it is so trash. Yeah. Other languages like Spanish sound so beautiful. It just rolls right off the tongue. Hold up, real quick. I got the, I got the secondary stream over here to the side. I'm looking at this uh, YCS go down. Is that uh Gr- what's his name? Is that the damn? Uh... That will be protected by opening once. What is he playing? What's it? What's that? What's that duel's name that has the? Uh, this and guy. It's gone. And one more is that for the Flame Burst Dragon. Is that the YouTube, YouTube guy? Uh, attributes Earth, Light, Austin C versus dark. Eric T. No, no, yeah, uh, the Austin and C. Then, is that uh? We'll is that go into the battle uh? Phase. The DB grinder. Looks like Eric it looks like it. Then it look like DB Grinder. Is he higher DB Grinding IRL? You me, you're gonna you probably need to get ledge. him to pronounce some words. Maybe. Will you be able to do it? Austin will knock him off the oh, ledge. No. <laughs> and it's over. Austin's moving on to yeah. top yeah, that looks, four. I this Kastira think Snake so. Eye deck mm-hmm. taking down Eric all the way from looks Germany like on the Brandon yeah. strategy. That looks like DB Grinder, dude. Look at that, dude. Out here, he's been he's been grinding. IRL grinding. Not DB, but IRL. IRL grinding. IRL Grinder. Yeah. Look at that. Let me let me mute that. Shout out to him, man. That's fucking. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Yeah, you love to see these. I mean, going to a day one, I saw a bunch of the content creators. Like I saw Simo. Oh yeah. Uh, I, I saw Gage Nim Nim. Like he was the, probably the first content creator I saw just like walking out going to the convention center. Um, this shit challenged to a duel, bro. Like, bro, both of like, let's duel. <laughs> let's play. Right, right in the street, yeah. Right, right Getting the dual discs on, like the actual like uh, Battle City tournament when's sort the, of stuff. When's the, when's the next one? I think I might. I heard there's something in oh. Texas, right? They're doing like I a. Think so. I don't know. I'm, I'm I might not be able to go. They're doing um, Worlds here in Seattle, and they're not gonna oh, allow. Really? They're not allowing people to come in and like oh, naysay it, dude. I wanted to go, but they're not allowing spectators. They're only allowing. That's, that's, what a misplay. Konami's fumbled the bag on that one. That is so stupid. Yeah. I mean, it's hard. When they do these events, like you know they're kind of they're doing it at a loss. I know. At some point, just because of how much like to get to rent the venue, to do all that setup, to pay all those people to, to security host these vendors. tournaments. Yeah. But at the same exactly. time at the same time, I think if they made it more of like a con or more of like not a not a like a like a long but like a convention. And just had the tournament mm-hmm. as a thing that happens at the convention, and you just put like some seating out and let people just watch it on the big screen. It can be cool, man. Kind of how E three does it with the gaming, mm-hmm. like people and and people come out and play the the turn the, the video game tournaments, the fighting game fighting game community. They uh they do it all the time, and they have these huge venues, or whatever, and people come in, and you charge them to come in. And use that money to help with your overhead, man. And it could work. I'd pay. I would pay twenty dollars to go to the Yu-Gi-Oh World Championship and just be a spectator. Why not? I would too. I would. <laughs> Fuck, I would. Why? Raleigh was just like half of it was literally just me walking around, like looking at the vendors, looking at the people playing. Yeah. And it, it's a vibe. It's definitely a, a nice way to spend your weekend, to spend just a day, just chilling with your homies. Especially mm-hmm. if you have homies, you you can go with meet up. It's a good time, man. Mm-hmm. I don't it was know, man. It's an experience. Uh, I, I think, I, but honestly, I do believe that Konami is making a tremendous, tremendous throw, a m- tremendous misplay. I think they should have, uh, they should have spectators. They should have side events, just like they've done for all the other YCSs and the Nats. I'm sure they're gonna have side events down at Nats. 
There should be. A, there should be. There should be. Why not? Have people come out and make it a spectacle. It's in Seattle. It's going to be in the summer. It's going to be, or in, in the, in the um, like, end of summer, into the fall. It's going to be beautiful weather. People can come in and, and hang out. They're really fucking it up, dude. And they're pissing me off, honestly. One thing I really wanted to see at this YCS was side event coverage, like actual streams mm-hmm. for it. Like, I'm just, I'm a little upset, especially for like, even for GOAT format or Edison, that they're not showcasing some of the greatest formats, some of the most beloved formats that they've had has mainly just been pushing out the modern, which I can understand that that's Mm -hmm. the main event. But when you have a huge event with like 187 players coming for the two day event to play Edison competitively, it's like, I feel like that's something you want to showcase. Or I I think they've done, they've done one historically um, in one of the previous YCSs. Where they had, uh, like, had like written coverage, the one where I think James Art got an article written about him when he was doing the fish thing. I think is that was, okay? yeah, he was playing, he was playing fish, and and that that one had written coverage on it. Excuse me. So I I think they were, they were trying to maybe they have written coverage, but like an actual stream for it. Maybe they could do that, or maybe like a freaking, um, maybe like a maybe like a. Like, hey, okay, we're going to, while, while we're waiting on the Swiss round to end, let's flex over. We got another camera set up over here to do the side event coverage. Instead of showing, like, months ago match, let's put, let's put, the, let's put, the, let's put the side events up and show that. I think it will help bolster that, too. I think it would be cool. It would be. I mean, now looking back over to this PWCQ, this is, like, I think the third or fourth time I've seen a Tribe Infective Hours just get someone to a 1600 vanilla. Dude, get it in. He's always in the hand. Just- he always is, and it's just like at the most inopportune times. Yeah, op- I, yeah. I open I open tribe like it's my damn job, dude. Like I get paid to open tribe and Pagan virus, and I just look at them and I say open board. I'm gonna start. I don't do that enough. I think I've seen these players do that, and that might be something I incorporate into my game. Just seeing like tribe in my hand, an open board, just say to hell with it, and just try to smack in. Mm-hmm. And let's I mean, see- you think about oh yeah, no no go ahead. Old breakers a good punish, but yeah, if if you just smack in with it, it's like you onus is on your opponent to to remove it like what are they gonna do set spy into it you're losing both those monsters <laughs> next turn unless you can stop that tribe <laughs> the koichi getting run over I, under attacks a, a lot i have running the numbers right now and we're just gonna go ahead and ring this bad boy up take 16 from each as LeBounty says jdz don't do it don't do it don't do it okay LeBounty says don't do it i won't do it just hold we'll hold that bad boy I'm gonna take I'm gonna take all I'm gonna take all orders from the bounty dude. He says don't do it, I won't do it. But I want to so damn bad. I'm looking at that try I'm looking at that tribe in my hand, and I'm looking at the field, and I'm looking at their health box, and it's just wide open. And I'm like, man, that 16 could just get in so clean. And then they'll set another car and they won't put another monster, and I'm like, that's 32 I just <laughs> missed out. Damn. I mean But if you did put that on the field, maybe they would have felt the need to put something on the field. Yeah. Maybe put a monster on the field. So I mean, I don't think it comes down to what's on their field. I think it comes down to what could be in their hand. It could be. What are they holding in their hand? To yeah, it's just brick. If I if I see an open board, I'm like, oh, they're they have cards that play off of me. Yeah, I don't know. And this ooh, Peter Conley gets a nice trap to shoot. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got in here. As Ivan's got the shoot, he's got he's got the he's got the delinquent duo, Sangin, Breaker, Thunder Dragon. So he's got two thunders in hand. Maybe Ivan's bricked again into obscurity. This is the power of trap dust shoot in the format, not just for verse chaos, but even in the mirror matches that TD is going to artificially inflate your hand. And if you can get rid of those flips again, keeping them from flipping their own monsters, you're feeling good as he puts back sinister serpent. What was the, did he, did he type the hand? I didn't see what, what the rest of it was. I, I didn't see him type anything. So I think we know it's, he had sinister hand. He just got that put back and he has mm-hmm. two TDs. So, your guess is as good as mine. What, what the Ivan's person? hands looking like? I mean, does he has dark and graveyard, right? He sent he sent that serpent back, so it's probably something something metamorphosis or creature swap or something like that could be the hand, but maybe you don't mm-hmm. have creature swap in in the mirror, so maybe it's like it's probably a metamorphosis bricked into oblivion, mm-hmm. and it could be I don't know. We'll see. We'll find out right here. We'll find out yeah, shortly. I mean, stay tuned. <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> One of the hard things about chaos control is like again you have like a lot of these two card combos where like sometimes trap dust shoots can just like completely rip it up you have like meta plus serpent mm-hmm. 
you get rid of that serpent, you can't do anything as we got a mind control mind control on the set. And that's that's honest, honestly that point is why this damn uh, chaos control deck has completely fallen out of the game. But this mm-hmm. magician of faith takes back the damn duo and the game pretty much ends. If that's the case, and we will go for the duo. We're losing the snatch deal. We're losing the sork, but you still got some vibes though. So maybe, maybe you still got energy. Who knows? You know the hand. You know two TDs, and you know that set set. We're gonna pass. Mm. I wonder if Vita Conley is maybe putting back the serpent for a discard trap, maybe because we know two TDs in hand. Mm-hmm. And he he said another monster and like what could that be? And it's gotta be something that tribe can just deal with. Or maybe he was thinking flip moth grab. No knock in graveyard, so yeah, did he have a did he have a spell in hand? No, oh, he had, he had no spell in grave, so he just was no, hope was snatch deal. Was that was that just discarded right now off from the second duo? Um I think so. I, I yeah. think I think he just had a raw just a raw ass faith down there. That bad boy was just looking as <laughs> It's waiting for the top deck pot. <laughs> yeah. That was just one of them cold, the cold calculated face. Or he could, he could just want. Uh, now he already got lights in there too. Yeah, I think he just had a cold ass, just a just a faith, just a just a just a loose loose faith out there. I even mind kind of was, was rewarded. Yeah. Have you ever gotten that where you set like a faith, and you have just like nothing in graveyard to grab, and then you top deck pot agree, and you feel like the best player in the world? Oh, like I cooked you, dude. That was a cook. Yeah. <laughs> so okay, cooked. Inspired. Again, here, like, just having that tried up, tribe up, you can just clear these spies whenever you want to in the battle phase. But you can't. You're going to get RB'd. Ooh. So now look at that. The board is pissed. Oh, and you do have the creature swap. So you're going to give up the Magician of Faith to take over the GK spy, which is dangerous, man. This Tsukiyomi is just looming. You know it's coming. You already mm-hmm. know the damn card is coming. You know it's coming, but you don't have a lot of juice in there. We're going to go... I mean- Pot, pot into yep. pot into souk is is going to happen, and then you get the damn pot back. Oh, really? <laughs> you know what's coming. <laughs> Wait, there's there's so many draws off the top. Like we have metamorphosis is a pretty good one. Swapping over the moth, that's just gonna that's that really feels bad here for mm-hmm. Vita Conley. Do you just turn on his metas, give him the thousand eyes to get the suck on? Oh, <laughs> the quality. That was a quality suck, dude. And this twelve hundred, and he's got stats too, so he can actually put some pressure. He can actually get the get the pressure going too. Mm-hmm. I mean, we got two sort BLS. We got everything. Nice. Soundboard. <laughs> I would say if if you've ever been part of Formula Voice Chat, anyone who knows, I, I love my soundboards. I'm trying to show some restraint for oh, you the stream. You, you can fire. You can fire yeah. some. I would just I would just ask that you just. Uh, just save me some rounds in my gun because a lot of times, you know, a lot of duels come in here. I get people in the booth and they grab my gun and just start blasting, dude. You can fire a couple. If you want to take a shot, you can. I don't mind. You can fire a couple, but I just save me some rounds. Here, this one. We can, you, can, you, can let, you can let them rip. You got to work them in, though. You got you to gotta work them in. And they can't be too long. They can't be like 30 second soundboards. We need like a, like a quick little. It's got to be like. And boy, are my arms tired. You got to work it into the yeah. thing. It's got to be like a full mm-hmm. operation, dude. It can't just be. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> Michael with a, you are done. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> we'll do it with a IRL soundboard doing it. <laughs> now, I'll, I'm going to do one on the stream, but you're not going to know which one I'm going to do. Or okay. I'm going to do it. Yeah, just just let it rock, dude. It, it's got to be a natural thing. It can't be forced. And they're going to go heavy here. Heavy to undo the suck. So you're gonna be detached, As, but Thunder Dragon is looming, right? And that yes, could just be the end of the day. One. He's got one I mean, left. So we're that's thinking the power right of here. chaos control. Is getting those TDs. It's an out to you. what's your biggest demise is restrict just restricting you, <laughs> restricting your own gameplay. <laughs> hey yo, so we're, we're trying to see. As the Lenore is is in the chat. Yo, what is up, the Lenore? How's the tournament been going? I haven't. Like I said, these tournaments are pretty chill for the most part. Have you been getting blasted? The Lenore signed up to be the judge today and came out and gave some time to their grind. I really appreciate that stepping in as a tournament uh, staff 
being the judge for this tournament. And it seemed like they're going pretty smooth. Everyone, but these PWCQs obviously are also very, um, are very kind of self-managed a little bit. A lot of the most experienced players come out, play in PWCQ. So it's not a whole lot in terms of people not knowing the rules and sharking and being dickheads for the, for lack of a better word. So it's pretty chill, but thank you so much for, for doing that and, and hanging out. All good. Their calls are going smoothly. Yo, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So it looks like we are now in the losers semifinals. The loser semifinals. We have Ivan Rosito versus Dueling High. Winner of that has to play against Alvarado. Winner of that has to go back into the dojo with Mr. Big Noodle, who's on standby waiting for this thing to uh, see who see the opponent's going to be. So with that, I guess we wait. While we wait. We hydrate. What's your hydration level? We hydrate. Like? I've been doing pretty good. I have a Yu-Gi-Oh cup on standby. With some water. Yeah. Get some. Uh, get some H1. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm. So JDZ, I have a question for you. Go ahead. Actually, I actually have two questions for you. So talking about new ban list for goat format, kind mm -hmm. of shake up the, the format for a bit. I have. If you had to ban one card, and I think I already kind of know probably a couple of them, but I'm going to make it difficult for you. Mm -hmm, if you had mm -hmm. to ban one card from good format, just straight up, just one card to make the format a bit better, make Chaos Turbo a little bit less dominant, or just make the format a bit more diverse, which one would it be? I mean, I'm I'm, I'm very I'm on record, and I've stated multiple times. If I could ban one card and go format, I don't. I, before we even get into like balancing the game out, I got to get rid of Delinquent Duo right away. It's gone. Mm -hmm. I, I think the card is too problematic. I think card t is the antithesis of fun. People have in their own unique perspective what their idea what their idea of fun is. Like some people like, hey, I like grinding. That's my idea of fun. I like playing spice. That's my idea of fun. I like winning. That's my idea of fun. Everyone has their own idea of what they think fun is. I have my idea of what I think not fun is. And delinquent duo is not fun. It's gotta go. So that's gonna be my pick. Immediately, delinquent duo has to be removed. Final answer. What's yours? Um, man, I did, I haven't thought about that. Like duo can be a problematic card. Mm -hmm. I think, especially if you're playing like say like very kind of combo strategies. Maybe you want to play the spice, and you you've got cards in hand. Maybe like cards that are like two card combos, or like some like ritual stuff. Like looking at what um, Alefi was cooking mm -hmm. with the dragon reju you're probably gonna have a lot of cards in hand so it just feels bad to get that minus one especially when you might have cards poised for the crack back and they just your combo completely falls apart uh it's terrible it's, a, it's I, such it's such it's such a dog shit feeling dude it's such a bad feeling like when you're when you're playing and you're going back and forth you're going back and forth or even if you start like if you're just starting the game off and they go duo and play pot now you have three cards and they they have like six and you're like dude like, what the hell? Like, I didn't even get a chance. Like, I'm already losing so badly, and I haven't even had a chance to even draw a card from my deck and have a turn. That mm -hmm. should not exist, man. That should not. But while we're talking about it, though, while we have a little bit of time, Ivan's hosting up for Dueling High. Like I said, we've been doing the research, and Pui has been leading the charge. There's going to be a tournament next weekend. Pui's going to host it. It's going to be on her channel. Ooh. And then we're going to come back. We're, we're going to have it like a, like a side series, man. It's going to be a legitimate thing. And it's going to happen. Um, so we have some ideas of what let me see if i can pull this up while, while we're waiting so here's a here's a new actual ban list right here you guys probably can't see it it's a little bit small hey yo that's what she said gotta ban fiber jar gotta keep fiber jar banned oh yeah right. i was gonna say bls is like that's my pick yeah like bls is gone oh yeah his ass is out of there so the the only bands that we added is going to be bls is gone the link with duo is gone trap that shoot is gone and ring is gone so those are the four that are just now at one, they used to be at one for us, and now they're completely removed from the game for the for the new the new modified goats. Um, and then let's see, let's see, let's see. Where my Discord go? As we're got Dolan High gets a win the RPS playing Turbo. Good luck all around. Upstart. Let's see if I can find my uh, my little modified list here. Okay, here we go. So now we have for the semis the new hits we have. Uh, Gravekeeper Spy is going to be at one. Book of Taiyu is going to be at one. Um, we have Giant Trinade is going to be at one. And do, 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 do. 
Level limit area B is going to be at one and gravity bind is also going to be at one. So those are the, the hits for the singles now. And then for the at two, we put reflect bounder back to two. Um, and like that. that's it. And uh, Abyss Soldier is off. Abyss Soldier is now at three in, in new in new modified goats. Just to open some stuff up, man. Try some stuff. I think it's going to be sick. I think it's going to be really, really mm-hmm. cool to see what these duels can cook, man. Because there's so many different decks you can make now. And so much stuff is viable. You just you just really can can try a lot of different things. Michael Gray asked, so Sork's at three? Sork's still at three. I, I, fall, I fall for that. I got I got vetoed. I mean, I got vetoed. Sork, Sork's yeah. at three. Sork is at three. Rhoda's still at two. Um, one hit that I, f- I would like to see, I would like to see Phoenix, Phoenix go up to two. I don't think, I don't that think beasts. people, yeah, Phoenix, Sacred Phoenix at two. I would like to see that back up to two. Yeah. I, three, I think might be too much, honestly, but two, I think is fair. And the fact that it's at one is kind of ridiculous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I genius you not says Bios is crazy unfair. And I would agree with that. And I think that's why it's, it's on that modified ban list. Yeah, it's gone. BLS is gone. BLS you know in gone. Tengu format, they have Honest plus BLS. That's ridiculous. I know. That's ridiculous. I was playing against, I was playing against Jazz in um, a War League match, and I was re- reviewing it, and I actually could have gotten game if I used BLS plus Honest to attack into, like, a Tengu, mm-hmm. bump him up to, what, like, 4,700, and then attack into a glow-up bulb. <laughs> like, that is just unfair. You look at Edison format, you don't have BLS. Tengu, you do, and you have Honest also, and it's just, like... Those crazy one ups can, and and I think honestly I think no, no pun intended I I think if BLS was were in Edison format I think he would be strong enough to warp that format too. Because yes. you, you can look at the you can look at the gravity that Dark Arm Dragon has in that format. BLS people would figure that dude out and he would be played so heavily, and it would warp it would warp that uh, it would warp that thing too. So he's he's obviously too strong for Edison format. He might be too strong for Tengu format. Definitely too strong for Go format. We're failing to find and shit. We got Thunder Dragons. We got Spies and shit. You got all this stuff that is just supporting this asshole too. Sangins and Miss Tomatoes and all kinds of stuff. Every All the best cards in Go format are dark. All of them. Yep. All of them. All the best monsters are dark. A couple lights, but... I mean, you got your Thunder Dragons. Just excellent discard fodder. It's ridiculous. You get that light. Tribute monster, you can snatch the other opponent's monster, tribute over it. Like, you have that utility with the card. It's just... Wild, and you have the good darks. Slow format, you're gonna eventually accumulate all of those resources, and then you just smack that dude down. It's just like GGs. Yeah, uh, we got some questions coming in. Uh, the modified banless tournaments will they be for world? They unfortunately we can't make them for worlds. We can't make them for worlds invites. But what we could do, what at least my my plan, maybe not this year because we're still in the initial planning process and the initial research and development process. So a worlds tournament. Like this year, obviously, it won't probably won't happen. It's just trying to figure it out, doing research, getting information. That's what we're doing right now. After this season, after this Go Format World Championship in October, we'll come back next year, and then potentially we could have the standard Go Format World Championship, and then a separate standalone event with the same situation. But this is you're playing modified goats, so two separate circuits that are running parallel to each other. I think could be very cool. And also what could and what I hope would potentially happen is that the information that you learn from playing modified goals can translate over to some of the things that you now can do in regular goals and vice versa. Like you can kind of, they can kind of help where they're not played together, but just some inform- like new text or new ideas or new ways to think about it with stuff being banned. Oh, I can now make this work with uh, with with the, the standard list. So mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's going to be cool. <clears throat> can we check the graveyards real quick of course sorry sorry because i because it looks like we've been having a crazy duel i see i saw dueling high fire off turn one card destruction with some tds mm. and a graceful and he had a trap dust shoot and apparently a night assailant and it, it just seems like he, he's cooking with the hand cards right now he's just been drawing everything just, his entire bag just getting into it as this is still game number one it looks like Ivan is getting to the turbo portion of the deck, not really into the goat control portion of the deck. You're down some cards, but you're not out. It looks <laughs> like he's opting to play two Dekoichi, at least in the main, compared to Geist, who 
if you looked at some of his CC uh, Chaos Control lists, would play one to Koichi. So I wonder what the theory was on that. That one was cool too. I like that one. He kind of guys kind of taking a little taking a little taking a little step back. Taking a little step back. Mm. Um, we got we got some people asking. We haven't. Uh, it's not it's not announced yet. We're still fine tuning it. Um, there should be an announcement in the Discord and on the YouTube page tomorrow on the on the on the uh, community post. We're gonna make a community post, and Pui is gonna make an announcement tomorrow. We're gonna cap it at thirty two for this one. There might be a, 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 like a small prize. There might be a small prize associated with winning. But in terms of like millions of billions of dollars, it probably won't be anything crazy like that. Maybe like some Discord Nitro or maybe like some uh, some some dueling book um, accolade, dueling book swag or something like that. But there there will there will be there will be some sort of prize, and it's just going to be something because right now if you play in this tournament, we're using this as research and development. So you're you're providing that type of service. It's not fleshed out yet. It could just be completely ass. And we have to make more changes as it goes on. But once we have a certified product that is good, then we can start putting more uh, prizing and support behind it. And that's the plan. But that'll probably take place next season after uh, Worlds this year to make it more official. Official, official, official. As Sork is going to be out smacking in for 23. And it gets in clean. Ivan's down but not out. Dueling high sitting at 10,000. Mm-hmm. That's a hefty chunk of life points right there that Ivan's going to need to get through. Again, being down with CC, you get all these two-car combos, cert plus meta, scapegoat plus meta. If you, if you see one part of the engine but not the other, or one part of the combo not the other, it, it feels bad. Sitting on scapegoats, you don't want to be doing that. Yeah, because at, at the end of the day, if, you're just, if you just play them and you're just getting blasted, get them just chomped up. You're really just a long nag. It doesn't, you got to get some kind of value out of it. You got to cash them in to get some, to, to make it work. Like a swords of revealing light, but just, just, yeah. <laughs> just two, two turn swords of revealing light at, at most. Usually maybe three, if you're really lucky. Mm-hmm. And it's like, damn, and there it is. So we're going to have to play those things just to keep your health. We were just talking about that. Just keep your health in it. In this there we go. In a steady, yep. in a steady locate, steady range, just play them now. And now we got Sork bashing into a token. Mm-hmm. As we got some duelists speculating about the new modified goats, Reckless Greed at two. Reckless Greed, I believe, I think Reckless Greed did get bumped up to two. I have to look at it again. What we, what we, what we're discussing. I don't know off the top of my head. Let's see, let's see, let's see. We got no Reckless Greed is still at one. Reckless Greed is at one. Good gob, Good Goblin is at two. Which good goblin can probably go up, honestly. Good goblin can come back to three, and I think people can get some crafty stuff done with three good goblins. I was trying to cook with that card, um, trying to make like an exodia list. Mm-hmm. It just it, it, it at two just feels so bad. If you had three, you can cook. I think if you had three, you can yeah. get loose with three. Like I, looking at uh, Scully's list, you have stuff like card destruction, like TDs. Mm-hmm. And you don't usually want to be discarding the pieces. You usually want to be drawing into them or getting them like in bulk, like off of some reaper of the whatever the card was that searches like the vanilla uh emissary emissary of darkness yeah thank you like get them off of that or you're like your opponent does something just being able to like draw a card stack one to the bottom can be pretty good but at two it just you never feel like you're getting that plus off it's 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 a it's it's a weird card i think a good way to like if you play um i think i saw a duelist using it with like reasoning gate like you mill and you just mill one and then you, hopefully you draw into the other one and then you play it and then you can get like some value out of it maybe, but I don't know. I can see that. That's a, that's a good one. Maybe we'll just mill them off of like the reasoning or monster game mm-hmm. at three. I think that could cook really hard. Cause then like the chances you mill one and then like have another one or I'd say pretty favorable for you. Yeah. I don't know why they, I don't know why they limited that, that thing. Why is vampire Lord even at two? I don't know. Vampire Lord should clearly be at three. That dude is not hurting nobody. Vampire Lord needs to be at three because he's not. I think. I think actually he's coming back up. Yeah, Vampire Lord is back up to three in in the in our in the modified goes for sure. He's not at one. He's not. He's not at two. Yeah. Only people. The only cards that that we're looking at putting at two are going to be Night Assailant, which there's some back and forth on that one. Reflect Bounder, Creature Swap, No Man Cross Out, Reinforce of the Army. Um, good Goblin Housekeeping and last turn. Everybody else that was at two is now at three. 
So Marana Captain, Chick the Yellow, um, Abyss Soldier, damn, um, the damn Darkness dude, Manticore of Darkness, which can get weird. That can get weird. We might, we might have to, that might have been oversight there. So we might have to close up that loop with Manticore of Darkness and Night Assailant because I don't, I just don't like Night Assailant. I think Night Assailant should be at one and Man- Manticore of Darkness could just do weird, weird stuff with, you know, that's a weird, that's a weird ass car. And you put it at three, it just get, things can get weird. So it's something to think about. Something to think about. I want the fire chicken at at least two, if not three. I think two is fair for Sacred Phoenix. Three, three might be a little too much because you got three Sacred Phoenix, three, um, three Sacred Phoenix with three Hand of Nephites with Last Will and Monster Gate. It could get very stupid. That can get pretty dumb. Like you can deal with the damn thing once. Mm-hmm. You can deal with it maybe twice, but dealing with that thing over and over and over again. You got two of them coming back. That's a bit much. That's that's a that's a that's a bit. Much. Two two is cool. I think two is fair. Especially with three sorks, like if you're playing the chaos deck, like yeah, banishment on that card feels really good. Same thing with like vampire lord. Mm-hmm. Summon a Zombira. Ooh, you're feeling so good. Ramming into his uh, vampire lord. Yeah, they should bring. They should bring. They should vamp, vampire lord coming at at three. It is probably not going to change. I don't think people are just going to randomly just start playing triple vampire lord. Triple vampire lord, double phoenix deck would be sick though. I'd play it. I figured. I figured something out with That'd that. That'd be cool. Or some like zombie list mm-hmm. be kind of cool. I know uh, Alvarado's thinking about cooking up some like water zombies, possibly. I don't know if that's spoiling I, something, but I know that's something he has on the back burner. I wish he would play it in this damn tournament. I mean, if you got if yeah, Alvarado come out here and plays freaking water yeah. zombies and has it cook, then <laughs> there you go. I know, and all these players they they might like they might seem like we're all opposites because I'm one way. I know I'm on one side of the spectrum, and I know that. A lot of the community, especially the competitive community, are on a different side of the spectrum when it terms of like what we're trying to get out of our time spending playing this game. But I know all those players that are that are completely disagree with me. They got decks that they in the took. They got decks out there that they just know are good and they know are cool enough to be played. So that's I think that's what it is. As Nate Dog says, I think Ant wants his top spot on the leaderboard back because he's put down Spice since dropping it. Who's on the top right now? Who is the number one uh, ranked GO format player right now? Who is it? Let me think. Is it Insidious? Who is it? AJT. Duh. Okay. <laughs> I should have known. Yeah, after winning GSC. After winning GSC. Yeah. I should I should have known. Okay, I should have known. I should have known. Yeah, GSC run will put you will put you pretty high. I know Insidious has been topping a lot, so I figure he was pretty high up there too. It has, yeah. I mean, looking at that list from GFC, I think that was just like a, that's a perfect chaos turbo list. From yeah, AJT. I liked it. I liked. It. I liked it. It was. It all seemed yeah. in the side had some really cool cards in there, and it had a lot of. I mean, a lot of different stuff that kind of came in huge for from a lot of matchups too. The level two and the call looked great. We got tribe, and we're out here swinging, and we're going to bash, bash. So Ivan's down again. I mean, another downfall if you if you have scapegoats instead of swords of revealing light, you're not protecting against these weenies that can just clear these tokens with zero attack, zero defense. So you're still getting it with the 3900 as he rips a heavy storm. And that is rain for gain. Dang, yeah, rain's got to go. <laughs> rain's got to go. Like it's got to go. That get card's nuts. It's crazy, I will right? Tell you, uh, you know what's even crazier is the breakpoints with that card. I was in the finals of an eight man pod yesterday mm-hmm. for. The win uh, for the Time Wizard event, and my opponent he he had ring set. I was at twenty four hundred life points. He could not find the one hundred for game. Any way you cut it with the current board, I had like Sork summon twenty three hundred. He has like he was cooking with some serious spice with the Mystic Sword in level six, like call from hit. Yeah, yeah. You know the attack points on that monster twenty three hundred. <laughs> and then like it gets to the point where I've like gotten rid of his monsters. He's like he's smashing ground my Sork, and it's just like. That that ring was just so dead, dude. But one hundred off. It just sucks, man. I I, yeah. I I think that car is just such an asshole. What was your opponent cooking, dude? They were at Mrs. Storm's level six bag, it dude. Is an Earth Aggro with like the level six? Yeah, I fu- I fully support that activity. Dude. Smashing grounds like warrior stuff. Yeah. I fully support that activity, man. That's such a cool car. It looked good. I fu- I support it. Um, summon Gaff attack for twenty three hundred. Feels bad. I'm with it. Looks like 
We got Ivan with one Trinity so far. We got Dueling with Duo and Dueling High claps back with the Serpent in hand already. So feels kind of bad if you're Ivan. Oh my bad. I'm sorry. We have I have a, have a winners finals up here. We are not winners finals. That's on me. That's on me. I need to I need to fix it. Let me fix it real quick. We are not in the winners finals. That is on me. We are in the. We'll go back to Dogtown. There you go. We've been in dog finals. <laughs> the dog. The finals. semis are finals. No, no. This is uh the winner of this has to play uh, Alvarado. Has the unfortunate pleasure of going into <laughs> Alvarado again, and then the winner of that has to go into Noodle Town and take on the Noodle. The big noodle. And the big, the hugest, the biggest and most <laughs> the, vigorous. The largest noodle. of noodles. He's coming the in. The largest spaghetti. And he's waiting. He's waiting with the freaking fear from the dark. It's fear from oh, the dark deck. Can... Mm-hmm. I mean, looking at this right now, flip spy, activate knock. That's probably the best feeling you could have if you're Chaos Turbo. Like if you if you were to ask Ivan some of his top favorite things about Chaos Turbo, it's gonna be flip spy, knock your opponent's spy. So and you then, get the third one out of deck, you get rid of their defense, and you're just swinging in for 2,400. Dude, the Spy is such an asshole of a card. Oh, my God. It's so good. It Down is one. so good. It's, it's one. We got it at one. We don't yeah, want to get rid I mean, of it you're... completely because um, GK cards exist. Yeah, I didn't want to piss off the five great keeper players. <laughs> Might be more of them. Maybe. But flip Spy for, for guard. That could cook. Necro Valley is... A hell of a card even in uh even in the modified list i bet keep your opponent from banishing for sort keep your opponent from getting back serpent i've, tr- I've tried cooking with that card and it's it can do some work yeah dude i don't know i don't know why why a great like i think maybe it's because they're so like um i don't know maybe it's because they're so fickle the, the gks man I I've lost the GKs enough, and I've beaten people with GKs enough to know like, hey, this deck is it seems good enough, but they just seem so weak. I don't know why. Maybe it's because their guys are just fifteen. If you don't have Necro Valley stuck, then then you just lose. Maybe yeah. I don't know. I remember I tried way back to make Gravekeeper viable because like Necro Valley is such a good card. Yeah, like, against yes, yeah, but then your spy gets knocked, and you you just feel so bad. You knock your opponent's spy like. You legit need to like main deck mind control over a knock. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I was, I was just, I was just gonna say, man. I think if you're playing GKs, I don't think you can afford to play knock the way that, um, the way that mm-hmm. spy is so heavily played. You knock theirs, you just lose your whole huge portion of your engine. So I think that's, uh, I think that's probably a triple mind might be the way, because you take their mm-hmm. spy and then you flip it and you can bring out other guys. And I that, think that's, uh, that's cool too. That's a good idea. Yeah, actually, I, I could dig that mind control their their moths you have to with main deck mind control i definitely think you need to be a bit of a more cerebral prayer cerebral Mm -hmm. player to be able to kind of read those those set monsters game one effectively i'm gonna write that down dude gks dude gks make it happen free mind con yep and people ask again i'll I'll put the i'll put the uh i'll put the videos out on the channel you know people ask like hey man where the gk is at bring the gks gks have a fan base gks have supporters Okay. I mean, do you know the the innocuous question? Do you play uh, like if you play Grave Keepers? That's not a question, but like if you play that, that, that's a meme. Is, like if you play Grave Keepers, like the stream. If is, you play Grave, is that a fact? Do they got? Hey, if you if you are big, if you got big big Grave Keeper energy out there, all the GKs out there, make sure you guys represent right now. Like the stream, all my GKs, all mm-hmm. my GKs out there, like it. I mean, I remember when Star Strike Blast first came out and, like, you had the Gravekeeper's Recruiter getting introduced and, like, all the Gravekeeper players just came came out of the woodwork. Flocking. It, it is a cool deck. It's, it's got some cool cards. It's got Necro Valley, like, literally just bumping your dudes up. You summon freaking one. You set Spy. It's a 2,500 beater. Good luck getting over that. <laughs> Stardust 2. <laughs> what about, um, what about Tingu? I know Tingu. Gravekeepers go kind of crazy in Tingu. They do. Uh, kind of, they go they've, hard. They've got they got some good stuff, like a lot of like stuff with royal tribute. You got pot of duality, just like dig. Mm-hmm. How Versus is, agents, I'm... like you hit Necro Valley plus royal tribute. GG. Agents, I don't know if you know, they play seventy five percent of the deck is monsters. So, how about yeah, uh, just, how about you, you extend um, the handshake? Is that uh, is that is that do they have um, what's the card I'm thinking about? Terraforming is terraforming available in in Tengu? I have to check the list. Okay. I, because I mean, you, you've got the commandants that are, that's basically mm-hmm. your 
in in, in deck. archetype yeah necro valley not searcher in archetype crap. necro terraforming whatever card yeah um let's see here i have to check man tingle seems cool i like i like tingle a lot we we um I, I believe format library hosted the 3v3 and we had three tingu three or three one ed one goat one tingu and they did that a ycs with that as well and after that i kind of been looking in tingu and we hope i hosted the conclusion of that tournament i know beast mode started it and like for the stream and it was it was interesting man i had a good time checking it out i like learning new things and trying seeing and seeing new stuff man and just checking it out seem seem viable you know i have some good homies with bluetooth as, as are you and bluetooth's big tingu man he's tingu he's tingu he's tingu tommy he's out there tingu he's got the tingu he's got the tingu he's got, the, yeah, he's he's got tingu favor dude rocking the cats yep i tingu you tingu he she we tingu all yeah out here i'm looking for terraforming i don't see it right now on the mm. list okay so it's probably out there it's probably free as a uh, graceful charity is up for ivan who's trying to get to the units was trying to take the stank back to dueling high who's putting the pressure on with this uh night assailant sukiyomi loop got two set backies and we're gonna think about it here as you're able to cash in those thunder dragons so maybe you just got all the damn cc stuff out of the deck and going straight turbo turbo mirror when it's time to mirror and then you go cc when it's time to warrior i think that's pretty that's a pretty smart move honestly straightforward just yeah. keep it just keep it a buck nasty because chances are if you're playing cc your opponent is not going to bring in you know the anti-turbo measures for the most part they're going to try to just play it like a normal cc maybe bring in a sure priest which will make their mm. turbo mirror worse so if you just take out all the cc stuff and just go straight chaos turbo and if you're you know ivan's ability to play the chaos turbo mirror game two and beyond should be you know, a little bit more advantageous for you. Whereas your game one, if you line up against like a warrior deck or some type of aggressive deck, which are all over these PWCQs, then you still can have game game number one and then side however you want to side. So I think that's actually that's actually got some got some serious uh some serious merit to it. As we got Book of Moon coming in for dueling high. It's gonna book the try it. I think that, that siding idea has has a lot of weight behind it. Yeah, it's kind of smart, especially I like, guess you know your you know your meta game, you know your environment too, which a lot of people I got yeah put some onus on that. You got to know when it's time to know what the situation is and how to make the best 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 bang for your buck. Yeah, maybe I've not had this as a medical thinking there wouldn't be as much turbo, but still wanted that ability to side in for the mirror match and the or decide to play against turbo, and I'd say. Best way to beat Turbo is to play it. Now I don't know you might disagree with that or think that's like kind of a. No, I actually, I actually, I feel, I feel one hundred. I feel truth. it's the, it's the unfortunate okay. truth, and I, I, I don't know if you had a chance to see, but I, like a couple months ago or so, or weeks ago, I made a how to beat Turbo video, and that was like that, is, that was like one of my very first points. Like the best and easiest way, like to beat it, is to play it yourself. That's a fact. That is a fact mm -hmm. of life. As I have to eat that, I have to consume that myself because it feels bad. But if you want to have the best matchup against the best deck, then you need to play the best deck too and play it better than them or have get a little bit more lucky. That's a fact. Mm -hmm. and I think that's that's the strategy Ivan has with these game twos and threes because when you're playing Chaos Control again with like the one or two card combos, the way Chaos Turbo is going to beat Chaos Control is going to be just to set a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Like they're going to continuously set. You get that Thousand Eyes Restrict, you suck up a Serpent you feel so bad you're gonna, it's, it's coming back yeah it's, uh, it's, you, you for, yeah swap swap a serpent <laughs> you feel so bad you got that thousand eyes restrict and they just continues to set stuff and you can't do a thing about it because you've got this ter on the field that's just like staring at them you don't have sukiyomi as soon as they out that they're flipping up their cards they're getting their pluses and it, it just doesn't feel good so then that's when you say maybe enough's enough maybe you abandon this Swap over to Chaos Turbo and show uh, Dueling High how it's done. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, and that's that's kind of been like the game. The game used to be like Chaos Control was like one of the most heavily played decks in the whole format. Everyone was on it or Go Control in those in those days. It's just how it was. Um, but now all of the Chaos Control like frontline players have essentially 
abandoned it for those very same reasons. Like when you're br- drawing bricking un- unbelievable bricks and you see the chaos turbo player, they're able to play these nice fluid card destructions and these night assailants and they're able to get nice starters and their hands are way consistent. Every time you don't got, you don't got to get jammed up with these scapegoat metas coming in disjointed areas and you just playing your game. Of course, a lot of people are going to get the hell out of there. I'm like, dude, I'm done with this. I'm not playing this shit. Why am I doing this? Cut this crap, dude. I'm gone. And they're going to go into yeah. a, uh, a, a a turbo thing. But maybe like 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 we were discussing here, maybe I haven't found a loophole and just go for a chaos control into a damn chaos turbo deck conversion the other way because it's been historically it's been done one way like you go for chaos contr- chaos turbo and then you go for the control stuff to match the aggression that may befall you. Mm-hmm. He just reversed. It looked like he just reversed reversed the funk, dude. And it's working. A little bit. Yeah. It, it's working. It's definitely working. Or the um the warrior smoke screens into turbo. Mm-hmm. Like I've seen I've seen that quote, like Moxie has done that before. And that's a cool deck. If you're going into the turbo, that's just like it could be so oppressive. Like going into game two, your chaos turbo and you don't see Nox, like if we if you had Nox banned in the format, like Chaos Turbo would just be so good, right? It'd yeah. just be number one, like case closed. Knox for what? Keep it in check right now. And if you get your opponent to go off knock, it's GG's. <laughs> You're cooked. Those moths resolving, those spies resolving, those decos. Everything's resolving for you, and you just feel so comfy. Like freely, dude. Like freely. Like you can't. Like just, you just can't stop it. Like, mm-hmm. and that's another one I've seen. I think I saw somebody experimenting with, like a reasoning gate deck, like a straight up reasoning gate turbo deck, and then switch it to a turbo like cut out the reasoning gate stuff and put it to a regular regular chaos turbo deck and you're talking you're talking about free flowing you're talking about freebies you're talking no knocks you're talking no storm no mst sometimes you're talking like no face people are taking out face against the reasoning gate people are taking bringing in like wing wing goos and shit and you're just like rocking straight up chaos turbo now they can't win it's crazy man i can't like they can't win, they won't. They won't be able to win like the game. So if you come out reasoning gate, sack the shit out of them, game one, and then game two, you're bringing in like you're taking out all the reasoning gate stuff and just bringing in straight up turbo stuff. And they t- they're they're going to take out their noblemen's one hundred percent. They're going to take out some number of their spell and trap removal. They might bring in like Jogan or something, or 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 Ashura Priest or Wangu, and now you're just playing straight turbo. They literally cannot win the game, dude. And it's, I think that's another one that they wouldn't. That needs to get uh, fleshed out a little bit more. I don't know how 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 to build it the, the most advantageous way, but there's a way that that could be done, and it's very scary. Mm-hmm. Even looking at the don't copy when he went with the Mataza deck, like it mm-hmm. smoke screened into a sort of more control aspect with some scapegoats, some metas, some decree because you're looking at a deck that is very aggressive loses to soccer unless they have like the heavy so then it's like you put in all these traps okay i'm gonna counter what you're count what you're pulling in to counter me mm-hmm. i'm just gonna put in decree good luck setting three pass i'm gonna decree your ass. a nice little plus run little plus two right there That's sick, and dude. i think those smoke screens do have a lot of a lot of merit because especially if you can catch people off guard with it like again with like yeah what moxies did what don't copy had cooking with the Bataza deck, and that was also something that I think uh, Ivan and Goat mm-hmm. were experimenting with, and they kind of just like give them. He's like, okay, try this, and it's, it caught people off guard because it caught me off guard. I was actually testing with Ivan against that deck, and I was like, I did what textbook thing. I, I saw a bunch of beaters. I'm like, okay, let me put in these Sakus, and then it's just like, get get wrecked, like, nerd. Good luck with it. Get, get, get wrecked, basically. <laughs> yeah, sol- solemn judgment thing is like just a warrior deck. OTK. Okay, let me put in this interaction that stops you from doing stuff, and it's like, okay. Into phase decree, and it's like follow up. <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked, dude. So that's cool. That's cool. I like that. And that's, mm-hmm. that just shows, hey man, people can still have some game left in goat format. There can still be some cool things that can happen. I love to see it. As Mataza is in the chat saying, cheering on their uh, Deutschland countrymen representing Pim. I, I can't read it, and I don't want to try it because I don't want to embarrass myself and embarrass <laughs> your your language. But that looks cool. Shout out to the homies, Ming Ming. Bang bang, yes. Don't copy. Combine Mataza with Decree. The duel's name is Mataza. So you understand what they're all about. And they want to see Mataza being played a little bit more. So I can respect that. 
as we have Ivan, who has the Chaos Sorcerer, landed in defense position, Magician of Faith in attack position, and we're staring down Dueling High's board, man. It's pretty formidable. Good game. A little bit of back and forth here. I've been liking it, like looking at the Mount of Trinity. So we got two from Ivan. We've got none from Dueling High, actually, so mm. far, it looks like. So, I mean, looking at, looking at this board state, we got six cards on Ivan's side. Ooh, with mind control, if that's a magician of faith, you're gonna feel bad dealing dueling high. It can't be magician of faith. It's never magician of faith. Not like this. It's never. I mean, serpent's out of the picture. So, saying again, <laughs> it, it's got. He's viewing his graveyard. He's viewing oh, his graveyard. Oh no, so... not like this. No. Yeah. Dueling high. Oh. oh. What are we doing? I mean, if if dueling high can weather oh, the storm a bit. Oh man, that sucks. Oh, for... <laughs> that's okay. I think. Dang. Was he grabbing? He's getting that too graceful charity. Yeah. Dang. Dang. That feels so bad. It hurts. And we're just talking about how Minecon isn't that great, and that thing looked great. That was a good looking Minecon, dude. That was. That, that's got me like. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> there we go. That's, that's the only one for the stream. You guys are gonna get to me. There you go. No, you can have. You can have a couple more shots. I got. I just bought. Good. I just bought some new round. I just bought a couple more. Uh, some more ammunition, dude. So you can, more bullets. Okay. Let me, let me hey, it. you can give him a couple more shots. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. <laughs> Thanks for the rounds. Of course, no problem. No problem. No problem. They're free. They're, they're, I, okay. I got them. At, I got them at a discount. All right. At so a discount. Okay. We're we're gonna we're gonna get <laughs> we're gonna get the graceful. Oh man, as Dueling High says, zero trend versus triple grace getting clapped. Oh, dude. Come on, man. It's not over. He got four thousand life points. It's definitely not over. You can get to a Sukiyomi. Okay, mm -hmm. you can get to a Sukiyomi. Yep. But... Oh, dude, your cheeks, dude. Suk set the night assailant. Wait, has Sork used its effect this turn? Uh, shit. Like, maybe not. Did he banish? I mean, he got the moth. Yeah, maybe not. But you're gonna get that moth back next turn. So unless he banishes, it. if he hasn't banished already, he could throw that thing out of play. And you're gonna. Yep. Or the night assailant. Like either one. It depends. I mean, Dueling High being an aggressive player, if he gets a BLS or something, he's he's going to summon it. He's going to be the one that's going to put his but opponent on. You have it. Dueling, Dueling High doesn't. He's not live. He can't get it on. His, he's not. He got no. Uh, he's got no light monster in his uh, in his graveyard. So we're going to kick some. Oh. We're going to kick some. Uh, kick some guys out. Michael Gray think, is saying he's done. He's over. Yeah. Yeah. You get triple grace, dude. You're not winning a lot yep. of those. Ivan heads up play banishes the moth instead of the night assailant keep his opponent from even thinking about laying that moth touch the graveyard. Dang. Summons the breaker. That's this is just And we got ring here. We're gonna Ooh. ring. Okay. Ring that attack position moth looking pretty vulnerable right now if dueling high could get. Oh literally mm. I don't know what you need. Yeah. I you, mean, need, you need something. You need something good. You need a pot of greed into TD graceful into heavy BLS something. Was that moth? No, the moth wasn't flipped this turn. Okay, so Dang. I've been switching for defense to conserve his life points. Keeps the night of sand on field. Normal summon suit could get you back here a little bit, a little reprieve. A, a little, just a little heavy pro storm is super strong here. Ooh. You can't even go out of it. You're gonna be a jar. You're gonna lose a solemn. So keeping your life up, and no suit. Does he have the suit? That was must have been the last game he had that suit. Oh damn! So he didn't have the suit. Pro storm. I guess you could have. You could have held that thing a little bit longer and, and hoped for better days. Because now you're gonna draw that snatch and he's gonna RB some shit and you're gonna feel sick to your stomach. You're gonna feel sick. As Dueling High says, deck out, lol. I ain't no way. If Ivan doesn't, he has what pot of greed left. He has a few draw cards, but I'd be surprised if you can weather. No, yeah, it ain't no way. BLS feel presence the Thorpe. BLS is looming too. Ain't no way. If BLS was not a part. If you if BLS and two Sorks weren't or BLS and Sork weren't still floating, then maybe you could start mm -hmm. politicking for a deck out. But ain't no way. Now, now with the black lusted oh. one and the and the sork nasty. Okay, they're coming. We're coming. We're coming for your buns, dude. Your buns. And we're thinking here. French. Ooh, wow, TT. That's wild. Dang, does he have the black lusted to back it up? So maybe we're in this thing. Huge TT. Didn't think Dolan High had it in him. 
but Dolan Hyatt putting the torrential tribute to work, getting some tremendous value from it. Ivan's, I think if we've looked at some of the lists Ivan has done, he's kind of one of those people that have shied away from torrential tribute in the main. Maybe mm-hmm. it's different for his CC list, but one of the reasons he says is just like it's it's hard to set up, but right here, at least in this scenario, that was an amazing torrential tribute. And it's that was that was a, Ivan on the back foot. That was a gore, that was a gorgeous TT. That was probably one of the stronger TTs we've seen. Yeah, maybe, that was, maybe that's why he did the heavy storm, and I think that's a heads up play from Dueling High, thinking that there's some form of disruption for that torrential tribute in the back row. And we did see that with the solemn, despite it being a one for one since he got the jar agreed that ripping that heavy was a very good play for him. Oh shit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I guess we should have expected that if, if you're going into torrential tribute territory and I'm sure Ivan was considering that, then you have the other chaos in mind or at least something else. So we're going to guard in the knock. Can you get to your own guy? Oh no, not like this. You might be able to buy yourself another. Never mind. And it's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> you can <laughs> compensate their curse. Can't even leave your lips. <laughs> game like, your mind is like. Oh nope. my god, maybe you might get another turn in. No, you won't. That's gonna be game two. No. All right, so we're going to yeah. a the rare and indigenous game number three, and we're gonna see what it's gonna be as Dueling High is trying to get another invitation to the Go Format World Championship. I think he's already got two trying to go for number three ivan has one ivan won the goat grinder which i didn't even update my sheet i gotta update my my little spreadsheet um ivan's trying to he get did. to third the third one or second one uh dueling high is trying to get the third one i believe so both of these duelists clearly let's see checking out the, the rest of the bracket mr big noodle is not invited he was invited last year uh ivan has an invite dueling high is invited uh alvarado has Damn near almost six invitations, I think, already. Five, at least. I think five. Going through it. Oh, my God. Um, Dolan High again. Uh, Nate Dog still not there. So close, man. It's pissing me off. That's pissing me off. That's a player that I think deserves to be there. And I don't use that word, those words lightly. But I think he's done it. He's, he does so much, man. He's so consistent with it, but just can't just get over that last little, last little, little thing, dude. The last little. Mm-hmm. It's pissing me off too. <laughs> it's pissing me off. Nate Dog, I feel you, man. I feel you, dude. I know you're pissed. Mm-hmm. But damn. Just, uh, you need to keep at it. Just the more you enter, the more likely you'll luck can be in your favor. It's, it's it, all about consistency in it. Yeah. It has it has to it has to uh it has something has to change. It's gonna it it'll 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 go through at certain points. As Ivan says, have to use the bathroom real quick. AKA he's hacking into the matrix, downloading the down, the down drives, uploading the EXE drives. And he's about to open the most pristine hand. He just went in the bathroom, said, a said a little prayer, just pissed all over his hands, comes back. And now he's about oh, to open the Ayo. hottest. <laughs> oh, did I say, there's no, there's no chance. I haven't his hands right there. He pissed all over his hands, said a little curse. And now he's going to open the hottest hand you've ever seen. Now the, the, Real ways. If he's going to the bathroom, is it real quick? You know, he's got the good format dueling catheter in. <laughs> yeah, piss bucket, dude. Here it is. Watch. Duo. Here it is. I'm, I'm going to go and get the gun ready because I know it's coming. Gun's out, dude. Okay. Here it is. Locked and loaded. Locked and loaded. I don't have my. Do I have a cock? Do I have a cocker? I don't. Uh, you got the cocker, dude. I got the. Oh, there it is. Right on time. <laughs> Told you. I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was coming. <laughs> nice boy. You got it. You got that JDZ. I knew it was coming, dude. You I knew it. it. I knew it. Yeah, looking at this card, you said that's the one card that you would ban from this format. Immediately. It's showing. Yeah. In the Ragaki break, do you have a Serpent? He's thinking about it, and it's just like, it's just the freest plus one in the situation. It's so, it's so done, dude. It's such, ah. it's so bad, dude. And I think when you play it going first, maybe not going second as much, when we play it going first, you get like a huge advantage too, man. Like you're, the, the percentage chance of you winning increases so significantly and maybe late game people always like the and the detractors and the rebuttals you know the people who are anti 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 banning duo they're like oh it could be dead you might not have enough life points it can come late game huh? who cares dude <laughs> who cares like i don't care about any of that i don't care about none of that it's all about the turn one and maybe turn two or maybe if you hit it like late turn and you got like a full value duo it sucks 
it, it just sucks, man. So it is what it is. As you're trying to now grind back up, getting a car is much, much harder than it used to be. Like that plus one, minus one game, which is a real thing. We we're talking about theories earlier. It's hard to get a card these days. People are very stingy with their value, dude. <laughs> yeah, they are. People are I not getting jar Yeah. People are not getting blown out by a heavy storm. People are chaining jar grease to MSTs. People are not setting into torrential or summoning into torrential tributes like they used to. People are not going headlong into mirror force like they used to. It's hard to get a card. And that's just uh that's just one of those things. As we have a mind control, which is going to take over the set night as we're going neg here, but at least you will um, not allow your opponent to get that night of sailing effect to go off, and you'll just pass it right on back over. I wonder if dueling high was setting night of sailing, maybe to test for that mind control or knock. That maybe could he has be. something else. That could be. He does have his graveyard is uh, set up with dark monsters, so maybe he's just trying to feel out. A, t- a potential mind con and open across out using that dark monster as a bait, or maybe it could just be all he had mm-hmm. and just trying to get some defense down, see if you can get a card that way. Cause night assailant yeah. does have a plusing opportunity as we're going to go ahead and kick it back on over to Ivan after setting another. Another thing about pluses I, I really like to think about, especially when it comes to Edison format, when you got like a bunch of monsters that can search, we have monsters that can search like Manju, but like Stratos. Mm-hmm. Or even in, in Tengu format, like when you affect Valor, say like a tour guide, it's like it might look like a neg one there when he mind controls the mm-hmm. Knight Assailant. But say Ivan was able to set a monster, well then he he's denying his opponent that virtual plus one with the Knight Assailant. 100%. Oh to yeah, hit the set monster. Yeah, that's sadly we we didn't see that him able to capitalize on that. But that's something I've thought about, especially with Tengu format, a lot more is that idea of denying your opponent virtual plus ones and trading it that way. Oh yeah. That's a that's that's a that's a great point. Think just thinking about it, just thinking about the game differently instead of because I I know I know that plus I I don't, I don't I'm obviously I don't know how to play Tingle that well, um, and but I, I understand that the the plus minus game is still played over there and it's still played in Edison too, but in Go format like it's it's literally like live or die sometimes like getting plus mm-hmm. and getting minus and it can be the difference made between like actually winning and actually losing just getting plus on too hard and just not just physically not having the cards to be able to do anything whereas in edison they have a lot of um, a lot of graveyard shenanigans that you can get you can generate pluses from your graveyard like just banishing shit and bringing shit back and having like an arm oh, wing or mm-hmm. something kill a guy on the field that you got from your graveyard it's tremendous value that we don't have anything like that and go from it that can uh, match that type of match that type of energy but we don't. It, is, it is what it is as ant says people irl are still getting owned by two for one heavy mirror and tts that's the difference man <laughs> <laughs> they're getting blasted dude I, yesterday again like i was playing against a burn player and he like mst or i think it was heavy storms like my set for one and it's, it's just like you just chain the jar agreed got him that's you a- feel so good you, you're like i win this match just just from that simple interaction because you get that plus one it's just and your heavy is gone. Like, yeah, dude, your heavy. Those, those simple plus ones can be the difference, and they usually are. And it's like, and and now yeah, now heavy player, storm is gone. It's got it's gotten so bad. It's gotten so bad for me. Um, I'm trying not to get plus on so bad. Like, I'll sometimes just summon a guy and just swing into the back row, and I'm like, I'd rather just lose the monster and hold on to my heavy storm to when I really needed to make a tremendous push through. And it's been working out a little bit more. Trying not to get bamboozled by a heavy storm because sometimes they'll, like you said, they'll set three. And he blasts heavy, and they'll be like, Jar Jar, trap that shoot. <laughs> Got your ass, dude. <laughs> Got I, your I think butt. I remember. Um... <laughs> Got your ass, yeah. dude. Bend over, bro. And you just yeah. shadow realm right away. Hate to see it. Holiday holiday Bash Grand Finals versus um, NB on mm-hmm. Rescue. Yeah, I think I did an exact same thing going first. Set two Jar, set trap that shoot. Activates heavy, and just right there, you get that plus one. You just you feel like you win the game. It's, so good. It's, it sucks when that happens before it's just like you just want to like admit defeat right there it's bad it's a it's a terrible it's a terrible one but we got mm-hmm. Sook and we're gonna get the trap you're gonna get the Rick Icky break kick out real chaos sorcerer so that's scary now your graveyard is fully saturated with light and dark nutrients and Sukiyomi is going to be in the goat format dueling graveyard same with the nice sailing going in with the tribe and we have a, another Moff getting an upstart. So still no Trinity from Dueling High, but hopefully this upstart can grab one the deck, deck thin a little bit more, dig a little bit deeper. That's what Chaos Turbo does. It's just 
dig through the deck. Your next car is your best car. And that's a scary that's a scary sight though. Having a graveyard. When you see when you see these duelists start dumping Sorks and they got Thunder Dragon still in the in their employ, you're like, oh damn, here we go with this shenanigans are afoot, dude. Just just, just think about it. Just it's, it's coming. As we're going to go ahead and play pot, retaining Pryo, stated before, very clean. Still having Pryo, you can play your quick effects now if you have one to play around the menace that is known as Trap Dust Shoot. Ivan has to pass it back to Dueling High in this position. Mm -hmm. Nice little Suk action here. Normal summon, book the tribe. Can it get in? And if you're Ivan. Looking at the graveyard, we have. Oh, I think I'm lagging a bit. Oops. My bad. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. You're good, man. It's a little bit. Of so lag. we did have the Regeki break, yeah. Okay, Regeki break on the suit. I've been drawing in this pot of greed. And he did. If you notice, he did do the uh, the quick effect. He did discard Thunder Dragon, with uh, after after pot just to not get trap dust shot. So that is something that you can do. That is a legal maneuver. So he played mm -hmm. pot of greed, retained priority, drew up to four cards in hand. From that point, he activated the effect of Tribe Infected Virus, discarded it, failed to find, get back to three cards. You can do that. That is a legal move. Please don't call the judge. Please. Come on, Duelist. Get out there. <laughs> you can do that. Yep. That's fully, fully legal play that can happen in this format. Hate to see it. I think there's there's only like one other card that can activate from hand in that way. I forget exactly which one. I'm going to try and find it. But yeah, because Thunder Dragon is an ignition effect and ignition effects do have priority. Mm-hmm. You're able to do that. That's a fact. Selection mm -hmm. says, I've never seen that one. Well, you saw it today. And that's a real thing that can really happen in the real world. So if you really don't want to get a dust shot and you really think your opponent has trap dust shoot, that's a play that you can make every single day. Other one is Charm of Shabti, which is a, a Gravekeeper's card, funny enough, only in its effect, but not in its name. Um, during either player's turn, you can discard this card. Until the end phase, Gravekeeper monsters you control cannot be destroyed by battle. So that's another card that can activate from hand like that. Um, is, cool. is that is that how you say that? Is that how you say that? Uh, Shabti. I, I I've been saying Shabiti for years, dude. Am I <laughs> am I off, dude? <laughs> uh, Let me I look mean, it up. Let me. I gotta look this up. I'm gonna get yellow again, but I'm gonna I'm gonna search this thing. I'm gonna look this thing up. Car, dude. Charm it, of. It looks like the the like oh, uh, it Egyptian is, terminology. It is, it is Shabti. It is Shabti. That is Shabti. That is definitely Shabti. That is one hundred percent Shabti. I, I don't know why I call that card Charm of Shabiti for all these years, dude. <laughs> Man, that's <a> wild. <laughs> My bad, dude. Can't read. My bad. Yeah, TD ignition effect activates in hand. Okay, so people people are asking more questions about it. So basically. Um, the term, I, let's, just, let's just go back to the beginning as BLS is out here getting rung up. Big ring here for Ivan. We're going to lose the BLS. And we are going to go ahead and take the uh, take the 3,000. And then we got Thunder Dragon was going to be the draw. So that is a miserable Thunder Dragon right there as your BLS mm -hmm. just falls vigorously to ring of destruction. And damn, do you have a way to put a guy out? You have nothing, huh? You're just going to have to pass back on over to Ivan who was in full control but you now have the regeki break that's going to take over this set it is the magician of faith so that's a great hit with a very well-timed regeki break <laughs> and we're going to reveal the jar of greed as ajt bls your gfc 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 champion is in the building saying imagine having call of the hunter right now if you're doing high you're crushing ass if you have a call of hunter you're crushing that ass, BLS. dude. Mm -hmm. Bring that BLS mm -hmm. back, and you're wack. You're going right on into Pound Town, dude. You are. I mean, still, still no Trinity from Dueling High. That's like that's insane. That feels bad. I mean, I think I've done the math before on um, chances of not seeing like a three of. So considering Trin, mm -hmm. so like duo pot graceful. Um, if you if you get down to 20, 20 cards in deck. Like if, if say you, you drew one right after the number, we're talking about like a zero point zero 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 three percent chance of that occurring. That's crazy. And it looks like it's it's getting down to those zero point zero zero decimals, like repeating zeros for for dueling high. And it's you just feel bad in these situations. I I remember one of you bring you bring that you bring up a great uh, another another thing that happened to me made me think about it. But I remember 
one of one of the last times I played Thunder Dragon, and I rarely I rarely played Thunder Dragon because of this <laughs> situation. Like I got to the point where I had like Chaos Mons in my hand, and like at any point, if I draw Thunder Dragon, I just immediately win. Like for turns and turns and turns had gone on. The game had gone super late. I'm like, if I can just get to Thunder Dragon, I could just win. And the game just continued to just go on, go on, drag on. And it got to the point where I had five cards left in my deck. Three of them. Three of those five were Thunder Uh, Dragons, dude. uh, And I'm like, what are the odds that could happen? Like, what are the chances that something like that could go down? Five cards left in my deck. Three of them are Thunder Dragon. I'm like, bro, I'm never playing this fucking card again. Ever. Get this (laughs) shit away from me, dude. Yeah, I mean, you, you at least have the peace of mind knowing that's like an infinitesimally small percent of his chance that I was pissed. But like but okay, but I play I play every other time. Every other time I'm playing, I got two in my hand. They're they're coming they're coming in bunches, dude. In my hand. Oh six cards, yeah, like, I'm drawing I'm hoping to double. But when I need yeah, sometimes, to sometimes yeah. Fuck, when, piece of shit, dude. Get him out of here. No, I'm kidding. That card is I too mean, too good. I mean, there's still sometimes there's people that can like literally win if if they draw a bunch of TDs. Like I saw World Gone Mad. He won with three tds oh yeah drew into three and you got off it. of his opening hand and he still won and it's just like i got one of those. Just, i've done it before i've done it before how are you that skillful how are you that skillful you're so skillful it, take, it takes it takes a little bit of good fortune and a little bit of luck and a good, little bit of skill and some power of will mm-hmm. dude probably a couple a little so, bit of power of will you know what i'm saying a little bit of that a little bit of this as ivan still getting to the trend dueling high has to be absolutely molding dude he's like bro let me cook dude let me eat please i'm hungry you gotta feed me down low, big dog. Let me eat. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me eat. As Dueling High is in the chat and also in the duel, saying again, I don't play trend. You need to get it. You gotta have it. What? Talk to your Dueling Book editor, dude. It Pull that shit out, dude. Pull it up. Mm-hmm. It's coming. But damn, it's wild. Damn. In the, like eighteen hundred. I mean, you've got the set monster on the field. Ivan's got no field presence right now. He's got. One Sork left, so at least in that sense, Dueling High has weathered the storm that is Ivan's Trinity, Ivan's Chaos. So but, even though he's kind of in like maybe a slightly precarious spot, I, I think he has the advantage right now. Yeah, I, I'm, 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 just... I'm, I'm loving. I'm honestly, Ring is gone, BLS is gone, Sork is gone, Sork is gone, Storm is gone. If you could just dis- like not get blasted by Snatch and Breaker, dude, I think you're Dylan High's in a phenomenal spot. I think you're in a great spot. If you, um, you just need Snatch, you just need Snatch and Sorg, and don't let a fucking Dequoichi just get up in your cheeks, dude, and you're good to go. Dequoichis are banished. Spies are yeah. <laughs> Spies are still on the loose, and Spies can jump all over you too. I think you're in a you're in a good you're in a good little spot, man. If you could just weather, you got no ring. You got no, oh, got yeah. It. Ring is that's Ivan's ring is gone. All you need to do is just not get snatched, dude, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And not get the coin. Just train. Oh no, not the train. Not the, no the train's gone. You're chilling. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're good. You're good to go. I mean, thinking about back to who's the beat down. There's a there's a who's the beat down too. Who goes a step beyond? <laughs> and just talking about who's the control, who's the beat down, like that sort of aggressive passive mm-hmm. style. It's more so who has the inevitability. Inevit- in the situation, who's the one that if this game continues to go on, who's the one that's going to win? Like, and right now it looks like to me that's Dueling Eye who has the inevitability. He has he has the inevitability that the longer this game goes on, the more likely he's going to draw into his Trinity, get his pluses off this field, mm-hmm. get his pluses off of the pot, the uh, graceful. Not so much duo right now. Going back to some of the cons of duo right here, it would feel bad. But he he's. The one that's got the inevitability here, and Ivan's the one that's taking the has to take the aggressive approach, be the beat down to close this match out as soon as possible. That's true, um, but still, he's the, the 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 threats are remaining. Like he's got a bunch of spies, and those dudes can jump all over you quick. Uh, he's got uh, he's got snatch, which is huge. I think breaker still might be in the deck. He's got options to get in, and like twenty eight hundred is not a whole lot, but damn, oh damn. Like you said, man, if he could, if Dueling High can just continue to just vibrate and not get blasted out of here, he can, I, I think he's very, very, very easily could, uh, could win this, could win this match. AJT mm-hmm. says, I've been using upstart here feels bad. Sometimes that 1K life is wild. Oh, hit him at 18. 18 is even more attainable with a breaker, breaker at 19 just coming in clean. Could be, mm-hmm. a, could be the energy as well. So maybe that, that could come up 
It all matters, man. It all counts. But those rings of destructions are both accounted for in each duelist's graveyard. So that's going to be one thing you don't have to worry about. As we flip fate. Oh, my God. Oh, oh not like that's... this. Not like how many, this. How, how many is this at this point? This is like... What is going on, dude? Three three face resolved so far. We have Dang. two from Ivan. When does mine con? Then the just the pot graceful duo. That's like six. Not faith again. Can't oh, be oh, faith. Again, mine con. Okay, oh. it's getting spy. Okay, so I this, mean, this could be game though. If it's a breaker, it's hand. 15, yeah, 13. there it is. Yeah. Wow. Not like this. Oh. Did we get a GG from Dillenheim? What was the set? It was a GG. I mean, yeah, Mirror Force too. So he wasn't getting in. And no, it was it was a good game, but Dueling High didn't get the equi equitable share of the GOAT format Dueling Trinity cards. But it's still gonna be a GG. Yeah. GG. That was, that was a good game all around, other than some of the variants being very much not in Dueling High's favor. <laughs> it is. That, that was an enjoyable match. A good game three. And it looks like Ivan will be rolling up to Losers Finals. Okay. 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 So we have Alvarado. And Ivan are going to be locked and engaged. Let's see. I got some. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Dang, dude. I'm getting blasted again, dude. I'm getting blasted. Okay. Getting yellow, dude. Charm or Shabidi, dude. People are not feeling it, dude. People are. Gvor League is not feeling it. Mm -hmm. Well, JDZ, I want to say thank you for having me. I want to leave these last two matches to you to close it out. Okay. And um, I really enjoyed my experience. Of course. Commentating man. with you today. And it was a fun experience. Thank you, man. Thank you everyone that tuned in and stayed with me on. So, <laughs> dude, give yeah. him a blast. Give him a blast off before you, before you ride out, dude. Give him a give him a warning shot, dude. Give him a. That's not me, dude. That's oh, not my gun. Shot. Give him give him a little blast off before you take off, dude. This is not me. I don't have. A, I don't. I'm not. I'm not touching it, dude. It's not my gun. I don't have it. Okay, okay. There we go, dude. There we go. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks for dropping by, man. It was lots of fun, and you had some great insight, man, and coming and kicking it with me. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, we gotta do it again sometime you if, too, if you have time. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, and good luck to Ivan. Good luck to Alvarado. And then also good luck to Mr. Big Noodle kicking it in grand finals. He is someone who I'm actually supposed to play for my slifer. Really? He, he posted like nine o'clock. He was like, hey, can you play? And this was like right before the PWCQ. So I'm pretty sure if I didn't sleep my ass off this morning after being at the YCS, he would have loaded up that deck versus me. And uh, uh, I would have been. <laughs> Very surprised and probably would have lost that. So <laughs> if, if, maybe if you said PWCQ would have, would gives me a bit of an edge over him in our Slifer match. But That's good luck to him and good luck to everyone else. Right on, right on, right on, man. All right, dude. So that was uh that was the log the 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 low the <laughs> low. <laughs> I'm not, okay. the a lo, a lo, a lo. The, the, I'm just gonna call him the big L. No, but that's 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 too negative. That's too ne that's the the Logar. We're gonna go Logar. Can I go Logar? Can I put the sure. a hard A on it? Uh, I gotta be unique, man. I can't just I can't do everything the same. I gotta be my own person. But thanks for dropping by, man. And you guys, make sure you guys send us some love around. All the Loganites out there as well can uh, show love. And thank you for coming on in. And we're gonna hop it. back on over to the winners, the losers finals. This is Dogtown Finals, two of the game's greatest, locked and engaged. If you're here for this, then this is what you want. As Ivan and Alvarado have had a series of instant classics over the years as they both have held the number one ranked position for a, a long period of time. Each of them duelists trying to get in there. Trying to get back to that number one spot to challenge AJT for the crown as number one GOAT format duelist. All these duelists are, are all great in their own regard, but Alvarado has been on a warpath all season. Ivan has been on a warpath for years as well, so... It's incredible to see that the consistency is still there. As we got the first trap dish shoot is being ripped from Ivan, and we're going to take a sneak peek of the hand. Oh, my is Nightbot Wild? What is what is Matazo? What are you doing out there? Matazo, what are you uh are you spamming? Spamming symbols. Oh, come on, come on, Nightbot. Nightbot dog. Nightbot. Homie. Homie Nightbot. I need you to relax, player. You can't be out here balling up my 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 homies, man. You over here beating my guys up out here. Nightbot, chill, dude. Relax, man. Chill, dude. It's not that serious. We talked about this. I am Nightbot. I have a job to do. I get it, bro. I'm paying you to do that job. I need you to relax. Dial it back a little bit. Okay, I will. But honestly, though, 
check it out. We got Nightbot. All of the, the, the porn ads in the come on to my sexy stream. All that has gone down substantially, dude. All the come on in to my lusty lady stream or lusty guy stream, whatever they're they're whatever they're selling. That's going down significantly. Nightbot's on the case. He's that watcher on the wall that we need keeping this thing together. So shout out to Nightbot, but you got to relax, dude. You got to understand when the rebels are in there and when the bots are in there. <laughs> oh, as we're going to go ahead and set one, we got four. So we're losing GK Spies and we're losing to Koichi. This is going to be a, a darkless, a darkless duel as both duelists are trying to duel in the dark daringly with dashly deeds deprived of dark dueling digital du dudes there it is hey i found it i found it nate dog says yeah but now where will we find the sexy streams oh i didn't even think about that that's a that is a that is an unintended consequence dude that's on me that's on me i didn't know that you guys were looking for the sexy streams like that and that they were helping. I, didn't, I never anticipated that. I thought they were all just a, an annoyance. At least they're an annoyance to me. I don't like to see that. But I didn't realize that there were people who were being negatively, negatively affected by the lack of sexy stream plugs. My bad. That's on me. That's on me. That's on me. But it is what it is. It is what it is. Dude, is, uh, is, is the damn... Is the goat grinder... Is the dude is a DB grinder about to win this YCS, dude? Is that really about to happen? That's so sick. That is so sick. As we're gonna go ahead and hit a Thunder Dragon, it's gonna pop the Knight of Salem. So both of these duelists exchanging resources, trying to whittle down. But Ivan does have his Dark Monster set up now. Alvarado still has his Dark Monster set up as well. So both duelists got the darks in the graveyard. No life for Ivan though. And delinquent duo is gonna be played from Alvarado's position. Okay, wrong side, I'm sorry. Alvarado has one dark. Ivan has light and dark set up and no cards in hand as you're gonna go ahead and set one spell trap, pass it on over. Chris S says, JDZ, we need JDZ in a banana hammock. Come on, man, we're not doing that. I got one on right now for for five for five OnlyFans dollars. Did I go ahead and stand up and reveal the hammock that I'm wearing? I've been, I've been in, a, in a banana hammock this whole time. You just can't see it because it's waist up. So you're not seeing what's happening down below. There's a whole operation happening on here. Whole, whole opportunity. As, as the bounty is saying, okay, go community. We got three chances to stop this rehab run. Who's, who's the, what are those three chances? Cause it looks like uh, we got Ivan. I don't even know who, who, what, what affiliation Ivan's with these days. And I'm being real. I don't know what the affiliation is with with Ivan and what his uh what what his organization is these days. He kind of goes with the flow. He's in and out. I don't know who, what's Ivan's uh, allegiance. What is his allegiance? Who is he with? Who is his squad? Who is his squad up? Because I know at one point I know he was an overdose member. He was a rampage member. He was a LRG member for a time. He's a uh. <laughs> Is he, is he, is he, who is he with? Ivan is a mercenary. Okay. That's possible. That's possible. I don't know. Who is he with? I don't know who he's, who he's, who he's going to be crewed up with as we're going to go ahead and get the sentence of Serpente back. Breaker with counter is holding the board. Holding down the board with counter as we got Sinister Serpente is in hand. Alvarado's holding three. Ivan's holding two. Let's see who can finesse a card. This Sinister Serpent is just basically a free card every time. Essentially, if you can continue to wall up. Ivan plays the upstart. Goes one for one. Still behind the card. And Breaker will just go ahead and get in. Probably going into that Sinister Serpent again. Yes, doing its duty for Queen and Country. Walling up, taking shots. And you can just continue to add more cards to your hand as we'll just end here. Now you're able to freely add the Sinister Serpent back, not having to worry about any type of dust shoot shenanigans as you just go up to four now. You'll set one to the face of the breaker 
and it continued to just pass as Alvarado is trying to cycle more cards. Breaker is up and active. We got uh, one piece of the Trinity has been resolved for Ivan, one for Alvarado as well. Chris S is saying, I'm here for the nudes. You about to cook whoever? Who's cooking? Who is getting cooked? Who's who's getting cooked? Mr. Big Noodle is trying to cook. If Mr. Big Noodle is one match win away from going back to the Go Format World Championship, playing a very, very cool, unique deck. A deck I've never seen in GOAT format. I've, I've, for, I mean, definitely not the most optimal, probably, but it's definitely the coolest. Sometimes being optimal is optimal, but sometimes being cool is forever. Write that down. Write that down. As we're going to go ahead and hit in for 19. BLS has been committed to the field of play as we'll just get a banish in there. We'll go ahead and rip the card destruction here. Just trying to get to some units. Kicking out your own BLS. Kicking out your own Chaos Sorcerer. Kicking out your Nobleman of Crossout. So you lost a lot of utility there. But you had to make it happen because BLS is on the field. You need to answer the issue that is at hand. And that is that BLS. Backed up by a Breaker of the Magical Warrior. So you do take a neg there. But your graveyard is now set up, and you're going to go ahead and Thunder Dragon here. Playing around Trap Dust Shoot. We'll go ahead and add two, and hopefully you can put something down to kind of answer this BLS, and it looks like you might be consuming another 1,900 points of direct damage. Depending. Never mind. Check that. It's going to be the end of this duel. So we're going to go right on into a Game 2 situation. Going back to the comment section, I'm rooting for him, Mr. Big Noodle. We got some Big Noodle support. I think... And I'm not trying to take anything away from Alvarado, obviously, or Ivan. Um, but those guys are at the top. Those guys are at the top. And it's really very rarely that you find a lot of people that like just front run and root for the people at the top because people at the top are at the top. And they got it. They got it all. You know, they have, you know, the success and they have all this kind of stuff. And they're playing, you know, more traditional meta type strategies. Mr. Big Noodle, I think most people are rooting for Mr. Big Noodle in this tournament. You know, it's and I, honestly, I th I still believe that he has an uphill battle. I think he's got a long way to go. I think it's not anything any any of these duelists can clearly very Ivan or Elrado could very 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 easily double up right there, very easily. But I think it's um it's so he's gonna have to come in and be ready to play and stay laser focused because it's definitely not over. Definitely, definitely not over. All right, cool, 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 cool. All right, man, we got six hours in. I might have to go to use the facilities myself, but I think I can gut it. I think I can hang, I think I can hang out. As we got 2 p.m., I might have to go eat some food, man. I'm quite hungry a little bit as well. Need some coffee. Dude, my whole support system is just, you just hook me up with some coffee or something, a little bit of, I mean, get some snacks. Nothing, dude. I'm just out here with it. Got to use the bathroom. That's life. That's life. It is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. But I'm still kicking it, though, man. I'm still kicking it. As we're in our number six. Long side deck in here. Elrado thinking deep of how he wants to address Ivan's deck. I am not. I haven't seen Elrado play too much this season. But we understand he does really like to manipulate that side deck sometimes. And get in there with some, uh, get in there with some, a little bit of trickeration. A little bit of smoke screenery, if you will. He's, da he's dabbled in the past with some very cool transition type things. So maybe he's got some of that kind of stuff and he's really trying to ratio it out because he has to play this mental game against Ivan, who is clearly doing some type of transition uh, maneuver of his own. So cool stuff happening as side decking is now complete. Uh, Alvarado will be leading us off going first. Here we go. Comes out, just slams an upstart, and comes out with a little bit of a, a three set there into a trap that shoot. Okay, okay, okay. Dang. 
But yeah, I might have to. Uh, I might have to take a. I might have to take a quick, a quick commercial break. I might have to take a quick, a quick commercial break. Just go use the facilities real quick. I'll be right back. We'll leave the game on so you guys can see what's happening. But I'll be right back in just a moment. Don't touch that dial. Make sure you guys like the stream. Scream. Make sure you guys like the stream, and subscribe to the channel. Oh, I, I just noticed that we had a new subscriber. Joseph Laws has subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Joseph, for coming on into the Goat World. Welcome. It didn't pop up. Usually it pops up. I don't know why it's not popping up. But welcome. Come on in and stay a while. I'll be right back. <laughs> oh, yo, 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 what did I miss? What did I miss? I just got two. What did I miss? My bad, my bad, my bad. I'm back, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back. I'm back. My bad. I had to go use the facilities. Had to grab this, grab this little bread roll right here. Had to, had to bread, had allowed, had to get this bread roll rocking. Shocked Ivan allowing his shoot to be dead now all game. Maybe he's got the plan. You think, you think Ivan's big city dueling right now? Maybe, maybe, maybe. We will see. As we go ahead and slam it into the ending phase, Ivan's just going to hang on to three right now. No graveyard set up at all for either duels. Check that. We have one magician of faith in for Alvarado. And Breaker's just going to come in clean. And we're just going to put the pressure on. Knock you down with 19. I've seen a lot of 1,900 Breakers and a lot of 1,600 Tribes coming in. More than I've ever seen in a tournament. There's been a lot of knock it down Breakers and a lot of beautiful head hunters. There's been a lot of voice raiders. There's been a lot of Gemini else and beautiful head huntresses coming down and I'm here for it. I'm here for it, man. I'm, I'm just, I'm full, full support of that. But Sukio flip me is going to be able to body bag this breaker, at least take his counter and then send him on to the graveyard. So that's less damage you have to take. And Sukiyama is going to go ahead and bounce back onto hand. Ivan now in full shoot proximity, whereas Alvarado has two in hand and one set spell trap. Known cards. I know that there's a Sukiyomi in there for Ivan. I don't know anything about Alvarado's grip. Just came back. Bathroom went great. Bread rolls looking looking scrumptious. We got a uh, Chaos Sorcerer. Alvarado just trying to up the pressure, up the pressure, win the game. No f no no dilly dallying. It's a lot of dilly dallying sometimes. You got to get out there and just send it in. No plussing. We're gonna minus. We're minus. We're, we're minusing your life points. How about that? As twenty three hundred gets in clean. You know, Sook. Sook knock is energy. You already have one knock. Chance of you having a second very low. We will go ahead and send the Sook in though. And you do have second knock, so we will go Sook knock. Double daggers stroke in for eleven is clean. 
as you're going to go with main two, bounce back the suit. Excuse me, in phase potentially. Sorry, sorry you guys gotta hear me eat. Let me turn this thing down. I'm over here. So you do it end up getting some value out of that Dutch shoot. I mean, that's probably the best thing you can ask for because Alvarado was never gonna play into it ever again. So you were able to uh, obfuscate your other set card. That's my word of the day, obfuscate. Say your other, other set card by playing this super dead trap Dutch shoot and is able to get hit by a mystical space iPhone and still going one for one. <laughs> still getting some value out of it as we're now holding three for Ivan Rosito, two for Alvarado. Where'd that plus come from? Was that, I missed it. I must've maybe that duo. Okay, duo, well, no, something else. I can't recall. Was it Tribe? He got a card somewhere in there. As we're gonna go Jar Breed up to four, hold and pass the Pryo, still sitting at four. You know there's a souk in there. And let's see if Ivan can mount some pressure now and see if Ivan can get down and get active into the hitbox. Alvarado sitting at 6,900 life points. Giggity, giggity goo. 6,900. Do I have a giggity? Nope. 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 Dang. What was that? Okay, I gotta cut that one off. That that soundboard is not it. I needed a giggity, dude. I just want a oh, giggity. That's all I need. Just giggity. That's it. It's a soundboard. Giggity. And that, that's all. When someone's at 69, you hit them with a giggity, dude. That's it. Couldn't get to it. No big deal. We'll work on it. I'll write it down. Let me get a giggity. Giggity soundboard needs to happen. MBD. MBD. Dang, even Bobby is on turbo in the MVP tourney. Yeah, it's done. Yeah, it's done. LeBounty. Sorry about that. My bad. I'm so sorry. That that sound my soundboard just is is out of out of whack. That's a, I do apologize for that. Won't happen again. My bad. That's on me. Yeah, it's done. Like all the all the warrior players, Lucas. Soul Master, Bobby, yourself, <laughs> yourself, La Bounty. I mean, where are you guys at? Like, what's going on? Is there a Warrior Discord? La Bounty, I sit in these discords, man. I'm in the Go Format War League again, way too much in the Go Format War League Discord. And I hear these turbo players sit back and they're just talking about turbo theory all day long. Where the warrior, where the warrior thought thought bubble thought groups at? Where are the warrior collaborations at? Let's get it together. Let's get the warrior. Let's get the warrior band back together. I'm sure there's something that can be done. Let's get a, let's get the the greatest and la the latest and greatest warrior technology. Let's get the minds together. Like I have some ideas, and we're, I was talking about earlier in the stream. Like have warriors and then shift into like straight like a return, like a bazoo return deck in the side with some giant grenades in there because you know they're coming at you with Zambira and you know they're coming at you with Sakuretsu armor maybe if you could just bounce the Sakuretsu armors with giant grenade and it just beat the shit out of them faster it could work <laughs> it can work aggro into aggro won't work I don't know man it could it, it could be a vibe as BLS is about to come on in and you're just going to have to solve this thing right away because you would lose immediately if that BLS were going to run that stop sign. And I'm sure Alvarado was preparing to swing. No doubt about it. But now you're sitting at 1,400, seeming a little bit more compromised. You do have... Uh, no, that Tsukiyomi is now gone. So we're thinking... <laughs> Go away, Bobby. You're with them. Oh, yeah, Bobby. You're a turncoat, man. Bobby's Bobby's turncoat. Bobby's turncoat. I have, um, I'm eating. I have this, it's like a croissant roll right here. Got this little croissant roll right there. Absolutely smacking, dude. And I got some of these uh, Bobo's apple pie stuffed bite oats, dude.
going crazy right now. Going crazy right now. Return return could be good. Returner could be a viable a viable option, but I'm talking like it needs to have the warrior identity and then side something to counter what Turbo is siding to stifle the warrior identity. Because Turbo has it figured out. They got you guys lined up. Zambira is all on your ass, dude. Zambira is all over you. Um, Sakurazu armor is all over you. And you can't, swords, whatever. If they've been playing sword, they just can't, you can't touch them. You can't touch them. You can't touch them. And it's been proved, it's been, and then when they start getting the Trinity stuff and they get spy, a spy is, spy is crushing, Zambira is crushing, Sakurazu armor is crushing. Everything else I think they can deal with. But those three, those three cards completely took that thing from like a favorable matchup to like almost unplayably, unplayably hard. And it's just so embarrassing, dude. So you need to have the greatest minds, dude. Put the minds together. You got the brains out there. Bazoo is a good card, man. Bazoo can beat Spy. As we're going to go ahead and summon Tribe. And we're going to do a little bit of mix and match. A little bit of combination here. Get the light set up. Light and dark need it. And now we have Chaos Sorcerer and Tribe Infecting Virus together in harmony. And you're going to be able to push for some damage here. Pretty significant damage. That's 3,900. All gets in cleanly. Alvarado still has some pretty good cards, but now your graveyard is not set up and you still have to answer the tribe and the sort. If you want to, uh, if you want to, you know, make your own chaos play in response to this one, snatch deal is the unit. That's the one you really, really want. If you can get to that one, you're cooking with grease. You're cooking with fish oil. People don't know about Winko. Winko, the grocery store. People know about Winko. Oh, I'm, I'm, I, I, we don't have Winko up here. We had Winko when I was in Georgia. There's no Winko in, uh, do we have Winko? No, we have, uh, we have Fred Meyer up here. We don't have Winko up here. Not that I've seen. We're big Fred, Fred Meyer in my area anyway. And <clears throat> I've been running into Strike Ninja on the ladder. Dude, I wish Strike Ninja had 1,800. I wish Strike Ninja had 18 and 12 as a stat line. Hell, give the man 1,900. Make him a legit meta threat. That card is so badass. Either make him, or what they could have done, make him 19 or 18. Make him 1,800, 12 defense, or make him 1,500, 12 defense. 1,500, 12 defense, 1,800, 12 defense. I think that card is just so good. If it was searchable by a tomato, you can do some really, really weird, cool stuff with Strike Ninja at 1,500. I think it'd be neat. It'd be cool. Why not? But that 1700 just pisses me off so bad. I just can't even play it. I love Strike Ninja. All those IOC Ultras. I love them. I love them all. As Yu-Gi-Oh! From Zero is in the building. Yo, what is up, B-Socks? How you living, man? How is your life? How is your grind? How is everything? I saw you out there with that Yada tournament yesterday going nuts. Yada seems so fun. That format seems really, really cool. I need to look more into it myself. I had a good time watching that stream. I watched most of it yesterday. It was uh, it was dope. I enjoyed it. I enjoyed it vigorously. As we're still, we're doing a deep think here on this graceful charity discard. As Alvarado is running the numbers, one in nineteen chance for a win, or a or play conservative. Ooh, dang! These are the thoughts, man. These are the thoughts. These are the thoughts. As we're thinking about it, probably like an upstart goblin play for a win, or it's a chill. Or it's a chill. Dang. Scary. Scary. Francesco Fre Freyetta says, what's up, JDZ? Yo, what's up, Francesco? How are you doing? I'm out here chilling. This is the PWCQ. This is the Dogtown Finals. You have two absolute legends of our game, past, present, and future. We have Alvarado and Ivan locked and engaged in a duel of wits in a game two scenario. Ivan's up. He has... The uh, he has the uh, the the advantage in this game. He has the advantage in this game, but the winner has to go on and play Mister Big Noodle, who's trying to get back to the Go From It World Championship. Both of these duels have already had their invitations locked up. Splev as JDZ. Guess who is Francesco? Who is Francesco? Who is that? I can't get. Is that is that a band player? Is that Funky? Is that the Funkinator out there? Is that Francesco? Who is Francesco? Let me know. 
I, w- I would like to know. Francesco Fraietta. Who is that? Who- is it is it somebody banned? I don't. I actually I actually don't have an issue with Funky. I really don't. Funky and I have always seen eye to eye. I'm Guy Emberman. Okay, okay, okay. I did. I didn't. I did not know. Okay. I would. If you would have said, "Hey, it's not a banned person," I would have. Uh, I would have probably went down the list a little bit more. Guy Umberman, where the hell have you been? Why are you not playing? Uh, are you playing Tengu? Are you taking a goat break and you getting your Tengu on? Where have you been? Why are you not in these tournaments? Where is Italy? Where the Italian duelists have not been? Uh, have not been on the circuit. As we're gonna go ahead and hit the Minecon anyway, and we're gonna take over the set. I played warrior format today. Oh, there was a warrior tournament today. I forgot about that. I forgot about that. Okay. How'd you do? What did you play? Warrior's another really cool one too. Warrior's a cool ass format. All those DM formats, man. I like them all. I'm looking, I'm looking more into them. I like them all. I like them all. I, I really, I really enjoy them all. They all have their own like unique characteristics. Yugi Kaiba, not for me. I'm not, I'm not that kind of guy. Every, all the other ones though, I rock with. They seem, they seem good. They seem cool. I, I need to play them more. As we're going to go ahead and take Minecon, take over the set. I got second with Burn was cool event. Okay, okay. Who who ended up winning the Who ended up winning a Warrior? Who ended up winning the Warrior? Yeah, Warrior is especially cool coming from Goat since it feels really close, but with subtle differences. Yeah, Warrior is nice. I don't I don't I don't hate Warrior at all. I like um. I like I like I do like pure which one is the one with uh with Chaos Ember Dragon legal. Mick Michobi's one on a creator deck. Okay. Okay. Look at that. I like I like I like that format too. I people hate it, but that format is where I really cut my teeth as a as a as a duelist. Like when I was out there that was when I was really, really playing Yu-Gi-Oh! And I was really out there rustling and hustling and getting cards and uh Chaos Ember Dragon, Black Lizard Soldier, uh, Mystical Space Typhoon at three, uh, Imperial Order, um Yadagarasu, Wish of Black Forest saying it. It's that's that format is terrible. Okay. It is so bad, but it's so nostalgic to me. As we're gonna go ahead and hit a jar of greed here, hoping for the Karibo that you just did not have. And we're gonna go ahead and <laughs> Special summon the injection fairy Lily from the deck and go GG. So he tried it. He did have the injection in there. That could have been cool. If you could have got to the injection fairy Lily and won, that would have been so neat. But you know what? That is, uh, he probably had ring. Now ring wouldn't have been enough. Yeah, I think he probably should have went for it. No, nah, because you had to upstart. You'd have had to pay, I think. I don't know. I can't do math. I don't know mathematics, dude. I don't. I don't think. Uh, I don't think that would have that would have worked out. But still, it's going to be what it is. GGs to both of those duelists again. Can't say enough about them. Um, Alvarado has lost, which it is every time he loses. I'm not trying to celebrate his losses, and I do find myself doing that when you see a player who is having like so much success over and over again. Um, just the the narrative is always you kind of find yourself kind of rooting against them or find yourself like tearing them down sub subconsciously or like inadvertently and i'm not trying to do that um but he's got enough like he's 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 got it all he's like <laughs> you 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 got it you, you you got it all you got it you got it all but man oh man it, when he loses because he doesn't lose that often and he's making these deep run after deep run after deep run and winning 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 like you see, wow he can lose and he gotta be ivan has to be the one who has to has to take him out of there. So Ivan now gets the dub and he's going to go on and he's going to try to get his revenge against the noodle. The noodle came on strong last time. The noodle came in swinging, going buck wild nasty. Uh, oh, back to the DM. I got DMs. Okay. Give me, give me one second. Give me one, one, one second, one second, one second. Let me, um, let me fix my overlay real quick. And then we can hop in there. Cause we're going to the grand finals as the noodle who is playing the one of one noodle zombies. I'm calling that thing right away. The noodle is just like, you know what? I like these cards. They seem like good cards. I'm going to put them in my deck. <laughs> and I'm going to play some Yu-Gi-Oh! with them. Okay? And I might win. <laughs> and I'm going to win. There it is. So taking over the game with multiple fear from the dark in your main deck. It hasn't ever happened. It hasn't ever happened. Okay? Ever. Ever. 
don't play like it has. Oh man, I played Fear from the Dark back when it first came out, and I topped of of shut up because you're lying. Okay, stop it. Stop. Tell the truth. Oh, I thought I. Oh, I, I see. I, I I wrote I wrote back. I just didn't send a message. I didn't send a message. I, I sent the message. My bad. Check your DMs. It's back. DM DMs are back. DM 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 DMs are DMs are back. DMs are back back back. All right, cool, 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 and we're back. We are in the grand finals. This is a rematch. So if you are not familiar with double elimination and how it works, if Ivan Rosito wins this match, there's going to be a bracket reset since Mr. Big Noodle has to lose twice. So there have to be another match is going to be played completely. Uh, if Mr. Big Noodle wins this, the tournament is over and Mr. Big Noodle is your PWCQ 57 winner. And we all just celebrate, you know what I'm saying? Like the, like the Ewoks on indoor, we're just partying. No, I'm kidding. I'm not rooting. I'm not rooting against Ivan either. I, I, I hate, I hate being in that position because I have to be remain fair and unbiased, but man, oh man, fear from the dark, fear from the dark winning of a tournament is nuts to me. The fact that it even exists, it just proves that, Hey, it's possible. If people elect to try different things, just try it. And you never know what could happen as we got Ivan coming out. We're going to lean on thunder dragon and you're only grabbing one. It looks like you're only nabbing one of those TDs bloods in the water already. as Mr. Big noodle is circling as he sees that maybe you're coming in from a little bit of a compromised vulnerable position, unless I'm lagged up. I think I'm just lagged up. Let me refresh. I'm lagged up over here. I'm lagged. Oh, my little picture guy is gone. Dang, I got to fix that. All right, so we're going to go to this. We're going to go back to this. We're going to go here and then noodle. All right, boom. Boom, boom. Okay, so we got Breaker. He's going to launch. He's going to get in for 16 after popping a jar of greed. So Mr. Big Noodle sitting on three sets in the back row. <laughs> Breakers getting in for 16 as we go for a snatch steal here. Do you have a way to stop this? MST, Regeki Break, Book of Moon. No, we're just going to slide it right on over as Breaker now is going to be force feeding you 16. Dang, dude. Dang. But yeah, getting hit with, uh, getting hit with delinquent duo. And then fear from the dark just jumps out. Not despair from the dark. Fear from the dark. Not despair. Oh, yeah. We're talking fear. We're talking the 1700 guy with 1500 defense. And he can jump out of there. As we're going to go ahead and hit him with a rare and indigenous battle phase trap does shoot. Seeing what it is. Maybe you can send a thunder dragon back and have to get bamboozled. We'll see. Yeah, I don't. I don't think I've ever. I think I've seen. I've seen a uh, despair from the dark top of tournament, but I've never seen a fear from the dark have any type of tournament success. And that's crazy that that's happening in 2024. As we got Sork, Thunder Dragon, Thunder Dragon shoot. Faith, Faith is going to be the hand. Hands looking not great, if I'm being completely honest. As we're going to go ahead and send off <clears throat> one of the magicians of faith. One of those magicians of faith just have to stop stop that party train from from rolling in. You know that there's a sork looming. Light monsters are already established. Maybe get that sork the hell up out of there, dude. I don't know. I don't know how to play this damn game. I I don't know how to play this game. As uh as as Yu Gi Oh Yu Gi Oh from Zero as can fear beat over breaker. Oh yeah, he's got seventeen hundred. He's got seventeen hundred attack, and he can also run down this damn attack defense position. Uh, Thunder Dragon as well. So he can put the pressure. Can't beat Kaiku. I still, I still in my heart, I still believe that regenerating mummy is just the better card because it's same attribute. They're both dark. They're both zombie. Uh, they both have same defense, but that 100 attack kind of, kind of goes a little bit further, I think. And also the, um, the, uh, the, the fact that it can still do the hand control kind of thing. Keep the duo, whatever. And it'll like stop you from, it'll, it'll just come back to your hand instead of summoning itself to the field. And that sometimes might be better as well. 
So I don't know. I don't. But fear the regenerating mummy has had success. Fear from the dark has not. So maybe that might be the reason why. As we're still kicking it here, we got four in hand. One set spell trap for I. One set mom for Ivan. Mister Big Noodle is pondering. Dang. Dang. Known Thunder Dragon. Set up onto the field. Usually when they start thinking like this, it really means there might be a might be a cyber a cyber cyber uh cyberstein play. As you know that this deck is also playing Cyberstein a lot too. There's a lot of Cyberstein in here. Alessandro Casolino says, you assume it's TD. You're right. It could be anything. No, we know it's TD this time. We have to because he played Trap that Shoot and then he said it. So it's 100% TD. Confirmed. Okay. Usually, there's a little, it could, a little bit of uh, a gray, areas of gray in there. This time, we're, we're we're pretty sure that that one's Thunder Dragon. Only because he trapped that shot and then he immediately said it. But we're still pondering. Mr. Big Noodle thinking long and hard. Running the numbers. Crunching the numbers, man. It's all about the numbers. Dang. Gotta make something happen though soon. You need to, you need to, you need to make a play. Big dog. Big noodle. Dog. Tight spot. I think even uh you got the you wrote it for the you wrote it for the ninja grand. Just take your plus. Maybe that's a part of the bait. Maybe you're getting baited and then you can't answer the damn faith and they get back snatch and beat the hell out of you with it. That could also be the frequency Ivan's trying to set up as you're into the first main phase. And now you go premature. Premature, we're grabbing somebody back. Breaker, so you're just trying to really, really run the numbers. You're trying to get some clockage up. You're trying to put Ivan on a on a turntable, on a turnstile, as you go in with the Ninja Grand Master, just to miss out on 200 damage. You, I'm, I'm going in with that breaker there, clearing that Thunder Dragon and punching in with the full 18. There is no gores in GOAT format. There's no need to play around his ability. It does not exist. As gonna, but even if it was, even if it was somebody else, I still think I'd rather go in with Breaker because for whatever reason, if Ivan hacked the source code and brought in a damn Guardian Sphinx, I still would rather the damn Ninja Grand Master attack it <laughs> instead and get it face up with the breaker i don't know but thunder dragon has 16 1500 attack or 1500 defense and 1600 attack so that 200 if that 200 comes up you're going to be uh in shambles as we got no minute cross out it's going to be the car in hand as we're going to be able to pop that magician of faith and now you got a bulky bit of beefy damage coming in clean let's see if it all connects as 18 goes in strong and that's going to be a dub. It did not matter. That 200 did not come up as Mr. Big Noodle takes the dub from Ivan there going into a game number two scenario. Mr. Big Noodle, one win away. One win away from walking into the GOAT format world championship. Chip, 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 chip. Oh, yeah. Mr. Big Noodle. MBN. I like that. Gunshots for MBN. James. The Professor Arc, dude. I'm feeling that. I'm, I, I think I'm MBN. Mr. Big Noodle is in the grand finals. Mr. Big Noodle is one GOAT format game away from going to the GOAT format world championship, winning the play mat, being the noodle, <laughs> being Mr. Being very large. Being pasta, carbs, in the title. Ivan's like, I need to get my second invite. Ivan's already invited. He won the Goat Grinder Invitational and is now trying to get back to a second invitation. Because as you know, in the Goat world, the more invites you have, the more invites you have, the more uh, advantage you will have in the Goat Format World Championship. And there is a world's planning committee there is a world's planning committee that is kind of underway right now. Lucas Gustafsson is kind of the tip of the spear. He's leading that and he's going to put together something. And then we're going to have that out to you guys 
relatively soon, whenever, however much time he's going to go talk to players, he's going to talk to judges, he's going to look at the old stats, the new stats, and we're going to get it right. But the more invites you get, there's going to be a type of advantage. Maybe it's going to come in the form of um, more breakers, tiebreakers you get as uh, as as invites that you get. So the more invites is going to be better for you. Clay Miller says, now imagine JDZ ASMR saying Mr. Big Noodle over and over again. I'll give you a sample. Noodle. Mr. Big Noodle. Mr. Big Noodle. Okay, we're enough, enough of that. Enough of that. Enough of that. Okay. Throw some throw some change in the bucket, dude. We can we can set up a ASMR stream at some point. I don't mind. You know what I'm saying? I still haven't determined if it's sexual or not. Everything I've read indicates that it might be somewhat sexual. Okay. So I don't <laughs> I don't I don't I don't I'm I don't I don't want to engage in that. But if that's what it takes to get the goat world from here to there, I mean I I'll, I'll do you do what you gotta do. <laughs> I'll I'll sell a little piece of myself. You know what I'm saying? As long as, as long as nothing's going in me and as long as I'm not going into something else, I'll sell a little piece of myself for the goat world. Literally don't mind if I do as the noodle is going to be down with the graceful charity. Uh, 385 Dermier says, I like that the more invites you have is an additional incentive. I think it's great. I think it's a good idea. Some people, again, there's always going to be uh, pros and cons for everything. But I think that it is a good thing because it allows um, your tournaments to maintain some type of integrity. If it was just you get one and that's it, what happens when you have a tournament and then the top players play early on in the season, get their invites and stop playing? The tournaments at the end of your season are not going to be as um, valued as tournaments at the beginning of the season or something like that. So uh, this way, it encourages your top players to continue to play throughout the entire season and now you can compete with each other hey how many invites did you get oh you only got three i got four i got five i'm better than you i'm the best look at this it's another thing that you can measure up against your competitors because it's a very competitive game not just on the field of play but also in you know off in the discords and in the servers and in the people look at their rankings and they look at who has what and it all comes up so having oh you only got one invite (sighs) whatever i got five look at me I'm better. I'm be- I'm clearly a superior duelist to you, and it's proven through my merits. It's quantifiable. I'm quantifiably better than you are, based on what I've done and what you've done, and that's something you can take to the bank. Whereas a lot of times you can't necessarily do that if people just stop playing. As we got Breaker, who's going to come on down, do his thing, get a little plus, but Dequoji's going to go one for one with himself, if that makes any sense, and battle gets a little car back, and Ivan is still kicking it. Graceful Charity has been deployed. We kicked out the jaw, kicked out the pre. Go upstart now, putting Noodle at 9,000. And we're going to retain. Ivan's retaining on six, dude. Damn. <laughs> Love the discipline. We're retaining Pryo. Six cards in hand. I was like, I'm taking no chances. And I will make no mistakes and have no regrets. We're holding six. And we're going to think about it here. Mr. Big Noodle's breaker has been going nuts. Still got 9,000 life points. That damn Cyberstein is looming as we go breaker on breaker. Now you have to think about it. I've been playing discipline for a while, but now you might say, you know what? You don't got it in you, big dog. You don't got it in you as breaker. The magical warrior is up and active. Are you running this red light or are you just going to take your plus and move on? Dang. Yo, like, I like the, I like the stream. Yeah. Nightbot's working for us again as we're running a red light and it will be that ring of destruction. So someone was asking earlier, this is a rare and indigenous breaker getting ringed at 19. There it is. You saw it happen live on this stream. Make sure you make a note where you were when that went down. Very, very rare and indigenous indeed. As we're going to continue to have breaker onto the field, staring down, looking for another 16 to go in. <clears throat> Excuse me. MBN and MBN's breaker smacks down with another 16. Let's see if it goes in and it will as Ivan now drops down to 4,500. Scary terrain, scary area to be in. Uh, 
Oh, crud. Let me see something. Let me see something. Let me see something. Let me see something. Um, uh, to do, do, to do. So. Okay. I'm trying to see. I'm talking to my, uh, talking actually to my, my Edison, Edison format Yu-Gi-Oh! dueling team. Oh, it's your instincts. They might need me to come out and play. And I need to submit a deck to play. So we'll see if, if they if they need me to come out there. I'll, I'll I'll dust it. Hopefully they don't need me, man. Yeah, we need okay. Let me let me let me submit. Let me submit something real quick. Let me submit a deck. Let me submit a Yu-Gi-Oh! deck to get out there. I'm gonna get cooked, dude. I'm so bad at that format. Let me do that real quick while I'm uh while I'm thinking about it. Do 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 do. Do, do, do. Sorry, we got the finals though. We're out here. We're cooking. We're cooking. Sorry, it's just a it's just a last minute thing, and I totally forgot about it. the things they're doing. Like, uh, not not a long amount of time, not that long of an amount of time before they are due, and I'm a pl I don't know what I'm gonna play. I'm, let's see. Do, 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 do. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, cool, 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 cool. I'm undefeated, but I'm lucky. I'm sacking. I don't. I'm not. I'm like not like out out beating anybody. I'm literally just. Uh, I'm literally just sacking. Like I have no idea what I'm doing most of the time when I play. So I um, I'm a, I'm gonna submit this. All right, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. All right. All right, sick. All right, I'm back. Okay, and I turn around and Cyberstein is back. Holy smokes, he's back. Holy moly, and he paid. So the noodle is thinking. The noodle is, the noodle is thinking. And we're going for the Gatlin. We're taking the safe approach and we're going to go for the Gatlin. I would have ran that. Is, is that spy? If it's spy, you're a genius. If it's not, you'll feel so bad. If that's like singing or something. I'm running the red light, dude. I'm going for the dub, dude. I'm bringing out the big chungus and I'm going for the dub. It's dub anyway. Is it? As Ivan throws up GG and it was Magician of Faith. And that should be game as, is it? Mathematics. Oh, and he did it. The noodle. The Mr. Big Noodle. Sorry, I looked away for a second. And that is awesome that Mr. Big Noodle will be going to the Gold Format World Championship and did it in undefeated, spectacular fashion, playing the Cyberstein Gatling deck. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness gracious. Oh, I can't believe I looked away for a brief second. Had to handle some business. But, man, oh, man, the Noodle has done it. <laughs> the Noodle. The Noodle is back, dude. Let's go. Fear from the dark has won. The noodle. The spice delivered. Congrats. Congrats to noodle. Huge dub. Huge dub. Huge dub. Yo, noodle. Congrats to you. Very, very impressive victory, man. Thank you for coming out and playing. I know you had some trepidations and some things. Maybe you didn't. I don't know, but that was neat. That was very cool. Congrats to you. I think you're the first person in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! to win a tournament with Fear from the Dark. How many did you play, by the way? We'll find out. I'll get those deck lists up uh, as soon as I can. I'm going to probably uh, post them uh, tomorrow, the, the things that come out. You had three. There was three. In the, oh, my. God. Yeah, you're the first person in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! Probably to win a tournament with triple fear from the dark in your deck. I'm going to tell you that right now. All in on fear is nuts. But that's so cool, man. Congratulations to you, Mr. Big Noodle. Congratulations to everyone else at that top. Huge performance by Ivan. Again, taking nothing away from Ivan. Ivan coming back in, trying to bring some life back into the chaos control strategy. I thought that was really neat, and it should not go underappreciated. And he also had a great run, again, making it to the freaking grand finals, again. Alvarado, same thing, again. 
Nate Dog, everyone who topped this tournament, thank you guys for all coming out and playing. And everyone who participated in this tournament, thank you all for coming out and playing and being a part of it. And all of you for joining us in the stream as well. It's been a great, great tournament. It feels like it just started, man. Like, I cannot believe that this thing is over. I feel like we have, like, a Dogtown run. Like, it feels like... I feel cheated a little bit. I feel like this tournament has been extremely short, but it's been super, super cool. Thank you so much, the Eleanor for coming out and helping as judge and everyone for being where you need to be and having a great, great event. So I'm about to go on in. I'm about to hop on, hop over and get these deck lists out. Um, GGPs. I'm going to make sure all that information is continuing to be processed and updated. And we want to get a nice GGP video at some point this week, I would assume. So the nudes, Big Nudes is going to Big Worlds, okay? He's there. He's back in the Gopher Mario World Championship, and I love seeing Noodle as he's just been promoted to Regent Spice General of the GOAT format uh, of the GOAT format scene. So I'm, I'm excited to see what that deck is. I'm going to get over there and check it out, and I'll make sure I put that out to you guys very, very soon. Well, that's all I have, Duelist. It's been a fantastic, great feat. Thank you all for coming out and kicking it with us. If you want to play in this event, make sure you swing by the Discord, join the Patreon, join the uh, join the premium Discord, and you can come out and play. Uh, the next event that we have is going to be uh, PWCQ 57, I believe, or 58, excuse me, is going to be May 5th. I think what that one's going to look like, it's going to probably be a multi-day Swiss or multi-day double elimination or multi-day Swiss tournament just because... Uh, I have some stuff I have to do on Sunday, so we might not be able to stream that one. But if something changes and I can find somebody to come and stream it, then we can keep that going on that same day. Or maybe we can change the date or something like that. But more information will follow Duelist. That's all I have. Thank you guys so much. As always, I'm JDZ. I play Ghosts. Until the next time, shout out to all the real ones. Salute to the OGs. Peace.